Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, welcome in uh, to another stream, another fun day here in the Tears of the Kingdom uh, marathon. I don't really know what to call this anymore, um, but uh, I hope you're having a wonderful morning. It's uh, 9 a.m. Uh, so, uh, yeah, um, I appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for watching and everything. Um, and, uh, I mean, let's really just get into it, you know? It's Tears of the Kingdom. What do you expect? Uh, I mean, all right. Let me, uh, let me, let me go through all of this. Uh, I'll go through the story so far, some disclaimers and everything. And, hey, if you, uh, enjoy the Tears of the Kingdom content, and you're either watching this live or you're a VOD frog and you're watching this after it was live, uh, subscribe! Uh, we're, you know, I, I've promised it a couple times in the past, but if we do get to 2 million subscribers pretty soon, uh, I will, in fact, throw a pizza party for everybody in chat and all of my viewers. So, if you want to be part of that pizza party, subscribe! <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so today, we're playing more Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, and what are we going to be doing in Tears of the Kingdom? Uh, a lot. We're actually going to be doing a lot. Uh, I, I have a, a, a lot of things that I want to get done on the on the docket today. Some side quests, some main quests. I mean, we might see the Zora today. I mean, you want to see some side in action. We might get to that. Um, and then I also, um, over the past, what, this is uh, day five, I think. Um, I haven't really played with the building mechanics yet. Uh, I haven't really played with the uh, whole, like, physics stuff yet. So I really want to do that. Uh, I want to create some, like, unhinged contraptions and see what we can do. So, um, can't wait. Uh, I, I, uh, I can't wait. Um, so, all right, let's get into, uh, some small disclaimers and stuff here, uh, before we start. Now, first off, uh, I want to say, uh, to everybody in chat here, um, uh, no spoiling. Uh, I saw some people in, uh, pre-chat. Uh, some like, you know, offline chat being like, Ooh, can I tell you guys a little spoiler? The answer is always no. Um, <laughs> uh, so just, I want to give you that FYI, uh, spoilers can come in a couple different forms. One just being outright like, Hey, this is what happens. Don't do that. You're just an asshole. All right. Don't do that. Uh, the second thing is like, Oh, point crow. Have you done this one thing yet? That's actually also a spoiler. I know you're excited and you're curious if I've done something before. Um, but if I haven't, you have now ruined that moment for me, right? And probably a moment for somebody else. Uh, and the third spoiler um, is, uh, I would say, uh, it's it's a little bit um, more minor of the case of, um, hey, Point Crow, you should go do this in the game. Uh, this is how you solve the puzzle. Or it's like, you're struggling on the puzzle. Um, why don't you just use recall or something? Like that's backseating, right? That's that's telling me how to solve something. That's spoiling the puzzles and stuff for me. Um, it's okay to be like super excited about things, but just keep that in mind as we're going through. Um, now, uh, that being said, I'm about to spoil some things for you. <laughs> uh, that that in the way of I will tell you what has happened so far on our playthrough, so then you can get caught up if you would like to. Um, so, um, Tears of the Kingdom. We have discovered a lot of the map. I mean, like, I mean, look at it. This, I mean, there's so much here. Um. We have discovered a lot of the map, but there's some things we haven't yet. Um, like, for example, we haven't discovered the Labyrinth here. Uh, we haven't gone to Satori Mountain yet. Uh, Kakariko Village. We actually even haven't been to Hateno. We just kind of glossed over it a little bit. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, we haven't been to the Zora's Domain. We haven't been to Akala at all. Um, we haven't been to uh, Lomai Labyrinth. Uh, sorry, the, the, the whatever. It's not, it's not Lomai Labyrinth. But, you know, the, the darkness ruins or whatever. And then we also haven't been to um, the Lost Woods. Uh, so those are like some uh, places that we got to hit up. The depths, we have uh, only discovered, I want to say, not even 25% of it. Um, and I want to discover even more. I mean, I mean, look at this place, right? It's kind of crazy. Uh, and then the sky, we also still haven't done too much in the sky. I mean, like there's this whole like uh, thundercloud here that we haven't even discovered. Yeah, uh, among uh, some other things. I mean, like, look, I mean, like this. Also, the Death Star is right here. Uh, so we're gonna uh, probably check out like a lot of things. Um, so, uh, story so far. Oh, look at us. Oh, we're so badass. Um, 
Oh, I also want to first off say uh, thank you so much for the memberships, Light Flare and uh, John Stafford. Uh, thank you so much for that. Um, so, uh, story so far. Um, uh, story so far. We um, Link and Zelda, just, you know, at the end of the events of uh, Breath of the Wild, uh, just uh, go underneath uh, into the depths of uh, Hyrule Castle and see really what happened uh, with why did Calamity spawn from underneath there? What's going on? They find a lot of uh, Zonai ruins and then uncover a mummy Ganondorf uh, who then they accidentally rehydrate and um, spawn back into the world. He creates the giant, the, the great upheaval where he literally raises Hyrule Castle into the sky. Uh, and not only that, um, but causes a bunch of regional phenomena to occur. That uh, being the Rito had a giant blizzard that um, filled up their entire village. Um, the um, Elden volcano had a drug problem. I wish I was joking. Uh, Gerudo had a zombie moth queen lady. We're still trying to parse that one together. Um, and uh, and then right now, uh, we're... Well, um, this is Master Kogo. Whoopsies. Let me go to the uh, um, adventure log right here. And uh, main quests, right? Uh, regional phenomena, right? Uh, and uh, then uh, we have another regional phenomena that we have not uh, uncovered yet. That is happening to the Zora, um, or at least this is this is Zora's domain, right? Yeah, that's 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 Zora's domain. Um, to the Zora, right? So we haven't discovered that yet. Um, as for memories, uh, which are these geoglyphs that you can see, like pretty much everywhere over here, um, these geoglyphs uh, kind of recall memories. Um, so the story, right, is uh, Zelda disappears. We get thrown up to the sky. Our um, arm gets cut off and it's replaced with a Zonai arm from the first king of Hyrule, um, uh, Raru. Now we later discover that uh, Zelda is actually stuck in the past. She uh, has, she is the sage of time and has time powers and she was rewinded into the past and um, uh, basically is trying to help Hyrule from the past and the future. Um, Recently, uh, in the most, like, literally, like, the last thing that we did last stream was uncover this geoglyph, which uh, shows Ganondorf stealing a secret stone, which amplifies the powers that you already have, uh, and then um, uh, creating a world of darkness and a blood moon and a bunch of monsters to destroy the entire world. He also stabs Sonya in the back and kills her. It was Raru's wife, by the way. Um, so, yeah. That was like a lot to take in. <laughs> that was a lot to really just kind of parse right there. So, so, um, that's, uh, that's, that's what we're going to, uh, you know, is see what's, what's happening next. So, um, if we go to, watch this. There's a couple things we want to do, um, today, right? Um, so there's actually three... Yeah, there's three, one, two, three memories left. Um, there's three memories left um, that we need to pick up. One of them is uh, down here. Um, the other one is over here. And then the third one is up here. So what I was thinking that we do is we might get, we I think we're going to explore a little bit, discover more of Hyrule. We might get this uh, memory down here. Uh, and then we're probably going to do the uh, regional phenomena with the Zora slash also talk to uh, Koga, who is like underground in the depths here. And then also um, go to Hateno Village for the Vo and Me side quest. Now, if you wonder what this Vo and Me side quest is, uh, it's sex education for Gruda women, which is hilarious. <laughs> so uh, we also need to do Vo and Me, our Vo and Me classes. Um, uh, so that's, uh, um, those are, those are the main sort of quests that we have to, or that we're sort of, uh, wanting to, uh, to do right now. So what I'm thinking is we do memory, uh, in, in the terms of main story, I think we do memory and then I think we do Zora stuff. And then I think we do the last two memories and then we probably, um, end the game, um, which is, I believe Hyrule Castle. I am unsure exactly how to end the game. Um, <laughs> because uh we have not been told yet i'm assuming it's like literally like like land at hyrule castle or something or like maybe like go underneath hyrule castle because this seems like you know kind of interesting i have no idea what that is 
Um, but yeah, that's kind of uh, that's kind of what that is. Um, all right. So the thing I want to start off with first is actually like a little weird. Uh, I want to go to the Great Abandoned Central Mine uh, here, and I want to figure out where to get more Death's Armor. That's what I want to do. It's what I want to do. Uh, I also really want to ex like I really want to build things today. Um, I have like a hankering for 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 some building. Uh, cool killer MC. Thank you so much for the channel membership. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, so yeah. Okay. So we're right here, and then I actually want to go below. Um, so the depths armor is, in my opinion, so fucking cool. Uh, that I want more of it. Right. I mean, just look. Look at that. Oh my god, it looks so sick. Right. Um. The oh, I don't know where to get the rest of the armor. And that's like inherently some of the problem that I'm having, um, of like finding it. So, I want to talk to this guy, uh, who is like the Poe or whatever, and see if he knows anything. See if we can find anything about it. Um. N no. Does does not seem there's. We can buy another tunic of the death. Uh, depths. Uh, you may save receive further blessings. Seek my brethren. All right, so I need to find his brethren uh, to find more. But I think also there's another pod over here. So I want to like talk to that pod as well, you know? Uh, do you have any plans to make a video or stream trying to try any of the new glitches discovered, such as the new item duping glitch? Um, I don't have, I do have plans to show off glitches eventually, um, but there's not like enough yet for me to do so but i i have seen that it exists so in case you guys don't know there is a like dupe and glitch that has been found um there's i think that's the only thing that i know i've, I've been trying to stay away from like the whole like glitches department in uh tears of the kingdom because i want to see if i can find stuff myself um or and just like enjoy the game um but yeah that's uh, uh that is a, a thing that, that has happened uh, okay yeah so here's the other poe thing yeah Oh, brethren location. Okay, cool. So if we ask this Poe, we can find the location of the brethren uh, so we can get more depth armor. I'll offer 10 Poes. Oh. I guess... Yeah, I guess... <laughs> Everything comes out of price. Okay. Uh, I will tell you the location of one of my brethren uh, in the depths of the land. Oh, that's so close. Go to the location indicated on your map. Seek out the wandering spirits for my brethren in the depth of this land. Okay. Wait, let's do that. It's literally right there. That's so close. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, cool. Now let's go to the depths. I mean, oh, we look so cool, dude. We uh, we look so sick. Um, I also want to give a little FYI too. Um, I'm reading chat very minimally. I normally read chat a lot more during my streams, almost exclusively the entire stream. Actually, I'll put it like this. When I normally stream, I read every single goddamn message that everybody sends. Um, I, Yaman's is a speed reader, and uh, I enjoy uh, seeing seeing what you do. But in the fear of backseating and spoilers, I'm doing it somewhat minimally. So every now and then, I'll like glance over, um, as you can like see, you know. But uh, I want to give you that little FYI um, uh, that I uh, we I, I want you guys to just like have fun and chill. All right, I want to go this way. Yeah, all right. We want to go this way. Let you know what. Let me set a, a marker here, just so like I know where it is. Uh, just on the map. Okay, cool. Also, I mean, like, look at our look at our armor. Oh, and then and then chat. Let me show you like what we what we did yesterday too. <laughs> look, look he look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. He's he's so goddamn adorable. Oh my god. And then and then look look at our look at our weapon. Look at our weapons. <laughs> we we were able to uh fuse together the uh the seal toys uh from Gerudo. Sheesh! So you can literally carry them around with you. Isn't that awesome? Also, like the other thing too is like I love our armor. I mean just like look at that. Like we look badass. Alright, um, 
what's cool too is like we found all three um of the miners um uh, outfit which is really neat because like i mean i mean just come on like like it's our fir our first full armor set I also wonder if we can like upgrade it for like even more glow. I, I don't know if we'd be able to, but that'd be kind of cool. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. We also uh, got auto build, I think yesterday, right? So let me, um, oh, we can build a tank. That's so cool. Um, I wanted to build, yeah, this. Uh, here. Nice. So we can just uh, make a uh, <laughs> a little vehicle. Meow. This is our all-terrain vehicle here. Uh, pretty neat, if you ask me. All right, so we just need to go over this way. It has like very poor clearance too. Oh, there's a light route right there. Okay. Um, how far is the light route? Oh, really? Actually, actually, really close. Let's get the light route there. Oh, that'll like help out like a little bit here. <laughs> Dude, I love I love having Unovo as well. It's like a it's a it's like a cannon that you can oh. Okay, one second. Um uh hey Bokoblins, don't attack me while I'm in this precarious position. Go, 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 get out, get out, get out! Wait, right, we're fine, we're fine. Nothing like uh starting stream to a crisis that uh I can't handle. All right, nice. Um, I think we'll just like, yeah, we'll just go through here. We'll be fine. A vroom, vroom. Hey, Chad, how are you guys liking uh, Tears of the Kingdom so far? Just like in general, like not not even like just my streams or whatever. How are you? you how are you guys liking it? Oh, that's a uh, frox right there. Oh, there's another uh, light route over there. Wait, is that? I think I've already uncovered that light. Route. Sorry, I angered the frox. I didn't mean to. We, we gotta we gotta go we gotta go okay. i think i think game of the year dude i i think i think game of the year seriously so far like it's it's one of the most creative games that you can just like play and do that all the puzzles don't have solutions that are like well they have solutions but like all the puzzles don't have like you can solve them in multiple ways um the stocky jot light route. And then also, like, the story is pretty good. Uh, the visuals are beautiful. The art style. Audio is fantastic. Oh, my God. Whoa. Okay. Nice. Um, we got the light route. Not too bad. Um, the other thing about this, though, is uh, of getting the light route is the Poe statue is right over here. Okay. Yeah. It's right in this... Oh, what the hell is that? Okay, yeah, let's check that out. Um, wait, where did our vehicle go? Where's our Where's our vehicle? Where Where you go? Where you at? Oh, he's over here. Okay. Um, and then this is directly to that way. Okay. Uh, I also really love the depths. Like Nintendo didn't um promote the depths like really at all, and it's probably one of my favorite parts of this game. There's so many things you can do in the depths. Um, yeah, it's just like, it's it's kind of crazy. Um, that's a traveler's spear. I don't want it. Okay. Okay, so this is... Wait, over here is where the Poe is. That's that's where the uh, Poe said. Huh? The Plains Bargainer statue. <laughs> What, what, what where's the oh 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 my god are you right here wait is this the statue right here wait oh no it's it's on top what happened oh it's like it's like old like really old like depths oh my god yeah what happened to the statue dude it's like still it's in the ground in the depths bro you've seen better days right you who stand before me make an offering. Offer pose to me, spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. I am the one who returns all pose to the afterlife without prejudice. I take it you have encountered my brethren. Stay a moment. My brethren and I have combined our power to create the dark trousers. 
Um. Okay. I I. I don't. I don't really want the dark trousers. I want more depth stuff though. Seek my brother in this land. You may receive future breath, uh, future blessings. All right. Sure. Okay. All right. Um. All right. Let's go back. Uh. Uh, around to that light route there. I I want depths armor. Um, I guess uh, I guess maybe there's more than like three of these guys. And if there's more than three, then that definitely means that like if there's more than three, then um, that means we can get the dark armor from these guys. But then also we could probably get the uh, depths armor as well. I mean, depths armor gives like bloom resistance, which is nice and all. Um, like that, that's like a nice plus and everything, but the main thing that like the main deal about it is that it's cool. <laughs> it looks really cool. <laughs> that's it. It's like, it's like fashion souls, dude. You got to look cool in Hyrule or else like, what are you doing? Have you really saved Zelda? If you don't look good doing it, like think about it for a second, like really just like ponder that, you know, take that, take that thought, you know, sit on it, chew on it. See what you come up with. All right, there's another light route over here that we're going to grab. Um, dude, I wonder how 100% speed runs are going to go here. Whoa! Oh, that was a puff shroom. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I wonder how 100% speed runs are going to go. Uh, just like with all of everything that you have to uncover here. There's a lot. There's a lot. Okay. The Netty Net Light Root. Oh, what's up, Blue? How's it going? Um, nice. That uncovered a lot here. Wait. So are there just like periods, like just like depths parts that are just like not lit up unless these are like actual, oh, these are strong. Oh, oh, these are, these are, um, other light routes. Okay. We've uncovered a lot here actually. All right. Let's go back to the surface here. Uh, and, uh, talk to the Poe and again, it'd be like, where's your other brethren, man. That's not the one we wanted to talk to. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, I want to get depth armor. That's what we're doing. Dude, I was uh, I was watching a Doug Doug stream last night uh, while I was doing some work and stuff. And uh, he had the funniest... Dude, he had the funniest idea. Uh, he would literally, like, have voice record, like, what he would say. And he would have an AI um, sort of understand it and then respond to him. Um, and he tried to play Pajama Sam. Um, and so yesterday, uh, he was asking, obviously, he was like, Hey, how, like, what, what's the, uh, um, uh, like, can I use your voice for the AI? Um, and so he sent it over and it was just amazing. But he's like, I, I popped in and, and it, like every now and then the AI would be like, Oh, and then you need to go do this. And then you go do that. <laughs> and you're like bro is he okay <laughs> like it was so cursed it was like bro like and then he would just go start going <gasps> and you're like bro like I, I does he need an exorcist like what's going on all right brethren location a hundred pose for the next location. Fine. Oh my God. I hate how we're actually, <laughs> wait, I hate how both of these times we've actually just been right next to it, but we just didn't discover it. That's that. This is upsetting. This this is literally upsetting. I I feel like I'm getting scammed. I feel like I'm genuinely getting scammed here. 
That's fine. Everything's fine, guys. Uh. Okay. The Usukaz Light Route. Um, all right. So we want to head over down here. Yeah. Okay. So down here is where the third bargainer statue is. There might be more, honestly. I don't know if there are or not. Um, but we shall see. Oh, shit. I did that wrong. That's okay. Right. Because we, we already lit up some of this area. Oh, you can see our pathway. Oh, my God. I hate how you can see our pathway and it's objectively like... Oh, God. Like, we just barely missed it. Wait, did we actually, like, manage to see it? Oh, my God. It's right here. Literally, I... Tra Chat, we traveled right below this. We were right here. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. Um, Where are you at? Poe Bargainer statue? How do I pray to you? Right here. Okay. That's so... Damn, that's so creepy. <gasps> okay. You who stand before me, make an offering. Um, okay. Uh, I take it you have encountered my brethren. Stay a moment. Okay, give me depth armor, depth armor, depth armor. I've combined our power to create the gators of the depths. If you desire it, you must make a suitable offering. It's too I need nine more pose. I need nine more pose. Nine. Nine more. Please. I just need nine. Okay. There's some pose down here. Okay. There's one. I got one Poe. Okay. Eight more left. Count with me. Uh, seven more. This is all. This is the worst. I regret every single time I haven't picked up pose. I just saw God. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Lanayru Canyon Mine. Wait. Wait. Isn't. Koga at the Lanayru Canyon mine? Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Did I not discover... Didn't Koga say he was at the Lanayru Canyon mine? Or, or did I misread that? Okay, large crystallized charge. Nice. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't think he is, though. Because the quest isn't here. Yeah. Okay, I need more pose. Why are there no pose here? Oh my god, we literally were just here. Okay. All right, we just need what? How many more pose, chat? How many more? Five pose. Five, five pose. Five more, and then we can get the uh, really cool armor. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, that's not a thing over there. Already got that. The mine is over this way, dude. You know what? There's there's a distinct lack of light route down here. I feel like the farther you get away from Central High Rule. The harder it is to actually find a light route like thing. Like, where is the nearest light route here? Do you see any? I do not. Um. Okay. Any pose though? Okay. They're everywhere except for like when you want them. Like actually though. Like the moment you're like, ooh, I want some pose. They just don't exist. Legitimately. Like, they're just gone. Okay. 
Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Hmm. Oh. Is that five? One, two, three, four. Uh, you can't be serious. <laughs> no, there has to be five right, right, right? Oh my God. I need one more Poe. One, a singular Poe. This is the worst thing to, to come out of this stream ever. I, I have I have yet to see anything anything that is that is more devastating than than right now. Quite literally tragic. I didn't even step on that gloom. I don't know what happened there. Tragic, depressing, awful. So many words I can use to describe this. Um Okay, I can't even get out of the... Okay. Let me go over here, see if there's any pose here. Ah. Okay. Gut-wrenching. Alrighty. Where's the pose? One Poe. We're looking for one Poe. It's all we need. And then we can look badass. Oh. Yes. 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 There's some pose. Oh, perfect. Look at this. Let's go. Okay, now we go back, and then now we buy the Depths pants. Now we buy some pants, and that's a great first start of the stream. Great first thing to do today is buying pants. Okay. Down and about. Oh, let's go. Oh my God, there were posts right over there too. But there's so many over there. This is just sad. Okay. Okay, so then the, where's the, where, wait, 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 the pose right here. Yeah, I almost missed him. I almost missed him. This is him right here, right? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Right here. Ooh, there's a light right up there. Oh, that's why I mentioned it. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. That's why I pinged it before. Okay. Hello. Hello, I would like your pants. Yes. Okay, the Gators of the Depths. All right. We're 200 pose. Seek my brethren in this land. Damn, dude. Look at that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of sick. Dude, the drip. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sheesh. All right, I'll take that, dude. Okay. Well, we did. Okay, let's go back. I doubt we'll be able to pay, but I'm curious if we can ask again for the location of another Poe. Okay. 
Um, let's see. What else can we do here? Uh, I want to play around a little bit with the building. I have some like ideas I want to I want to like do. All right. Um, the pose should be over here. Uh, yo, what's up? What's up, dude? Brethren location. Uh, okay, okay. So, so another hundred pose. So the first one's ten pose. The second one is a hundred. The third one's a hundred again. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Um, let's see. I think we can go to Hateno next. Yeah, let's check out Hateno. Uh, because we kind of skipped that over for Koga. Let's do it. Maybe do some Vo and Me stuff. Really explore. I think I want to start today's stream off by uh, exploring. Uh, yo, Blue! Thanks for the channel membership. I hope you're doing well. Thank you. Um, yeah. I want to I, I want to do uh, side in much later in the stream, I think. Um, uh, I think we'll do it today. But I want to... Uh, I want to, um, do some more exploration and stuff, too. Whoa. What a, oh, what a beautiful day out. Yeah, I mean, we got to do, like, the cube, too, right? The Nekluda Sky Archipelago. No, okay, let's do Hateno first. I want to see Hateno. Like, what's... What's changed about it, you know? Yeah, look at it. It's right there. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Okay. Whoa. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Dragon. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we got to we got to see Dragon first. Yeah, that's I think that's more important right now cuz um we were going to get a claw earlier from Nadra, and then we ended up not being able to get said claw <laughs> because it fell down the hole. So. So I want to, I want to see Nadra first. Man, the dragon is so low right now. Wow. What's up, Nadra? How's it going? Uh, looking mighty fine today. Here we go. Okay. Where's this shooting off to? There's the claw. Right here. Right here. Nadra's claw. Oh, it has fused attack power too? This valuable claw was once nearly frozen. Whoa. God, that's so majestic. That's crazy. Oh, you love to see it. Okay. Let's go to Mount Lanayru now, actually. Before we go to Hateno, let's go to Mount Lanayru uh, and offer up the claw as a, as a blessing. That's the... Uh, that was a, a side quest that we need to complete. Yeah, over here. There's the Skyview Tower, but there was... Uh, in front of the tower, uh, right over here, is the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Right over here is the uh, spring of wisdom. Right? So, I think I need to offer it up, like, here. So, take this, hold. And place it. Oh! Thank you, my devout swordsman. I send a measure of my strength to the mother goddess statue. For this pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. There are two other goddess statues who guard springs as I do. I ask that you assist them as well. Okay. Uh, not bad. Not bad. 
Um, now let's go back to Hateno. <laughs> so I got I got a sapphire, which isn't the best trade in the world. I'd rather have the claw. But however, I feel like we'll get a better um reward at the end of the side quest uh for helping out the mother goddess statue in the forgotten uh temple so here we go okay i do want more depths armor though so we do have to explore more of the depths um huh. okay uh hateno hateno oh hateno hateno here we go. Uh, I got Koopy. Thanks so much for the channel membership. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad you guys are also liking the edited videos too. Um, there should be one out tonight. Uh, for uh, there should be one out tonight. Uh, for the next uh, part um, of the playthrough. Uh, we're taking a um um. No, I I know you guys are a little impatient for them. But keep in mind that uh, my editor, like we're, we're on like hour, like 30 or something of like the playthrough and my editors are going through them as fast as they can. Um, Cause I want to, I want to make sure that the video is like a, a quality thing. I don't want to just get it out to get it out. You know, uh, I want it to be like um, the, the, the best playthrough of tears of the kingdom that you can watch. That's the goal. It's like out of all the playthroughs out there, I want mine to be the one that you want to watch. Um, so, uh, that's why it's taking long in the case of two days, which normally for a video like this would be about a week and some change for like the actual, like time to, to edit. So they're kind of insane with it right now. Okay. Here we go. Let's go to Hateno. Ooh, right there. All right. Let's see what Hateno is, uh. How is Hateno? Okay. Hateno's changed a little bit here. They've gone a little crazy for mushrooms. Uh, nothing suspicious yet. Halt and identify yourself. Uh, I'm not suspicious. I say while wearing the darkest armor you probably can. Oh, you're not? Then I'll give you the gatekeeper's grading. Uh, how'd it go again? You've come to Hateno Village, home of fine produce and dyed goods. Our vegetables are the best around, and we're at the forefront of fashion. That's... <laughs> He's a kid. <laughs> Uh, did I say that right? My dad would have known. T-Buddy's still at Lookout Landing. Tebow. That's so cute. Wow. So everyone's gone like mushroom stir crazy, looks like. Interesting. Um, Everyone, like from what we've known before, Hateno is at the forefront of fashion. They're like fashion crazy. Like legitimate, like that's what they, you know, do. Oh, Link's house. Oh, it's Link's old house. This is the house that you would buy in Breath of the Wild. Miss Zelda. Miss Zelda isn't back. Is it because she's disappointed in me? Uh, 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 do you have any business at Miss Zelda's house too, mister? Oh, that's... Link, Link bought that house and Zelda lives in it. They live together. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, it's cottage core. You know, she's not back home yet, right? Right around this time of the upheaval, Miss Zelda just stopped coming home. She always used to say, see you later. Not that time. Oh, that's so cute. Don't say Zelda stole our house. No, no, it's like you can have two people live in the house together, guys. <laughs> that's not what happened. I choose to believe that they live together and they're having a, a, a very, a very happy relationship if they are in one. Maybe? Anyways. Got some stables here. That's cute. Uh, there's a well down here. Zelda's secret well. Oh, whoa. And you got some research material and stuff. What's this? Read Zelda's diary. Though the calamity is over, its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us even as we begin to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side. A kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. That's why I've uh, put an order for a new and improved champion's tunic just for him. Can't wait to see his look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room. We won't find it until after our investigation. Oh. The throne room of Hyrule Castle. Okay. 
Even if he, um, he, he, even he would never expect that the torches are the key. Oh, okay. Interesting. And what's this over here? A well-worn hair bead. An old, worn, simple hair bead. Its color is long faded, but has some life left in it. Wearing it in your hair makes you sentimental about the times past. Oh, wait, this is, the, oh, this is the Breath of the Wild, uh, hair, hair. It's the Breath of the Wild hair. Oh, that's such a cool touch. It's so, it, it literally has no, it's just cosmetic, you know? That's pretty cool, dude. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Uh, but I also like our plague mask, so we'll take that too. Uh, wow. All right. That was worth it. That was actually well worth it. I'm so glad we, we, we discovered that. Uh, the price for nostalgia is relatively cheap. Uh, what is it? Oh, <laughs> I need to reach my friend. Okay. I swear. Okay. If, if you, no, 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 I, no, I want to, I want to say something here. I want to say something here. I swear to God, okay? If you were like, I need to reach my friend and, and that man's is across the map yet again, things are going to happen. Things are going to happen to you, okay? I just want to warn you. I want to warn you right now, okay? You still, do you still want your friend? Do you, okay, you still want your friend. All right. My friend and I got separated. <laughs> I'm about to... <laughs> I'm about to do things to this Korok that I am not proud of. <laughs> I I am about to do things to this Korok that need to be done. Oh, wait. I don't One second. One second. I need to I need to I need to make a grocery trip real quick. <sighs> One second, guys. Give me a second. There's just, there's just, there's just stuff. Okay. Um, where is, where is the dispensary over here? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Da, da, da. I need to by type and then okay all right let's gamble come on come on give me something good uh not much but we'll take it um okay let me put in some more here <laughs> Real fast. Don't worry. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's actually... That's pretty good. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da, ba -ba. Okay. Sorry. I just... There's something I need to do, guys. There's something I gotta do. Uh, and then let me go over here. Sorry, I probably should have gotten the shrine, like, at Hateno. That probably would have been, like, kind of helpful. But, I mean, it happens, you know? Um, yeah. Do that. Dude, I love, I love the sand, uh, sand seal toys that we have. It's so cute. The sand seal toys are actually, like, adorable. that all again okay. it's a pretty good way of getting around i do really like the towers it allows you to like kind of go across hyrule pretty quickly i do i should have probably gotten the um yeah in hindsight i probably should have gotten the 
um, the shrine there that would have made it easier, but don't worry. I, I have some special things I need to do here. Okay. I've made a detour just for this because I'm so annoyed with these Koroks. I feel like I, I like, you know, they, they offer like one Korok seed or whatever, or two Korok seeds, but like, I feel like it's worth it to make them go through pain. Okay. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Sorry. I had to make a little grocery trip first. Okay. Had to make a little, little bit of a grocery trip. Ah, yeah. uh, you scared me. You're moving me? Then you must be able to see me. Be gentle, all right? Okay, sounds good. Yeah, you're your friend's up there. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. You, oh. Sorry. Didn't mean to topple you over. There we go. Um, all right. I think I think this is a valid, very valid thing I'm about to do here. All right. Godspeed and good luck. <laughs> all right, that'll that'll teach him. <laughs> He's blasting off again! Oh my god, wait, he hasn't returned. Wait. <laughs> wait. Wait, he's actually he's actually gone. <laughs> I did, bro, I just killed our man. Godspeed, dude. Godspeed. Oh, this is our old house. Oh, it's so ho it's so homey. Whoa! Oh, look! There's the Don Dons. Um, or I forgot. I think the Don Dons that 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 Zelda found with all the books and everything. Wow. Um, Zelda's journal. Okay. There's only one bed. Huh? Don't need to put your beds together when they only got one. You know what I mean? All right, Ray read Zelda's journal. Um, uh, I saw collapse. Uh, after wait, 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 shit, 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 shit. Let me let me read. It. Okay, read Zelda's journal. After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild and to set a, uh, set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities. The damage was far worse than I imagined. But as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken. They and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild, and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. In spite of Hyrule's reconstruction, we've built a school in Hateno Village. Oh. It's the largest Hylian village with its sprawling, bountiful land. There's so many children living here that seemed the ideal place to found a school. I recruited Simon from the Research Institute to see, uh, uh, teach there. He was Pure's assistant for years, which makes him well-equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. I'll be overseeing the school for a while, keeping an eye on the students. I commissioned Bolson, uh, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson Construction to construct the school for us. Uh, and that's that's uh, Bolson, who's who we're helping uh, with uh, Lurland Village. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This will be his final job in Hateno Village before he sets off on a journey. I had him add a secret room to my house. One that won't appear on the plant plants. It's dim, but humid, uh, humidity and temperature controlled. It was very comfortable. Oh? It's going to be very useful when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. A hidden room? Work on the school has been moving along smoothly. Uh... But a major problem recently has reared his head. We don't have enough teachers. Uh, Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. 
Nurturing our children is an exten uh, extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future the way we shape their path. I hope to see sterling members of our community take uh, come to this village to take up the mantle of their uh, as teacher. Secret room. Wait, there's a golden horse? What the hell? Oh, it's Flower Blight. Oh my god, it's it's Flower Blight Ganon. Wait, wait. Oh it's Flower Blight Ganon. Oh we okay, we gotta we gotta check out Flower Blight. For sure. It's add a secret room to this house. Well, I that might have been the well. The secret room might have been the well. That we found. I think that was it. So cute. My heart really um. <laughs> ah. Okay. So it's cute. Okay. Whatever. Uh. All right. Let's get the shrine real fast. Uh. It's like up here, right? Yeah. It's right up here. Looks like. Um. <laughs> Yeah, oh, there it is. It's a little bit farther away. Oh, there's another... Wait, there's another well over here. Tano Village South Well. Uh, oh, whoa. It leads a little bit farther this way. Okay, bomb flower. Yeah, whoa. A lot of stuff here. Also some keys. Hello. All right. Keys are like actually super awesome for like Gleox. For like beating Gleox. Uh, that's what we found. So super happy whenever I see a keys now. Because then we get like materials for that. Because they have homing arrows. Uh, okay. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Oh, yeah, she seems so possessed. Okay. Bye. What's over here? What is in this well, dude? Okay, that was a not great use of my Boko Reaper, but I'll take it still. So. Um, okay, buy most used, and then I want to use a bomb flower here. Okay, I'll use another bomb flower here. Uh, secret area, maybe. Hi. Come here. Come on, attack me. Or something. I can also do this. That works. Nice. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll do this. Pulverizer. Oh, lots of amber. Perfect. Okay. Because I want more money. I want more money and everything. Um, because I think we're gonna probably go some do some shopping in Hateno. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, they, they're, they like, like, what? They're saying that, like, Hateno's, like, super fashion forward, right? And I'm, I, dude, I'm all about making Link cool. Um, what is this area? Dude, it keeps going. There's so much here. Wow, oh, there's a horrible one here. Nice. Wait, is this a black horrible? Wait, this is the most difficult one we've seen yet. Oh, shit. 
Okay, yeah, this 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 is like a large cave, dude. Okay, love that for me. Oh no! That was the toy! That, that was the sand seal toy! Oh no! He broke the sand seal toy! Alright, I, I am about to I am about to absolutely destroy you. I I am going to disrespect the fuck out of you for doing something to my beloved sand seal toy. Yeah! Yeah! Shame. Poor shame. Okay. That is, the, that is the worst thing. Okay. Okay, I want to get more br uh, bright bloom seeds for um, the depths later because we still got to do a lot of exploring there. I mean, hell, we still have that labyrinth we found like a while ago. Oh. Sapphire. <laughs> Don't do that, chat. Don't do that. He's back! He's back! Yes! Okay. Change. The world is okay. Okay. okay get off the get off the wall. Come on. Nice. All right, pretty easy. All right, we're good. Everything's fine, guys. We're literally okay. We have him back. We have him back. All right. I just need to like, I, 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 I can only have him for like, to, to show like, to show you guys. But then I got, I got to put him away, right? I got to put him away. Dude, that is the, that is the best thing. I, the fact that you confuse the sand seal toys gives me absolute life, you know. Like, actually. Okay. But, yeah. So, uh, we need money because we're probably um, going to buy so much clothing in Hateno Village. It's, like, disgusting. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, I want to be able to find... I want to be able to buy everything and wear everything. They just made some really cool armor sets in this game. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. Make sure I don't get hit by the bomb flowers is the, is the next thing. Okay. Dude, this cave keeps going, man. Like it just keeps going. There's so much here. Um, all for what? Okay. Nothing over here again. Oh my God. But it's still, dude, there's more. Why is, dude, the Hateno, like, cave here is, like, actually ridiculous. I hope he finds something good. Like, I hope it's all worth it, you know? You can hear the Hateno music above, too. It's kind of a nice touch. And yeah, more ambers here. Hello. more keys just it's just more keys and more where are we going okay chat i know there's chat i know there's uh, a duplication glitch i'm not going to be using it during my casual playthrough <laughs> please <laughs> please stop mentioning it <laughs> like i already like i already know it exists i i appreciate it 
Uh, I am up to date on it. I just am not going to be doing anything with it right now. Okay. Yep. Shield of the Mind's Eye. Nice. Okay, not bad at all. All right. Let's keep going. Um. Okay. Another small crevasse here. Dude. Left or right? Ooh, left or right? Why is this place so big? Oh my god. Dude, this place is giant. Okay. Like, I'm actually like impressed on like, I, I thought it would be like a five second detour. We're, we've been here down for like 10 minutes. Oh, this is the big. Oh, we just, oh, we just, oh, it's a circle. Oh. Oh, we know it's not. There's another well here. Oh! Yo, the wells are connected. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right, kind of cool. All righty, Hateno. What do you got uh, for us? What do you got to offer? Oh, let's cook some stuff here, too. Uh, while we're here, you know. Might as well do that. Get some uh, actual, like, hearts. Uh, nutrition. Cooking covers more hearts. Three. So that's five. Let's do three and another two. This is good. Good. Uh, and then do that. Okay. Wild berries. Just the more cooking, the better. You know, we just need more food. Like generally, just more food, and like that's really it. Wait, not meat. Yeah, actually, sure. Steamed meat. Whoa. Look at us. We're cooking. Um, and then stamina. More stamina. Uh, not too much, but more stamina. And then let me cook. All right. I'm just going to cook like a whole, like all of our stuff. So then we can just get more hearts from it. You know, this is a defense times three. Okay. Good to know. Good to know for later. Okay, and then we'll get like a bunch of, um, I think, shock, stormy weather attack. Sure. As long as it's like food, you know? Yeah, because it gives us more um, uh, healing if it's cooked. So we'll just do that. Okay. One, two, three, four. Here we go. I think we do the same thing with the ice um fruits because they don't they're not doing too much with us right now because we do five right and they do one quarter so it's like we get an extra you know couple couple hearts by doing this i think uh let's see this i mean i guess the, i guess the ice fruit is like for ice arrows actually that kind of makes sense you know oh the bitter powder makes them inedible I don't know what I expected. I don't know why I... Okay. Um, <laughs> I was like, huh. I wonder. I wonder if I can still cook it. Uh, let's see. Any other foodstuffs here that we got to cook? No, we don't. I don't think I have anything more. What happens if I cook a bomb flower? Uh. 
Oh, it's just dubious food. Okay. Okay. What's going on? Fashion forward. Uh, Hateno Village. Oh, what's happening? We came all this way. What? Wait, what? You not open? Said multiple times now. I can't admit three customers uh, at present. Uh, what do you mean? We took the trouble to come here. And now you're saying we can't get in? But I want to see CC's new stuff. Oh, wow. A mega famous fashion designer? Mm. Yeah, everything I heard uh, said this was some of CC's best work. Oh. I'm so, so sorry. But we only have one entry ticket remaining. Oh, is it going to go to us? Mm. They're saying one person can go in. Mm. Hey, come on now. We can't just let one of us have a head start. Ah. Sure, I know that. It's just a joke. Oh, oh lag. Okay. Yeah, we back? We're good? All right. We, we had some lag there for some reason. All right. We're good, though? All right. Sick. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Um. Oh, well. Maybe we can come back later. They'll have room for all of us. Huh. Yes, it's not like this was the only clothing place in uh, the village. What do you say we kill some time at the dye shop? We check out the pasture, which I've heard a little ways up the road uh, is a laboratory specializing in ancient stuff. Okay, yeah, maybe we do that. Okay, thank goodness they gave up, huh? Oh my, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, uh, are you also a tourist who has come to see my sister's new line of CC products? As long as it's just you, you're free to go in the shop. CC yourself is in there right now, in fact. Nothing you see is for sale. It's only an exhibition right now. Sorry to disappoint. Okay. It's only an exhibition right now. Oh, why would I want to... <laughs> Dude, imagine if we can wear that. Imagine if we could actually do that. What's up, CC? No. Uh, another really practically perfect magic... Um, another practically perfect masterpiece. It's an exemplar of the form from every angle. This is the sort of thing in which I built my name and reputation as the world-renowned CC. Hmm? Oh, pardon me. Are you an admirer here to meet the uh, incomparable CC? And I must say, you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. Uh, welcome to the Ventist, uh, to Ventus Clothing, the only boutique in the world which carries the CC brand. And if you weren't aware, uh, you stand before the very woman who changed this fusty old village to a birthplace of no vow fashion. I don't know how to say that word as proof. I present to you this. The CC hat. The newest and most magnificent work by yours truly, CC. <laughs> you see that luxurious curve? The note to my avant-garde color choices. What do you call it? The pinnacle of perfection? This piece is so special, I dare not assign a price to it. It's not for sale. I shall only part with it when I find someone truly worthy of owning it. Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out. What if I was the one who is truly worthy, worthy of owning it? <laughs> the only the most impressive fashionista in Hyrule's trendiest village is worthy of such a crown. Who are you? Oh, he's a man bun. Hassan? Uh, what's all about this? What's this all about Hyrule's trendiest village? I don't remember approving any new slogans for Hateno. Uh, look who's here. What can I say? Uh, Mayor Reed. Really sorry. I tried to stop him from coming in like you asked, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. <clears throat> Cece, you have got to quit literally in the village with your weird art pieces. Maybe you don't realize, but plants need their sleep too. Those eyesores are so bright at night that they're keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. Potato's foundation is its produce. Where, what are we going to do if it fails? Aww. Now, now, dear. There's no need to get so worked up. I think some of the people are actually like her art, you know? Uh, wouldn't it be better to hear her out? This is very much like giving like old boomer vibes of like those goddamn uh those goddamn Gen Z or millennials and their Tic Tacs. You know, that's that's basically yeah. Don't fall for a line of twaddle. She's got everyone in Tano wrapped around her finger already. My duty is to look after the village, and that's what I mean to do. Uh -huh. Looking after a village, you say. Uh who do you suppose you have to thank for a tuna uh, for a Tano's rejuvenation? Mm. It didn't need rejuvenating. Hateno Village is a peaceful place where folks live quiet lives. And that's the way they like it. <laughs> do they? 
Then let's leave the matter to the people to decide. My avant-garde approach versus the mayor's quaint bygone ways. The citizens will decide which outlook will drive the future of the village. By holding a mayoral election. Oh, we're doing politics. Damn. You're calling for a mayoral election? Sure. Suits me. I'll win that pretty easily. Uh. Sophie, I delegate management of the mayoral election to you. Eh? What? Come on, Clavia. <laughs> what a name. I don't feel like sticking around here for any longer. It's time we head back home. So what's our campaign here? Like, you know, am I am I going to help with this? Oh, you again. Uh -huh. A long list to do in preparation for the mayoral election. The sooner I get started, the better. Uh -huh. mm. The answer should go without saying. You are, of course... Uh, I'm a CC voter for sure. Uh -huh. But of course, that settles that, I trust. It's plain for all to see that I'm a shoe in for the next mayor. Uh -huh. Or so one would think. Yet there's still stragglers in the village still supporting Reed. They need a mental makeover. Uh -huh. And so... I have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to Reed's supporters. Uh -huh. Mushrooms are synonymous with the CC brand. Fungal fashion is the CC way. The mushrooms I give out will paint them inside and out with fresh, vibrant CC uh -huh. brand covers. Co uh, colors. Although Sophie and I uh, must mind the shop. Where will we find someone who can trust to carry out the vital task? I'll do it for you. Uh -huh. There's the magic words I was waiting for. You're a lifesaver. Now then, you'll be needing these. Uh, eight Hylian shrooms, okay? Ooh. Um, they're for the village's Reed supporters. It's so easy to recognize them by how unstylish they are. <laughs> My supporters are all expert fashionistas dressed to the nines in CC. Uh -huh. uh, this should go without saying, but don't give one to anyone in Reed's family. No. There's also no need to give them to children, travelers, or any temporary residents like the Sheikah researchers. That leaves us with, unless I missed my guess, a total of eight Reed supporters. No. Your mission is simple. Give a single Hylian room to each of those eight misguided voters. Well, off you go. Is this... I feel like as if this is like bribery. Like, isn't this like election fraud that we're doing right now? I just want to like... I, I, I feel as if that's what it is. Um... Okay, so like you, for example... And putting these strange decorations all over the village. Right. Sorry, Pathar. Are you a visitor here? A tourist? You're at, uh, in Hateno, a village for known uh, living off the land. Uh, now, though, everything's getting so glitzy. Uh, some people want to try to uh, stir up some tourism business. Mind you, we're all happy to see Cece return to the village after she's been away for so long. Um, some folks, like my uh, daughter Prima, started wearing that flashy Cece brand. Uh, it's a tad over the top for me. But I don't mean to talk you off. Um, there's something you need from me, Mr. Traveler? Here. Have a, have a mushroom. Say this is from CC. Uh, us old folks don't know about what's in right now, you know? Happy to vote for whoever, for mayor, if they fix up the village real nice. Okay. So we just give them to people who are not wearing mushroom stuff. So you are wearing mushroom stuff, and you are wearing mushroom stuff. Okay. Interesting. Yo, Leo! Oh, my God. Jesus. Thank you for the um, $400. Uh, that's a lot of money. Jesus. That's actually crazy. Um, wow. Um, Doug plans on taking you out next week, if I remember correctly. He asked me to donate to you yesterday during his stream, so I'm back again to give you the money. Um, anyways, the demon that Doug made has been killed like 30 times. Uh, it was it was 20 it was 24. The 25th one made it. I saw it. Um, yeah, yeah. Doug's uh, um, Jesus. Um, yeah. Is is he? When you say he's taking me out, is that taking me to dinner? Or like murdering me. Like what's the I feel like it could be either or there. Um it, it's a it's a toss up with them, you know? Um Jesus, thank you so much for the uh four hundred dollars. Uh you don't have to like you, it's a free stream. <laughs> you don't have to do that much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, that is a lot of money. So thank you so much. Uh okay. Wow, everyone has actually been taken over by the CC brand. There's actually like so many people here. Or, uh, no, you're wearing you're wearing mushrooms. Okay, uh, let's um, let's go to the top here of Ateno Village. Uh, I want to see these ancient researchers. You know. Okay. Uh, there's an east wells. There's so many wells here. I guess they're all connected. Okay. Okay. 
okay let's go up uh yeah all right let's go talk to the ancient researchers um because pura used to be at the top of hateno village here like like this is like like where pura was i didn't get the shrine i didn't get the shrine okay yeah okay so let's do this shrine i wonder if i can solve this in like the absolute worst way possible like genuinely okay chat i don't <laughs> i don't think you guys understand the topics of currency um thank you thank you so much for um uh the 400 uh canadian us sorry the canadian dollars uh scoop it out okay uh leo thanks for the um uh 400 canadian dollars Oof gaming thanks for the uh one euro and then the jones thank you for the 99 um uh south african ran um so uh, i see a lot of you guys freaking out whoa oh my god 100 um zar is south african rand that's the equivalent of uh about four usd so thank you so much jones but i just you know I think you guys got to realize um currencies here <laughs> um i think i think uh, the other day someone someone uh i gave i think it was like like a thousand uh, uh mexican pesos or mexican dollars pesos um oh uh, and everyone's freaking out but that's like which it's still a lot of money but i think you guys gotta know what <laughs> you know it doesn't convert for you <laughs> um but jones thank you so much for the um 99 um brand um anuki uh thanks for the uh six euros okay uh so this is scoop it up uh scoop it up um okay so how is this supposed to work oh oh we're supposed to probably make like a, a little mill here you know um yeah yeah no this is exactly what we're supposed to do so we add in like yeah okay so we, we combine like two of these together and then we and then we attach it to here and they'll scoop it up oh you know what no we probably actually need to make like a legitimate scoop though um because otherwise it'll be um propelled somewhere else right so then let's do this. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Then put this here. Okay, would that work? Yeah, that might work. We'll try this. So then if I do this, will it, will it start? Wait, what? How do I get this to turn? Oh! Oh, I see. Okay, it's disconnected. So we need like a metal object here uh, to connect and start. Nice. Okay. So this scoop maybe will work? I just need to scoop in one. Oh yeah, we scooped in a lot. Oh, nice. It worked really well. Oh yeah, we got a lot there. Wow. Wow, we got a lot. Wow, we got, we. Okay. <laughs> I mean, can I just like take one of these and like just put it up? Like. I can't take these out, right? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Interesting scenario we got here. Why did this not work? Why? 
Why did that not work? Um. Oh, you know what? I think it just needs to be one tall. Oh, wait. Can't I just do this? Can't I just literally just like... <laughs> I can just... <laughs> I can just stick the ball on the moving platform, right? Okay, sure. That works. <laughs> okay. Nice. Don't mind if I do. That was uh, pretty easy. That was pretty easy. I was thinking, uh, I think two big brains there. Uh, which is often common occurrence when, you know, when you're someone like me with such a large cranium, you know, uh, sometimes I get headaches, honestly, because my brain uh, just swells to a size that is uh, abnormal for the average person uh, because there's so much brain matter uh, and, uh, you know, just in there because I need to really, you know, think of things. No, I got a, I got a small brain. I'm stupid as fuck. <laughs> All right, let's go to the top of Hateno uh, and check out the uh, Shika Tech Lab. Uh, I wonder if it's changed at all. Uh, just because, uh, well, Pura's back at the lookout landing in front of Hyrule Castle. Uh, but uh, um, there's also not much Shika technology anymore for some reason. Uh, here we go. Um... You see, I, I do love solving shrines in, like, obscene and terrible ways. I don't know if you guys saw the clip I posted on Twitter of the uh, shrine yesterday. Uh, but here, no, let me let me show you guys. Um, it is it is um, actually, like, absurd, the fact, like, how we did this. Um, yeah, let me show you. Okay, so I'm going to get height with this contraption bomb jump onto the I couldn't rail figure this out and then paraglide across yeah I literally I couldn't it, figure this it's out crazy, the longest but time. it might just work dude yes yes it worked see I'm, I'm, I'm literally it's it is crazy. It is insane. Um, I, I read a little bit of the comments too, uh, because I was like curious. And uh, dude, like nobody, nobody actually solved this puzzle like like properly, like legitimately. Like nobody did. Um, everyone had like different because nobody knows like exactly how to solve this shrine, like in the in the correct way, uh, quote unquote. Here was another uh user, right? That solved it. Look, look, they, they had a three-pronged device. And then what they did was they used recall, right, on it. Right? And then, which went up there. And then they used Ultra Hand to wiggle that out and then detach it. So then they went over. How? How do you... Zero idea. There's just, there's just like, literally, like... I have, I have no idea. There's, It's crazy, dude. The fact that this game can do that to you is nuts, but also, like, extremely fun. Uh, Banana Choco Pie, thank you so much for the uh, channel membership. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, I can't believe we did that, too. But um, I I want to explore a little bit more of the building mechanics and stuff in this game. Um, I think it's just fun. I genuinely think it's like really fun. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's chickens here. How's it going, guys? Yeah, this is the tech lab. Um, 
There's a tech lab, but there's not much... Um, there's, there's a distinct lack of Sheikah technology here. Uh, need to get inside? Come find me at Lookout Landing near Hyrule Castle. Oh, okay. Oh, the tech lab's closed. Hey, we got a pitchfork. Nice. Um, yeah, the tech lab's closed, I guess. Uh, Chuck, thank you so much for the channel membership. Uh, wow. Uh, so many channel memberships. Uh, I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I get inside? From here? This is where he sleeps and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Damn. Oh, oh, a guardian. There's still a guardian here. It's like the only guardian that we've actually seen. Oh, I'm getting some crackles. One second. Uh, let me um restart the capture card real fast. Uh, now is your chance to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel and you're liking the content, you're like, Point Crow, I want to see more Tears of the Kingdom stuff and I want to be notified of when that stuff goes live. Uh, well, hey, so you can subscribe. You can also uh, uh, you know, unsubscribe later if uh, you end up not liking it. That's your choice. Um, but uh, subscribe, you know. Um, you can always change your mind later. Uh, and it helps out the channel because we are at 7.1 million subscribers now. Uh, sorry, one, sorry, not 7.1 million, 1.71 million subscribers right now, which is, uh, 20,000 more than, um, about four days ago, <laughs> five days ago. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So I am glad that you guys are liking the streams. Uh, yeah, 7.1 million. Yeah, we actually gained, uh, we actually gained about 6 million subscribers overnight. Yeah, okay. So, is there anything here explaining, like, what happened with the Sheik attack? I feel like out of anywhere, it would be here, right? Very odd. Uh, what about in here? Like a journal? No, there's a. Oh my god, wait, it's like a mirror. It's a mirror. Uh, no, I guess not. Um, let's go back up here. Whoa. One, one second. I wonder. Does a fang do more damage? I'm so sorry, Nadra. Sorry, this is more important right now. A shard of Nadra's fang. 20 fused attack power. Damn. Damn. So I wanted to grab that. I think that's really important to grab. I feel like I'm going to need that later or something. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Take out. Uh, and then uh, use. Okay. All right. Let's go back up to the tech lab and stuff. Dude, rockets are great. Oh, no. no thanks for the uh, 10... Uh... Uh, 10 bucks. Any pet peeves that you have with the, uh, the game so far? Um, it would be nice to be able to fuse things from your inventory. Um, I get why they don't have you do that. Um, besides that. Oh, he, oh, a big pet peeve is reap. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, no. This, this is a huge one. This is something that I actually actively dislike about the game. Um, is uh, that you... The cutscene that... And this is minor spoilers. Uh, the cutscene that you get after um, finding out each regional phenomena and, like, beating the boss and then uh, talking to the champions is, like, the same cutscene. 
it's like slightly worded differently but it's like the same cutscene um it's just like not it like it's like a very like it's like all right like it, it doesn't it doesn't feel like like i i understand why they do it um but uh yeah that's like I don't know I, I they do it because like maybe you're playing a lot of the game and you want to be reminded of like what's going on and what's happening but like it, it doesn't add anything it's like oh this is what happened like a couple thousand years ago again I, I was like maybe if there's like a different perspective like maybe there's like oh and then this is what happened on my side of the fight this is what I noticed or something now that would be more interesting then you would be like okay cool I know there's like no set order but you can like do it in a way that's like it tells parts of the story so you want to hear about other parts you know and then you can have that lead into something else that's like my main gripe that i have um the other ones you can't pet the dogs but that one's more funny you know it's more that's more of a funny gripe. my actual gripe is that like it feels unrewarding when you beat um uh dungeon uh story-wise okay oh, oh korok Nice. Yo, Chase, thank you so much for the uh, channel membership. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the only guardian that we've seen in the entire game. Interesting. Dude, are, are you sure there's like nothing here about the... What happened to the guardians? What happened to the Sheik attack? There's nothing... Oh, oh, there's a book right here. Pura's diary. I grew frustrated with being treated like a child, so I resumed my age booster experiments in earnest. The anti-aging device reversed more than 100 years in an instant, so I reflected that result and moderated the output. When I cautiously exposed myself to its rays, I returned to my 20-year-old form, just as I'd hoped. Success! So happy I can once again reach high places without using a jetpack. My 20-year-old body doesn't suffer from sleepless nights uh, researching, and what's more, my skin is perfect. Uh, three volumes of my diary hidden away now. I'll place the last one at the northeastern edge of Akala. Uh, the lab there is more perfect for hiding things. It's such a remote location. I'm sure no one will ever come across it. Okay, so nothing about guardians. This feels like weird Breath of the Wild erasure. <laughs> you know? Of like... Like, what happened? Like, where is everything, you know? Like, no one's mentioning it either. I mean, it's like huge like, calamity happened, but no one's really mentioning it except, like, Zelda. You know? Um, okay. Uh, Imperial Watchdog. Thanks for the channel membership. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Let's go around here. Okay. So we've gone to Hateno. Oh, do I not? Wait. Oh, I, I don't have a, um, teleport because I can't go inside because I got to talk to Robbie. Um... I mean, pretty pretty cool with uh with Hateno. There's not much else here that I'm like wanting to do. Uh, we can go to Kakariko though. Like next, we haven't been to Dueling Peaks either, which I feel like is also important. Like right over here, if we can go to Dueling Peaks. I think it's like a fun idea. Um, yeah, sort of like make our way over. Oh, 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 um, no, Vo and me, Vo and me, Vo and me, uh, wh where was my adventure log, Vo and me, that message is, is a side adventures, right, um, CC, Laurel Lane, potential prison sightings, um, see visiting stables, search for Colton, uh, messages from an ancient era, uh, Master Koga of the Yiga clan. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. So, what do I need to do? Let me talk again here. I need to get something nice. Oh, my God. Chat, yes or no? Just yes or no? Yes or no? Just I just need a yes or no here. That's it. Right? Um... In order to complete Vo and me, do I need to do the CC 
Um, what? Uh, okay. A lot of... I don't know. Okay. No. You know what? Let's check out the shops then. While we're at it, let's check out the shops. Uh, really see what Hateno Village is all about. Uh, these are... Houses. Uh, the dye shops over here. Uh, greetings and salutations. Right. It's the same thing as before. Looks like at least for now. Um, this is clothing. And then this is the actual shop shop. Okay, let's check out the shop. Yo. Um, little East Wind General Store carries all of Hateno's local specialties. Ever since CC set up shop in the place across the way, Hateno's made a name for itself with the fresh fashion. Before that, though, this was farming community from way back. We're a self-sufficient little burg. We eat what we harvest and sell the rest. Whoa. I'll tell you what, you haven't lived until you've tried a bottle of fresh milk straight from Hateno Pasture. Um, that wraps up the sales pitch, oh. I figure. Um, anyways. Okay. Whoa. Um, if the veggies out in the field aren't for sale, you're in the market for produce. Right, you sell arrows and stuff. Nothing like this would, like, really get a Gerudo woman, like, excited, though. You know? Um, yeah. Okay, so it's not here. Okay, what else is in Hateno Village here that we haven't, like, discovered? No, I mean, that seems like it. I mean, I don't know where I would get something that, like... Unless it's, like, milk, you know? Um, but... Otherwise, you know? Uh, mayoral election's on. Okay. All right, my guy. Do you have anything for me? If you're looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. Uh, Hugh, do you do? Uh, welcome to the Kochi Dye Shop, where we live to die. Uh, if you have any dye ingredients, it's 20 rupees to dye an item. Let's get and uh, dye your getup. Oh, that's a lovely paraglider you've got there. Nowadays, not only do we do uh, dye clothes, not only do we dye clothes, but we offer a fabric rework service. Uh, bring me some fabric, and I can uh, change your paraglider. Um, your very own introductory fabric. It's <laughs> CC fabric, of course. Um, yeah, yeah, you like CC. All right. Um, every region has its own unique fabric designs. Keep uh, an eye out for them whenever you go. I think it'd be, uh, if you find some new fabric. Um, all right. Let's rework the paraglider, too. Um, yeah. Dye these clothes or rework the paraglider. Okay. All right. So, we do have some fabric here. We have the ordinary fabric. We have the nostalgic fabric, the horse god fabric, and the CC fabric. I kind of like the horse god fabric. Let's do it. It adds to like the, it adds to the creepy effect, you know? Adds to the creepy effect. What is this? Sure. Setting the fabric, ready to launch. That'll do her. Looking forward to the next visit. Now go out and paint the town red. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's so cool. They have you tested out too. All right, that's pretty neat. Oh, I like that a lot. That's that's pretty cool. All right, we got the horse god fabric. All right, nice. All right, so that's pretty much Hateno right now. Um, Let's see. I say we check out Kakariko next. Okay, you know what? No. Um, Let me ask you guys. Where do I find the Vow and Me stuff? You guys can answer this. I am asking for the answer for this. So I'm I'm quite literally being like, hey, can you tell me um, where to find the Vow and Me stuff? Okay, you guys just don't know. Okay. Okay, you literally, you guys literally just don't know. Okay, sounds good. Um, all right. 
Uh, let's talk back to Gerudo Town and see what they want. Yeah, you guys are just saying places that you want me to go. Like, I, I, like you, you guys are just saying places that you want me to go. Like, masking as if that's the answer. And I recognize that. And I think that's, like... <laughs> Come on. You, you, oh, was I born yesterday? Okay. Yeah, the one time... the Literally the one time I'm allowing you to backseat. And then you guys just don't. I... I... I I'm shocked. I would... I... I... I, I'm actually shocked. Okay. Uh, yo, okay. Uh, count me in. All right, so what uh, should I grab here? Uh, right. Um, you're so down sometimes. I know you say that. We can stop the lesson, get some more confidence. Uh, okay. Uh, the lesson was a bit... Uh, Delton's feeling pain from her last relationship. I wish there was something I showed her to help. I mentioned a certain accessory that would help her connect with others. Those only come from a village... Oh, a village in Nekluda off to the east. Not exactly convenient. No, the village in Nekluda... Yeah, is Hateno, isn't it? Oh, no, Nekluda's over here. Oh, it's probably Kakariko. Oh, you know what? It's probably Kakariko. This is East Nikluda. Nikluda's like right here, isn't it? Um, so yeah, that's probably it. Okay. So if we want to do Vo and me, I say we go to Nikluda. I say we go to Kakariko. All right, chat. Put smiles in chat. Um, thank you for the help. Um, that's the only help I have ever uh asked from you guys of like tell me the answer in all of this playthrough so far. If that's not obvious. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. We're going to uh, stop by, uh, I think, Dueling Peaks. Uh, Kakari goes over there, actually. But Dueling Peaks is right over here, right? Oh, where is it? Dueling Peaks is... Are we above Dueling Peaks? Oh, it's right over this way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Dueling Peaks it is. So let's go. Oh, it's so pretty. I think it's still Nadra. Yeah. I wonder if, like, the dragons went through. Like, are those real dragon dragons? Or is that draconification dragons, you know? Striker, thank you so much for the channel membership. Yeah. All right, there's a Korok up here for sure. But I want to go down through Dueling Peaks, I think. Yeah. Yeah, whoa, dude. Yep, it's just just as we remember. That's awesome. What's this? Is this new? Uh, a silent shroom. Okay, uh, it, it's it's uh, more stealth. That's what it is. Uh, more stealth. Oh, is that a? Uh, oh, whoa! That's a. Uh, Grey Fairy Fountain over there, too. Okay, cool. Now, we don't really need Grey Fairy Fountains yet. From what I know so far... Well, actually, I do know this so far. I don't really... I, I don't have much to upgrade weapons. I don't... Or, sorry. Um, I don't have much to upgrade uh, my... Uh, my armor. So, I think we'll have to stop by the Grey Fairies later. And, like, do all of that stuff in a bit. But, um, yeah... Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. This is weird, dude. Weird rocks have been etched. That's cool. That's so pretty. Seeing dragons in the sky. Okay. Yeah, this is... Uh, 
the Hateno. Or sorry, not Hateno. This is the Dueling Peak stable. This is like one of the first stables that you go to in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, Dueling Peak stable. And if I'm correct, you can feed this dog. Hello. Look at him. Look at the doggy. Look at the doggy. He's so cute. Whoa, he just like teleported back up. Well, that was so weird. He's so cute. He's so cute. I love him more than life. Oh my God, he's so adorable, man. You're all right. You got one last apple. Go eat it. Go eat it. All right, we got to speed run all dog treasures one of these days. Or uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Whoa! Now he's super happy. And then I think he's going to lead us to... Or he should be able to lead us to a, uh, a treasure chest. That's what they normally do. Where are we going? Where are we going, doggy? Where, where are we going, doggy? Oh, look, it's over here. It's right here. It's, it's right here. Hey, look, he's sniffing. Oh, oh, look, he's sniffing. He, he, he found. Point. He point. All right, what'd you give me? What'd you find for me, boy? An eight-fold long blade plus with durability up. That is awesome. Actually huge. Wait. Oh, it's like full. It's like full katana, dude. Wait. If I take this. Wait. This is going to be so cool. And then I add. Ooh. The shard of Nedra's Fang maybe to it. That'd be kind of cool. All right. Or I could like add in. No, I think we'd make like a really powerful weapon here because it's like super durable. I think that's what we do. So I think it'll be um, the Gleok Flamehorn. It's plus 30 attack power. Let's do this. Whoa! Ho -ho! Damn! Yeah, it's super durable. Uh, plus, it's 38 damage. Yeah, because it has the eightfold long blade, blade animation where it's like a katana. We literally have a flame katana. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Literally. That's right. Don't mess with me. Yeah, you can literally shoot off like flame, like like a flame. Uh, um, what you call it? Uh, you can shoot off a flame blade. Yeah, you shoot flames in the air. Look at that. Damn. All right, that's pretty cool. That's like that's like the coolest weapon we have yet. Okay, uh, let's go to Kakariko then. All right. Hello. Dueling Peak Stable. Um, I will take. Um, regret. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, we should probably get uh, another wow. horse, too. Right. Okay. Ah. Oh. Thanks for waiting. Uh, all right, we're good. Let's let's take out regret. Ah. I love regret. Oh. Okay. Mm. They saw some big footprints. Um. Uh, around here. Okay. Cool. Which is probably uh, indication that there's a cool horse around here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> How far is your friend, Korok? My friend and I got separated. Okay. All right. 
Time to do some war crimes. Give me a second. We're going to go to Kakariko, but I, I have something more important to do first. Okay. All right. Um, let me get one of these. Attach this there so I can get some more. Uh, attach this there. Grab this. Um, and I think I'll need a platform here. Uh, that works. That works. That works. Okay. We'll start with this. Uh, might need one of these. Uh, okay. Let me get a towing harness real fast too. Okay. Uh, take horse. Oh, wait, wait. Um, one sec. Chat, this is important to me. Okay. Um, this is very important to me. All right, just just trust me on this, guys. Ah, oh. Um, attach a harness, yes. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Horses, ah. gear, stamina, oh. come back anytime. Okay, cool. Um, I just like I know we need to go to Kakariko Village, but I must, I must show this Korok. I must show him business, you know. All right, let's take this. Um, put this over here for now with all the materials. Um, I'll grab this here. Okay, attach. Okay, great. All right, so we have a towing harness up. Um, let's see. How can I, like, properly do this? Um, all right, let me take one of these. And then I want to attach it right there. Oh yeah, that works. That works like plenty fine. Okay. Um, and then I want to take, let's see. Okay. One of these. Oh, uh, wait, no, no. I don't want to put it there. I want to put it, like, right here. Like, perfect. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Let me just attach you right here. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is a good start. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah, we can start with this. <laughs> I think this is this is safe. Okay, you know what? If you want, if you want to be like taken to your friends so badly, you're going to do it with pain. So I'm gonna drag you across the road. Um. <laughs> oh, and let me make it last. Uh, with maybe like an extra little, uh, <clears throat> how do I put flare? Here we go. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go to your friend. <laughs> can attach no 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 you don't get off that easily okay you don't get off that easily here okay no 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 you try you try let's see let's see let's see how can we do this properly i wonder if i can like uh take out a 
No, no, wait. wait. Uh, let's take out some stakes, I think. Yeah. And then the stake won't burn, right? Oh, yeah, the stake definitely won't burn. But he will burn at the stake. Does that count? Then we take that, and then we take the flame emitter. And we put it on the stake right here. Perfect. Oh, the battery's almost dead, too. Okay. Well, let's take out two more batteries. Make sure this really lasts throughout the entire ride. Um. Okay, and then uh, one more. Uh, it is getting heavy for the, the horse here. So I do realize that. All right. Here we go. Um, part two. This could work. Oh, perfect. Literally perfect. And it motivates our horse. <laughs> Alright, we're supposed to go this way. Nice. Oh, look at that. Dude, I feel like that Korok is definitely in immense pain. Oh, oh, and our horse won't like our horse won't go. This is, it's a little heavy, right? So, oh, he's really going to be slowly, slowly burning here. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Okay, come on. Come on, horsey. Come on, horse. You got this. More pull power. Really? You're not pulling him. Oh, oh God. Oh God, what have we done? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh no. I mean, that's one way to do it, honestly. It's, it's still burning him. All right, you know what, you know what? I'll let you have your misery for now. Okay. Um, where's, where's your friend? Your friend's over there? Your friend's over there, right? Okay. All right. Let me just then, uh, lead you to your friend. There's, there's another option I have. Because clearly flame torture doesn't work. Let's see. If we get the angle right. We have this correct. The angle, you know. Let me put it to the side. Here. Yeah, this could work. You're kind of like close, right? Really? There it is. All right. You know what? I'll take it. I'll actually take it. Oh, wait. What do you mean? I can just do this, can't I? Wait, I can literally just... Oh, that works. Oh. Okay, so I can literally just drag you across the floor. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Wait, sorry. You seem too happy about this. All right, there we go. Just, I need you to be face down while we do this. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Man, we're really making the world a better place, aren't we? Oh yeah, really just travel, make you travel over rocks. Awesome. Look, now you're with friends. And we did it. Yeah. Now that's how you deliver a Korok. That's how you deliver a Korok. Uh, speaking of, what's over here? 
What is this place? Discovery. Fort Hateno Cave. Oh. Be a lot of, a uh, lot of enemies in here. Okay. Uh, oh, it's just like a cave with, with, um, that and then a couple hits there wait do we do it oh nice easy oh my god he's too good at the game all right cool uh all right i'm going to splice here for the editors real fast um chat say hi to the editors they're super cool and they're 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 like they're helping out say hi to the editors okay All right, let's go up here and collect our reward. Oh. An eightfold blade halberd. Um, I don't really want it, but I'll drop the pitchfork instead for it, I guess. For now. Um, all right, so I guess that was the cave, nothing much else. Yeah. Okay, cool. Neato! Yeah, that, that, uh, dude, these poor, those poor Koroks. I have some other ideas of what I want to do with the Koroks. So, like, I feel like every single time we see one, we need to stop by and, um, introduce them to, um, some new travel plans, you know, that we may come across. Um,. I, yeah, yeah, I'll put it like that. Travel plans. Travel plans. I think that's a fair way of putting it. Uh, okay, let's go, uh, let's go to Kakariko Village now. Yeah, is this to Kakariko? This is, this is, this is new. For what's worth. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, new constructs as well. Um, I don't really care about beating constructs right now. This hand. Oh, you know what? Yikes. Um, I don't want to be here right now. I can't. I can't climb up this waterfall or anything. Uh, Blanca. Okay. Oh, there's a shrine over there. Okay, we should probably get this shrine. Oh my god, really? Stop. Climb, please. Thank you. You know what? I should always have, like, a at least one, like, shield with a with a rocket. I feel like that's, like, good quality of life I can do for my own gameplay here. To have, like, one shield with a rocket and then, like, have that rocket at all times. So if I ever get into, like, this location, then I can, like, make sure I'm, like, good to go. Yeah, I think that's, like, I think it's the way to do it. I think that's genuinely the way to do it. Okay. I need more rockets. <laughs> I, I keep running out. They're like the best. They're the best thing. And I need more. Like constantly. Okay. So we'll use this. Yes. We'll equip this for now. Okay. Cool. Uh, We want to go to Kakariko. Right. But I want to get this uh, shrine up here first. So we have like another warp point the more warp points the better because then if we do side quests or like any amount of anything ever then we're like able to like come back and like you know to it okay dude yeah so right up here yeah i like how the game pauses when you like i actually really like how the game pauses when you um when you're mid-air and then you use your uh scope like your your scope in i think that's like particularly one of like the best things let me put this right here i am using too many of my pins jesus christ there's so many wait when did i pin this what was this 
Oh, I guess that's another shrine. Okay. There's just so many things going on. There's so many things I want to do. Uh, I don't know. Dare I say this is a pretty good playthrough. Um, I, uh, I happen. Uh, I am also, I'm also pretty biased, you know. But, uh, I happen to believe that this is a, a great playthrough itself. Um, and the more chaos I can, uh, reign across the lands of Hyrule, I feel like the better, the, I think the better we're, we're all off. Yeah, okay, that'll help a lot, too. Um, the uh, Sky Island uh, recall stuff. If I want to get up here a little bit faster. Okay. Here we go. Hello. Yeah, because I want to get up there. So the best way to do this. Also, we need to explore a little bit of Hatena. Where are all the guardians? Where'd they all go? Did they have, like, a cleanup effort? I, like, the thing that... I, it actually, like, really shocks me that there's no... There's no indication of anything that happened to any of the Guardians at all. Or, like, any of the Sheik attack. It's kind of a little mind-blowing to me that the, it's not, like, mentioned more. You know? Like, I want to know. Eshos. The Eshos Shrine. Okay. That landing? Yeah. I like to cut it close. <laughs> Alright, combat training shields. Oh, good, dear God. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! How many hours am I in this game? How many is this a tutorial? <laughs> it is. It totally is a tutorial. Yep. Still finding out new things about this game. Okay. Uh, your other attacks are ineffective here. Okay. So I just need to parry, right? Yep. Hello. Did I win? Uh, it turns out my parries in Tears of the Kingdom are as good as my parries in Breath of the Wild. Um, to use your shield accordingly uh, for each L of the element attacks. Okay. So you're going to shoot me next, um, and I'll do it with... Imagine not having a um, wooden shield for this. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Pretty easy. I wonder if there's... There hasn't been many parry opportunities. I mean, there's no guardian lasers that we have to hit. So parrying isn't, like, as necessary. I haven't, like, really been tested to my, like, ability of parrying yet. It's very interesting. A mighty Zoanite shield? Whoa! Very durable and draws on stored energy and more efficiently used in attached zone device. 50? Okay, that was worth it. <laughs> that was very worth it, actually. Looks like chests also scale. So it's like always worth it to check out a, uh, a chest. <laughs> Parry these nuts. Wow, we have 11 Light of Blessings. We should probably get more <laughs> like should probably like you know address that all right we're gonna do kakariko village and then i believe we'll get a tower and then probably get another memory i think we'll do that okay kakariko village that is the goal right now kakariko village 
Or maybe we get the uh, tower first. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think we get the tower first on the way to, like, on the quote unquote way to Kakariko. Because the way to Kakariko is that way. Let's get the tower first and then we'll do the Kakariko stuff. I think getting towers is, like, extremely important just for, like, map awareness. That's what, you know, I'm thinking here. Uh, could it just be my thoughts? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh. Uh, let me do here. Oh, you have, uh, oh, you have armor. Yeah. Okay, so if you have armor, I gotta do this. Frost house hammer for you. Okay, you just got, like, one shot. Nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Wow, that was easy. Uh, get fucking wrecked, dude. Oh, there's a... Wait, wait, wait a second. Lazal Boomerang here. You know what? I wonder if we can do some weird stuff with boomerangs. Let me save that because I feel like... I feel like uh, boomerangs we could play around with for sure. You know? Will you make more edited videos in the story of the game? Yes! Uh, there should be one coming out tonight. Uh, my editors are hard, hard at work, uh, doing that. Uh, it's a huge, huge thank you, by the way, to, uh, Kat, Zoe, uh, Jeremiah, and Polite. Um, they are my editors who have been working like 12, 15 hour days. Uh, actually, I, I, that's probably putting it light. Uh, it's 17 hour days. Um, I would actually say, uh, putting together these videos for you guys. So... Um, shout out to Sucrose as well for making, you know, dude, the entire, po like, Team Point Crow. And Abby for, um, uh, helping me out, uh, uh, with everything I need. Adam doing, like, uh, all the merchandise stuff for the Doodle plushies, which was launched just in time for Tears of the Kingdom. And then, uh, Nance for helping out. Abby, there's so many, like, people, like, that are, like, working to the, like, their bone, you know? Doing so many, like, amazing things, um, just to make this content happen for you guys in, like, such a fun way. Um, so yes, we will. I'm, we're making more videos. Uh, check it out tonight. Um, it, it has one of the best thumbnails for a video I have ever, we have ever made. Um, I think it's so badass and so cool. Um, and, uh, I know a lot of other YouTubers are like on like part two, part three, part four or whatever of their playthrough, like edited already. Um, but the reason why we're being so slow about it is because I want you guys to be able to watch this in like two years time and be like, damn, that is a good video still, you know? Not just like a rushed out, like, cut, 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 cut. But just like, really highlights it all. Like, I want it to be like, something special, you know? Uh, I missed you. How fast can I beat this guy now? Because you're just like a... Oh, nice. Love that for us. Um, let's do this. Okay, thank you for that. Easy, dude. Actually easy. That's actually so ridiculous. Yeah, damn. Oh, wait, you dropped a... Uh... Is this a, a knight's bow? Oh, that's a good bow. That is a good bow. I'll take that for sure. Also, um, so in case you guys are curious, the way like Tears of the Kingdom scales, like the way that Tears of the Kingdom functions, same thing with Breath of the Wild, is that every enemy uh, that you defeat has like an invisible counter to it, right? There's this invisible um, sort of value of like the entire world, like how dangerous the world is. So you'll initially um, go across, uh, you'll initially go across the entire land of um hyrule and all this stuff right um and everything is going to be like red enemies like super easy like level one constructs and stuff but the more enemies you defeat um the more dangerous they'll become like you'll get construct twos you got construct threes you'll get everything else right 
Okay, I forgot the sword because I don't want it. My inventory um, is full and I want all of these other things. Um, uh, what are these? Splash fruits. Swim speed increase. Interesting. Um, so it's like experience points, basically, that you get that levels up the entire world. Um, so each enemy has a different amount of experience that levels up the world. Same thing with story progression, right? So you can level up the world to the max by defeating a whole bunch of enemies. But also, whenever you complete the stories, um, it, like, bumps it up that much more, too. Um, so it's a really cool thing. It looks like they increased... Uh, they, they added more aggressive story progression. Like, more aggressive experience progression to chests here, too. Which is kind of cool. There's a cave here. So that's just like a fun fact uh, that you might not have known about um, uh, Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. That's like how it works. So if you're like, man, I want to see some um, more blue enemies and stuff, then yeah. There's some enemies that are um, particularly, like, specifically um, uh, coded to be like non, -pro like uh, not progressing, uh, not progression. Uh, that being like, you can see here that there was some uh, red Moriblins there. Um, but it, there's a, a black one here too, which means that like we've scaled to be able to have a lot of black enemies here. Um, I'm assuming that we're probably on the cusp of silver enemies. Nice. Uh, a knight's claymore. I actually do. I actually don't want it. I don't think I want it. Anyways, kind of like uh, some some fun facts about like how Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom works. Hopefully that you know helps. Uh, in Breath of the Wild, ooh, Shields of the Mind Eye, um, Mind's Eye. I think I want to drop. Actually, none of these for that. Okay. Um. Uh, but in particular, oh, what's this? Uh, in particular, there's a lot of stuff here. Jesus. Uh, wow, this cave goes on. Oh no, it's just like a cave that goes multiple things. Okay. Um, uh, so Breath of the Wild, uh, would end up scaling up the entire world, like, constantly. Like, so there's, like, a ton of the entire world scaled all the time, every time. Um, and so it would make it hard to complete the compendium, which was, in Breath of the Wild, the ability to, well, it's like a 100% thing, where you take a picture of every single, um, object, uh, in the world, or every single enemy in the world. So, if you're... Um, enemies scale up. It's harder and harder to get lower level enemies. Which is why, in Breath of the Wild, there was one Bokoblin specifically um, always deemed to be red. No matter what. There was one Lizalfos, one Lionel, one of every enemy that was supposed to be of each type. That was specifically hard-coded to only be that type ever. Um, uh, which was a pain in the ass. Because nobody knew what those were until like a year or so into the game when they're like, oh, okay, this is fine. Um, turns out it looks like in Tears of the Kingdom, they've added a lot more of those enemies. So then it's not like a pain to do. How strange. All right, let's get this yeah. tower. Did you come to see the Skyview Tower? Oh. My apologies. It looks like we have a small problem. What's going on? Oh. Terminal is in need of repairs, but I came to fix it. But oh. door won't open. Um, the door isn't locked, but it won't budge. Of course, I know it's a sliding door. Um, I bet the nearby caves. Oh, I have an answer. Okay. Oh, so the nearby caves, and then what we do with that is that we can, like, probably ascend through it. That makes sense. Okay. So if we go into here... Um, oh, do I not have any more bombs? I guess not. Okay, where's, uh, my, my Goron? The Nobo... You know, Bo, where you at? You know, Bo. I need your talents, my guy. There it is. Okay. You know, Bo, I need your talents yet again. Give me a second. There it is. You know, Bo, I need your talents uh, yet again. For the third time. Because I ran out of bomb... <laughs> I ran out of bomb flowers. You know, Bo, I need your talents yet again. One, one more time.
You know, Bo, I no longer need your talents. Your, your talents have been solved. Is this... Why is there a giant... What's going on here? Is this... It kind of seems a little phallic. Here. Okay. Uh, let me do this. Why were there two small uh, things? And then one large thing. Oh, hello. We're rich, my god! And we got a bubble gem. Okay, cool. Dude. What armor is that? It's the depths armor. It's so cool. Okay, so we need to be like right below here. So I think it's right here is what we need. Yeah, it's right here, and then we ascend. And then we can get inside the tower. Uh, and then open the door. Nice. What? Huh? How'd you get inside? Oh, is that not what we're supposed to do? Oh, oh, it's these sticks that are blocking it. Oh, okay. So we're inside and then we got to move the sticks because they're preventing it from sliding open. Oh, there we go. It opened. How'd you manage to fix it? Uh, through some, some brain power and some brain. <laughs> Alright, now you're going to fix the, the tower. We can go. Uh, Ta-da! Okay. And the tower is solved. Let's get a new uh, part of the map. Here we go. Prepare for takeoff. The Hylian uh, space program is a go. Whoa. Oh, that's the, the Sky Islands, right? Tutorial. So cool. So neat. So funky. So fresh. So clean. And a full new area of the map unlocked. There it is. Wow. Oh, there's a giant chasm inside of Kakariko Village. Okay, great. Good to know. That's <laughs> it's a little scary. Sky map updated. Okay, cool. Uh, Nito. All right, let's go to Kakariko Village. Let's go to Kakariko. Uh, best way to do that is uh, kind of like over here, I think. Uh, I want to go to Kakariko through like the normal like Kakariko like area, you know, um, uh, where you normally go through uh, from Breath of the Wild. God, uh, getting to Lin early was like the best decision ever. God, I love that bird. It's such a nice like quality of life feature. Uh, dude, we're getting close to the end of the game. Like, we genuinely are getting pretty close here. I don't know, man. I don't know. We're almost done. We're, I mean, I mean, look at this. We have, um... Four more towers to unlock. Uh, one more regional phenomena. Uh, and three more memories. Like, we, like the fact that we can, like, you know, the fact that we can uh, literally just count how much we have left is crazy. Yeah, oh, there's for sure lots to discover. I mean, I haven't done, like, a lot of the sky yet. And um, our depths is pretty, like, um, barren as of right now. So... There's a lot for us to do. There is a lot for us to do still. Okay, cool. Oh, this is where we got the maracas last time. For Hestu. Okay. Oh, okay. Hello. 
Uh, bum. Oh, you're the guy that we need for um, the great fairy. Okay. Don't interrupt. I'm busy calling bees with my beat. Come on. Don't look at me like that. I know it's goofy, but I got to try. The conductor uh, has been a little down in the musical trope. Uh, I figured I'd make some honey crepes, but I can't get uh, any coarser bee honey. So I'm trying to lure some bees with my uh, base. All I need are three combs of honey. Uh, someone said there are beehives in Kakariko to the north. Uh, near the hole. Honey bee mine. That's... Actually, that's so cute. That's adorable, actually. That's actually, like, adorable, man. I... <laughs> I love that title. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's go to Kakariko. We're just like a little bit of ways away. Uh, and we should be good to uh, go. Uh, just head down this way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Lag is... I don't think there's lag, is there? Um, it, was I? Was there some lag? I don't think so. All right, let's get some tomatoes. Have we noticed any? Okay. Yeah, ha, ha No, dude, why is it whenever I pick up a, um, um, a fountain, or whenever I pick up a rock, it's not a Korok anymore. It's literally, like, there, there's no more Korok. All right. Uh, at least with Gagarigo Village, we can also like upgrade our our um, our, our stuff. Uh, we have stamina and hearts that we need to upgrade for later. Uh, is this still a Korok? No, it's worth a shot though. Is this still a Korok? No, okay. Once again, worth a shot. All right, Kakariko Village, it is. Oh. Oh, this is a... Uh... Wait, whoa. What is this? Uh, uh, we're hands-on with the ring ruins at last. I can't believe it. Uh, this chunk is just a small one of the ring ruins. The ring ruins? What the... I mean, compared to the main sites, like that ring ruin over there, it's broken in two, but you can still see the full ring. Can't visit that one uh, by order of Princess Zelda herself. No one's allowed to go anywhere near it. Why? Huh? Why would Zelda do that? Um, I don't think that's the Princess Zelda that we know, you know? Okay. Uh, don't mind me. Uh, definitely leaving everything just as I found it. Wait, you're not with the survey team, are you? Uh... Ooh, I thought we were going to get yelled at again. Um, interesting. Okay, I'm. we're kind of uncovering some more story here. Uh, like, genuinely, we're putting some pieces together. So Zelda, Princess Zelda said, hey, those ruins right there, don't touch those ruins. Okay, don't, don't research them, which isn't exactly what Zelda would say, unless there's something actually dangerous there. Um, it turns out, right, we know that the Princess Zelda that is appearing all across Hyrule is some sort of weird foe. I, I was saying pho. Sorry. Pho, it's some weird foe Zelda. Um, who was acting as Zelda as an illusion. And we know that that's being controlled by Ganondorf by watching the, the memories. So what I'm assuming here is that Zelda created the survey team. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think I made a ma major discovery here. Zelda created the survey team, right? And the survey team is supposed to be uncovering these ruins and everything. However, it seems that Zelda is like, no, hey, don't, don't do actually like surveys on these actual ruins over here, we're looking for something. I think Ganondorf is looking for something right now. I think that's what's happening. Uh, interesting. Huh? We really want to become members of the Zonai survey team, so we came here to study the ruins. Interesting. That's why the Zonai survey team sent specialists to examine these ring ruins here. We learned this was a great opportunity to learn all sorts of things. <sighs> the Letty's been running all over the place uh, to look for this and that. Uh, and we've gotten nowhere fast. Aww. Come on, I'm sorry already. But after we're done here, we want to see the stone slab found in each of the ring ruins. Um, huge discoveries, they say. Oh. Naturally, let's see how many of the five ring ruins we can visit to see those. Okay, so there's five ring ruins around here that we can, like, see. To figure out. Okay. 
Thank you guys so much for the smiles, by the way. I'm glad that you guys are uh, just smiling and, you know, not, not spoiling. Okay, so there's this up here. Uh, I think I do want to grab the shrine here for sure. Um, very interesting. Yeah, we're making some small uncover... Like, we're uncovering a bunch of, like, things here. Very slowly, but, like, I think in a good way. The more people we talk to, the more we're getting, like, an idea of about, like, what's happening around Hyrule. Because um, everyone here is being manipulated by Ganon or in some way but to what extent oh whoa please have rockets i swear to god if you don't have rockets i'm going to scream i hope this one have ro has rockets i need more rockets in my inventory all right if i type all the way down what are these a stabilizer? A perfectly balanced Zonai device that stands upright when activated. It was used to secure footholds in unstable places. Oh. Interesting. A stabilizer? So if we have, like, an unstable contraption, we can activate a stabilizer to make sure it is stable. You know what? I like that. That's kind of cool. Uh, no rockets, though, unfortunately. Yeah, this, this dude, dude, that's crazy. What are these ruins? What happened to Kakariko? My God, jeez. Oh, one fell on a house. Okay, Makashura Shrine. Okay, here we go. What is this shrine here? Right, an upright device. Okay. Um, uh, do I just ascend here? Is that like the... Okay. Okay. So we're using ascend somewhere here. So what is this? An upright device. So the state... Oh, I see how you're supposed to do this, I guess. Um, so I still do uh, this. I'm going to activate here. The stabilizer will make it go top. Then I ascend up here. Right? I exit, and then I go. Okay. Cool. So we just have to do that more, in a way. So then... Um, this is then, I guess, wondering... Um, how do we do more here? Like, what, what, how do we, how do we get up and, 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 and do this? So I think what we do is probably you take the stabilizer. Uh, you put it down here. You stabilize it. You use a scent. Yeah, you use a scent. So it's like whatever the stabilizer is makes it always go up. Okay, good to know. And then we go around and up here. Okay. Uh, we need to somehow take this guy off. So then we just... Oh, oh my god. That's so cool. So then um, I... Attach this here. Um, we can like toss it over. By... Uh, Putting you down in here. I don't think I need to attach you, do I? No, I definitely shouldn't attach, actually. We go here. We shoot it off. Yo! Hole in one! Let's go! And then we ascend up. Oh, actually, no. We we have to... I, guess I can ascend up through here. Oh, not a hole in one. Damn it, it's a part two. Shit. Wait, no, it's still going. Okay, we're good. Sorry, it, 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 sometimes it, 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 you know, does the whole lag thing, you know? Okay, just, just go in. Go in. 
Just go in. Just go in. Just go in. Just, just go in. You're so close. It's right there. It's just, just literally just, there it is. Easy. <laughs> Look, I, I did it. Chad. I did it. All right, we got this now. What is, what would the, oh, you know what this is probably used for? I wonder, yeah, I think we fling ourselves across. I think that's what we do here. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, we just put it right here. Okay, go next. Yeah, I think we fling ourselves. Like, we catapult ourselves. Right here. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world! Are you... Are you... See... Okay. All right, I guess that's not the solution that we were looking for. <gasps> Um, but I do have another idea. When in doubt, make a bridge. When in doubt, make a goddamn bridge. Okay. So let's do this. And then we'll do this. Uh, stabilizer. Put you right here. Okay, and then how do I activate the stabilizer? Um, do I have a... I don't have a bomb. Um, oh. Wait, I just turned this around. Oh, wait, no, that's still not going to work. Do I have another stabilizer right here? I don't. Okay. I can't shoot myself here. Unless I do this. And then... Oh. Okay, that's totally the solution. Oh, that's totally what I'm doing. Okay. But I need to activate this, like, on time and properly. So it works. It totally works. How do I get... How do I shoot this? I wish I had a bomb. Hmm... No I can't bring out Zonai devices. Yeah. I can't bring this over. Well, maybe I can. Can I rotate it over? No. Okay. Okay. Can this... Okay. I have an idea. It's stupid, but I have an idea. So what if I take this, right, and I undo this? Oh, it needs to fall. No, no. It needs to fall forward. Like, it needs to fall on this. So what if I just, like, have it fall like that? Will that activate it? No, it won't activate it. Yo. Oh, chat, give me one second. Um, uh, I'm going to 
Go to the bathroom. Um, Abby's going to take over real fast. Hey, yo, hey, calm down. Don't worry, chat. They're Uncrustables. Hashtag ad. Just kidding. We're not sponsored by Uncrustables. I wish, though. I've been eating these bitches like candy. Hello. If you're nice to me, I'll give you an Uncrustable. Note it. Keep Take note. Ugh, how are we doing? How's it going today? Solve the puzzle. Um, Is this like wheel? I'm really good at wheel. Is this puzzle like Wheel of Fortune <laughs> or Jeopardy? Can you tell Eric and then you wrote some backseating? Uh, no. Only because you asked nicely. Um, that I won't, I mean. Just hit the structure. He's being so annoying. Have you considered that he might know the answer, but now he's doing it to torture you? <laughs> Don't put it past him. Don't put it past him. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm tired. I uh, had therapy today, I would recommend. Um, and my, you ever just like tell somebody something and they're just like also a little bit like, whoa, that's crazy. And you're like, I know, right? That happened to me today in therapy. Everyone should do therapy. If you don't think you need therapy, you are you could probably still use it. I be using it. <laughs> Let me tell you, I be using it. <sighs> I also, during therapy today, something like not fun happened like a while, nothing major, but like something not fun happened um, over the weekend. And I was telling her about it and I was just like, classic Abby moment. And she just like looked at me and I was like, sorry, I've been in chat way too much. My, ther my therapist also knows about like streaming and stuff like that, which is really cool. She was chill like that. I don't know if she was chill like that. Where's my family of four? I cannot, legally, I cannot tell you the information. Could you beat Eric in a fight? Uh, I don't know, like, he's been boxing. Like, you know, he'd, he'd done boxing um, for, what's it called? Uh, for chess boxing last year. So I feel like if he was actually trying, yeah, but I don't think he would like try. And I grew up with a younger sister who was very evil. So I, I, I have, I'm hardy. Also, somebody just informed me that um, Memorial Day is coming up. Anybody doing anything fun for Memorial Day? Anybody traveling? I will probably take a break for Memorial Day after this long stretch of content. Anybody doing anything fun? It seems so isolating. It's actually like, it's a good community thing to do streaming, but it's also, yeah, like it can be a little isolating, I suppose. But that's why you have good friends and you do other things. A lot of camping in the chat. A lot of camping happening. Somebody's birthday, happy birthday. Germany, that's a fun trip. You gonna you already missed um Eurovision though. Going mountain biking. Everybody going outside. Sleeping? Amen. I mean Memorial Day in the US. Sorry. If you're not from the US, you probably don't know that. But we have a holiday coming up. Usually people like it's like the kind of the first warm holiday, like it's the start of summer holiday. So usually in the US, like people will go like to the lake. I don't know. People go to the beach. It's like a it's usually like a pool. It's when the pool's open in the US usually. Um, yeah, it's chill. It's a long weekend in Canada too. Is it really? Oh yeah, if you don't know who I am, I work here. Um, don't harass me. It's like harassing a cashier. Uh, I'm not dating Eric. I literally work here. I'm basically the cashier. Beach? Yeah, I love, dude, I love the beach. I've been to the beach all year. Well, actually that's not true. We took pictures there for the doodle. Oh, sorry. Did I mention the doodle and not show it on stream? So sorry about that chat. You can get him right here at pointgirl.shop. If you go to pointgirl.shop, you can see that we took some pictures of doodle on the beach. And then that was my segue. Nice. I did good. Oh, yeah. I did well. Enjoy your soup dumplings. High five. I'm taking That's the good. Uncrustables back though. Those are mine. I, I checked to see how many of these I could fit in my pockets of my Point Crow sweatpants that we're both wearing today. What? I checked to see how many Uncrustables I could fit in my pockets. Uh, also, uh, are they still available? I don't think they are. Um, well, maybe I might read them back. I don't know. Um, but I, it's like, the answer is like 10. These pockets are deep. You need to change. <laughs> I didn't know you were wearing these today. <laughs> you need. We can't be wearing the same clothes. Matching. Oh, they said you're really bad at puzzles. I'm, they said I'm bad at puzzles. Um, uh, okay. yeah, um, chat, uh, how was the cashier? <laughs> what? 
One sec. Okay, one second. She's preparing for this joke. One sec. Do 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 how was our interaction today, chat? Would you like to... You can't see it on the screen. This joke sucks. God, I'm going to call my therapist again. Oh, let's get a plus one in chat out of pity. Oh. All right. Alrighty, let's do this. I wonder how I can complete this. Uh, she she got uh she made me soup dumplings by the way, chat, which is very kind of her. Um, so let's let's all say thank you to Abby. Mm. Let's see. All right, do I don't want to catapult myself out? <laughs> I wonder. If I add stabilizers like this. And then I hit these stabilizers. It might go... Oh! I hit this stabilizer. It might go up and then activate the other stabilizers. Because... Oh! Because it's attached. So these stabilizers will also work. Nice! Let's go! Easy. Huge brain. Hey, sometimes you uh, need to um, uh, get up and stretch a little bit, you know? We're in Crestables. Uh, they're just peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But they're good. You overcomplicated that? Yeah. The same as the rest of my life. Like, what's new? <laughs> like, welcome to my life. This is this is who I am as a person. Hey, but it still worked though in the end. It just it was a little bit of a roundabout. Already, Kakariko Village. It's a little laggy in Kakariko. A little bit. Okay. Let's, uh, I mean, let's go down. Uh, Impa is, uh, kind of, like, surrounding the world, but I'm, uh, like, uh, like, Impa is around in the world, um, sort of, like, discovering about the geoglyphs, which leads there to be nobody at the actual, uh, uh, leads there to be, uh, nobody, wait, at here except for Paya? Is this... Paya? Huh? Hi. Yeah. The ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched, especially this one. The way part of it floats up there. You have the foresight to focus on all these special ruins and invite the survey team to take a look right away. Uh... I'm impressed, Chief Paya. She's the chief. She's the chief. I'm no chief. I couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only since I still have a great deal to... Hmm? Hello! <laughs> Hi there! Thank you, Master Link. <laughs> I'm so happy that I get to see you again. Chief of Kakariko Village. Mm. I'm overjoyed that both you and the Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Oh? What? Princess Zelda is still missing? That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. Huh? I was right. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. Yeah, she ordered us all to stay far away from the ring ruin that floats above us, no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. I told you! I told you, dude! Oh, oh hi, Taro. You know, there's Paya, and then there's Taro. I... 
two fine specimens here. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. Uh, we thought it was uh, to protect the villagers from harm. The ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Pi and I suspect, at least. Mm. Still, I know you might... Uh, I know you would not misspeak, Master Link, especially on the matter of such importance. How confusing. <gasps> My apologies. I was so pleased to see you. I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. <gasps> I invite him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. <gasps> he has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. Oh, wow. He can read it. Taro. Um, but if you're a part of the survey team, are you in cahoots with Ganondorf? It's clear that the floating ring ruin that were forbidden, uh, we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that stone slab with the writing at, found at each site. Deciphering the text show that each slab contains rather interesting content, including mention of sages. Nice. Okay. There's so much. we Okay. Sages is huge because we know about the sages already. Um, we know about the lightning sage, the wind sage, the uh, fire sage. Or flame sage, uh, the time sage, uh, and that's four of the six. Uh, I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air has also a slab that makes mention of the sages. I can't investigate as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. Oh, okay, so so he's actually not evil. Princess Zelda, okay, he's just part of the team. Oh. In case I'm having some uh, trouble squaring your story away about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. Everything is all right. Why won't she just show herself? Mm -hmm. You must have some reason. Once we find Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. Uh, oh, we can't go. You. Hey, you there. Come here. Uh, haven't you heard? It's strictly forbidden uh, by Princess Zelda's orders. Uh, better be on your way. Okay. Uh. We want to get in there and poke around, but... You know, is it the end of my dream that someday Princess Zelda will call me Dr. Callip? What kind of dreams you've been having, man? All right. Uh, whoa. Nadra's here again. Wow, Nadra is all over the place. We've been seeing Nadra like all over the place. All right, let's go into the actual chief's house. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's it's oh. you, Dorian. The the um the pop the 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 He's the guy that leads the Kakariko military. There we go. Whoa, is that really you? <gasps> Link? Uh, why, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. Uh, I didn't expect to see you here in our village. Uh, right now, too, while our chief is a chief. Uh, I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Impa, retired. Now, Lady Paya is the chief of Kakariko village. <sighs> Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibilities, though. All these ring ruins have her full attention. All right, well, we can go up here, which is uh, where this is uh, Lady Paya's bedroom and her diary. Okay. No, this is Pura's diary. Pura's here. Oh, my God. Wait, this is the second of Pura's diaries. Okay. Perhaps a side effect from returning to my previous farm from 100 years ago, but I had a dream about that time. Back then, Robbie and I did whatever we pleased at the Royal Ancient Lab. Age reversal experimentation, warping failure explosions, explosion preventing device explosions. I recall us trying things that would likely have got us tossed out if Impa and Princess Zelda hadn't covered for us. Impa scolded me often, but never too harshly. Those were fun times. Um, I haven't decided where to hide three of my four diary volumes yet. Hmm. Seems like a good idea to hide one of them away in my own room. Uh, I should be a lookout landing a lot lately. Or uh, maybe I should go back to the lab in Hatena Village to place the diary. Uh, and this is... Paya's diary. Okay. One day, Grandmother said to me, You've grown up, Paya. It took me by surprise, so I simply noticed, uh, nodded. She nodded back and said, It's settled. As of today, you are the chief. And so it was. Uh, suddenly, I was the chief. But what can I hope to achieve? 
Just like my grandmother, I do have Dorian as my aide, for which I am grateful. Yet, for some reason, he seems troubled. Uh, grandmother has become obsessed with old books. I'm hesitant to reach out with her uh, with my concerns. I fear this chief's hat that grandmother has given me is too heavy for me to bear. Literally, I mean, it rather hurts my head. It happened suddenly, without warning. I was so frightened by the impact. It was as though someone had taken hold of this world and given it a violent shake. The air grew stagnant. Weapons decayed and ruins fell almost from a somber sky shrouded in dark clouds. How fortunate that none of the villagers were injured. As for the village itself, it has been utterly transformed. Five large ring-shaped ruins fell down upon the village, and a large opening in the ground has been spotted at East Hill. Even with everything that is happening, Grandmother said she was going to set out uh, on a journey with Kato. I tried to stop her from going at a time like this, but she insisted at such times are precisely why she must go. I had no choice but to bid her farewell. Her eyes seemed wordlessly say that she was shouldering some great mission. There were 11 peculiar symbols depicted in Grandmother was reading. Right. Uh, could they be somehow related to her sudden departure? Which is the geoglyphs. I told Pura of Lookout Landing about our village's situation. She said that the ring-shaped ruins are incredibly unusual. Realizing this could be a good opportunity to help the village, I made arrangements with the Zonai survey team at once. I returned home to greet them, and that's when Princess Zelda arrived at the village. She seemed almost like a doll of herself. The same outside, but with no spirit within. I could not hide my uncertainty. Wow. She forbade anyone from entering the broken and partially floating ruin. And then she left. Just like that. Yeah. She did not mention the village's awful condition or have any words of kindness for our villagers. So that, I mean, that literally proves it. I mean, if the memory didn't already, then the, the, you know, then this proves it. Let me restart the capture card real quick. We're getting some crackles. Um, That is crazy. Yeah. So everyone's noticing it. So that's not Zelda. Okay, next. The Zonai survey team has arrived at our village. Their leader, Taro, is an incredible, is truly incredible, has already found a clue in the quest to decipher the Zonai writing. I tentatively named the ruins that fell uh, the Ring Ruins. Seemed the obvious choice. The villagers have treated me with such warmth. They even embraced my decision for us to coexist with the Ring Ruins. Of their own volition, some of our villagers volunteered to aid the research and others for patrol duty. It's humbling to behold. Dorian's sweet daughter, Coco, even crafted souvenir items called Ring Garlands. Which is probably the thing that we need for Vo and me. Yes. Before I knew it, our days never heard. Uh, before I knew it, our days of never having visitors had passed. Our quiet village seems to have regained its vigor. Before all else, we must learn more about Ring Ruins. It's my responsibility as chief to see that it is done. I intend to fulfill my duties as chief in a manner that is slightly different from my grandmother's way. Gone is the chief who sits in our hall with quiet wisdom. That is what the village needed for her then, but no longer. I must move forward. When she returns, I can greet my dear grandmother with a triumphant smile. Wow. We love the character growth. We love the character growth. We also love the Breath of the Wild tapestry. Wow. Now that's a cool touch. Yeah. It's the Breath of the Wild tapestry. I like that. That's cool. Okay, so let's go to the uh, ring garlands there for Vo and me, and then kind of uncover what these, oh my dear lord, is Nadra going in the hole? Then we got to discover the ring ruins, and then also go down that hole. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, the Ring Garlands, right here. Hello. Hi, Coco. Hi. You should mark your visit to the Ring Ruins and Kakariko Village. How about a Ring Garland? Only five rupees. Yes. Yeah, I'll take one. For sure. Yeah, this is like, this gives, me, this gives me vibes of like buying lemonade from your local like like neighbor kids, you know? Uh, Before you go, I'll add an extra bit of love to it. Mwah! Here you go. Okay, so we got a Ring Garland. Uh, can we wear it? Uh, no, it's an item. 
Or is it a key item? My most used. Is it a key item? Or is it? I don't see it. Huh? It says we got it, but it's not in our inventory. Oh! Oh, it's this! Oh my god, there's no way. Wait. Do we literally need to bring this all the way over here? Are you kidding? Dear God, dear God Almighty and, and everything that's ever existed. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I need to figure this out. What if I... Take this. The Gerudo shield. And what if I... Can I fuse it? I, I can fuse it. Will this be enough? Okay, maybe that'll work. Maybe I can fuse it and then bring it to Gerudo. That might be better. That might, that might be more of a... That seems more like the actual solution than literally... Carrying it with me. Okay. Is uh is it time for Vo and me yet? It is. Okay. Hello. Uh, would you like to sit on the lesson? Yes. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, it's too early. Okay. Uh, let me sleep real quick then. Um. Where's the end? All right, one sec. Uh, and then we we gotta do the ring ruins after this. Why is the game running so ass right now? Hey, hey. Okay. Right. Um, let's rest. Twenty rupees, standard, please. And oh no, I don't want it in the morning. Oh, God. Vota. Standard. And then sunset. There it is. All right, we'll take that. Okay. Uh, all right, so it's nighttime. Okay, great. So then now, I, dude, I wonder if like the garland actually like works here. I might have to literally bring it with me. Like hold it. And bring it all the way. All right. Vo and me. Um, all right. Count me in. I'll help teach uh, the last person in the class. Yes. All right. I have a garland. No reason for me to practice. I've been abandoned by love. Um, okay. But your own worst enemy sometimes. Uh, I know you say that, but hey, uh, that thing you've got there. Oh, it worked. It worked. Yes. Isn't that a ring garland? They're famous for binding the destinies of people. It's the first time I've ever seen one. I've always just heard rumors about them. I honestly never thought I'd see one for real. I mean, what are the odds that someone, uh, something sold in a village far, far away to the east would make it all the way here? Plus, that would have been carried by this Vo of all Vo, the only Vo I can actually enter town. And then this Vo would decide to visit this class and then talk to me. What 
an amazing series of events. It only means that I haven't been forsaken by luck and love. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Hell yeah. There's always someone out there. Uh, it's important to remember that luck and love aren't things that run out. Sometimes they just take the long way to get to you. As your teacher, I'm very happy to see you motivated again. Oh. Uh, I really do appreciate your help, even if I'm a little disappointed that I couldn't help everyone grow on my own. Dude, that's actually, like, such good advice. Holy shit. Like, in general? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> They're teaching some good values here. Okay. I really do appreciate your help. Even if I'm a little disappointed that I couldn't help everyone grow on my own. <laughs> the Rizard of Oz. The Riz of the Kingdom. <laughs> Rizner of Azkaban. He has risen. <laughs> Our Lord and Savior. Rizus Christ. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I wonder uh, if the Rito Village is okay. Because Gerudo is uh, about to be struck by a Rizard. <laughs> Alright, this is stupid. <laughs> the boy who raised. <laughs> okay. Uh, sometimes the best way for students to learn is some practical experience. Sark, uh, uh, Sark so for your help. <laughs> it's hardly the end of the lessons, though. Oh? Please come back and take uh, part whenever you like. Everyone really grew because you stopped by. Okay, so we need to... I'm going to sleep and then come back. Hardly the end of the lessons. Do we need more? Charizard. <laughs> the boy who cried Riz. <laughs> hey. Riz of the Hi. Wild. This is so stupid. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, let's uh, stay again and after sunset. Uh, okay. Zabza, have you slept well? I did. I did. I did sleep well. Okay. Dude, the Vo and me quest is so funny. Okay. So there's more lessons you're saying? Okay. This is where I teach the class on Vo. Right. Um, count me in. Willing to participate. All right, everyone, pay attention. Today we're going to have a very special lesson. We have a Vo here with us. <laughs> Relax and be your regular normal selves. All right. Oh. Dalton, show us what you know. Okay. Oh. You've traveled all over, haven't you? Have you seen that fluffy light ice that floats down from the sky? Do you think... I think it's called snow. Uh, Yeah, I have seen that. Oh, really? That's so nice. I haven't ever seen it myself. I hope one day the foe and I, I'm fated to meet, will see it together. <laughs> I'm sure sharing experiences with your true love is a magical thing. Oh. All right, that's enough. Okay. Nothing went wrong there. That was pretty good. That's great, Dalton. It really looks like coming into your own. Bo can be very alert to the words we use to describe things. And it can really help both of you to learn if it's meant to be. Uh, describing an experience as magical captures how you feel about it. That openness can be a double-edged sword. But it's better to express yourself than pretend to be someone you're not. <laughs> as always, thanks for coming by and helping out. Feel free to come around whenever you want to. You're always welcome here. Mm -hmm. Um... Come in for another lesson, yeah. Hi. Um, okay. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Well, okay. Are, are we doing the same thing again? Oh. Travel all over. Uh, sure have. Okay. <gasps> oh. Right. Do I have to sleep again and then do this again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, did I just... Is there any... <laughs> Is there any reward? <laughs> For this? Did, did I get anything from that? Like, like, Hi. Hi. I don't, I don't know if there is. No. Um, fucking uh, standard huh? again. And then maybe I, uh, uh sunset. Hi. 
Advice is gold. This is actually genuinely good advice. Hey, communication is key, you know? Like, genuinely. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think it's the most valuable thing of, like, any relationship ever. Or at least, like, even, even if, like, you're just, like, you know, dating around. We're just dating, right? It's just, like, communication, right? It's, like, the most important thing. Uh, so I teach the class on Vo. It's only for students who are willing to engage. All right. Count me in. Is this just the same Hi. thing again? <laughs> we, oh, okay. Oh. Uh, Nolly is the next. Okay. Okay. So we're, so we're, we're going through all of their character development oh. arcs right now. Um, hi, my name is Nolly. I make an amazing <laughs> wildberry crepe. Right. I hope to share it with a Vo one day. We'll split the crepe in half and eat it together, I think. Oh. Uh, all right. Uh, that's enough. All right. Cool. Yeah. We're going through all of them. Okay. Um, that's excellent, Nolly. By mentioning sweets, you capture both the stomach and then the heart of the bow in one swift move. You kept your own needs in mind, splitting the crepe in half and not simply giving them the whole oh. thing. Thanks to you, Nolly seems to have gotten past at least some of her anxiety. This is a big day for her. <laughs> Please come again, uh, to spend some time with us. All right, so I gotta, I gotta, um, sleep one, one more time. It looks like. Uh, to really, like, see what they've all gotten. Um, they, they've, they've all developed. They, they're learning from, from the class. From Vo and me. Hey, hey. Okay. Oh. Uh, alright. Standard again, and then we'll do after sunset. Ah. Qu Quantum Rizix. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Vasak! Vasak! All right. Um, let's do this again. Go all the way down. Okay. And then the last one here. Um, count me in. Okay. Hi. So this should be um. Uh, the last person, which is no. Wait, what? Oh. What? Nolly? Wait, but I already did Nolly. Um, oh. all right, that's enough. I thought I, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, we'll come again. Why did, why did it show Nolly and then not, uh, you know, I wish I could like, well, oh, wait, does, I mean, throw sprinting, I think. Hey. Bye. No, it doesn't work still. Okay. <gasps> Okay, standard, and then let's go to sunset again. Okay. Okay. Vasak! Vasak! All right. So then we should be able to get the last person here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Count me in. Uh. <laughs> ah, yes. The last oh. person. Uh, Pratana. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Oh. The last person. We meet again. Could this be a coincidence or maybe something else? Sark to the noble pursuit before reminded me of something. Oh. Have you heard about if a vote offers a via noble pursuit twice? They're meant to be together. Eh? It's only a rumor, of course. Uh, it's just practice. You don't need to actually give it to her. You two do seem to get along well, though. Uh, I can see why you'd want to continue. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Pratana, you're positively glowing. It's quite clever to highlight a connection between noble pursuit and spending time together. You might find this a little easier to... Uh, you might find this easier than you believe, Pratana. Uh, as always, thanks for coming by and helping out. Free, feel, feel free to come around when you want to. You're always welcome here. Uh, okay. Do I, I guess I have to sleep one more time. Um, before we do that, let me actually get, um, some hearts here. Okay. Uh, let's do a heart container. Uh, and then more stamina. Dude, we look so badass.
Uh, heart container. Nice. We have a lot of hearts now. Um, okay, let me do a stamina vessel. Let's get our second stamina wheel now. Yeah, totally worth. Okay, chat for the last one. Should we get stamina or hearts? Stamina or hearts? Hmm. Stamina. How many hearts do we have? We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hearts. We need 13 for the Master Sword last time. Um, let's get Stamina. Yeah, let's get Stamina. Sure. All right. And we've started our third Stamina Wheel now. Damn. We got a lot. <laughs> oh. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let me go and uh, sleep one more time. Okay, uh, wait, I can't sit. Oh, wait, shoot. I don't have enough money. Okay. Um, uh, buy from me. Okay. Uh, let me sell. Let's see. Uh, all of our topaz. We don't really know. 400. Okay, cool. Uh, that works. Okay. Going broke for these, uh, uh, for Vo and me right now. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's take a spa plan. Wait, what's these? Let's do a spa plan and I'll rake up around noon, I think. Nice. Really like. Oh! What? What the hell was that? Oh, uh, what just happened? Huh? Okay, we got three extra hearts Bye. and uh, an extra um, stamina uh, okay. wheel. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. That was weird. Uh, oh, this is the, um, wait, can I talk? Uh, this is the, okay. Younger students, right. Okay. Um, so we need to come back at, uh, nighttime. Let me go sleep again. Okay. Yeah, this is actually hilarious. <laughs> maybe, maybe I do, uh, need these, uh, Vo and me lessons. For, for I am um, incredibly single. <laughs> Maybe this will help. Uh, let me do after sunset here. Maybe, you know, we haven't gotten a reward yet, but maybe the true reward is the dating advice from Nintendo. Okay. Here we go. Yo. Okay. Come in. All right. This should be the last uh, lesson, right? Uh, oh. Oh, it just repeats. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, Okay, so what I've learned here <laughs> after doing all of this is that there's no reward for Vo and me. This isn't a side quest. It's just a thing you can do. The reward is literally dating advice. Is this... Oh my god, is... Dude, is this Nintendo telling me that I'm... Dude, I, I feel like I... Jesus Christ, that I need this. 
<laughs> like Nintendo's like, bro, you need help. <laughs> like you need help. Here, the the true reward is this advice. Oh my good god. It's it's enough going uh to play Elden Ring and then the first couple pieces of dialogue is calling you maidenless. It's another thing playing Tears of the Kingdom and going through an entire dating class just because the game thinks you need it. God damn it. All right, let's go talk to Paya. <laughs> For no no reason at all whatsoever <laughs> yeah maybe maybe the uh uh the maybe the the journey was the friends we made along no the dating invite maybe the hey guys uh we're gonna be here and we're gonna check out the uh ring ruins around kakariko village um Okay. Yeah, let's check out the ring ruins. Uh, there's uh, a couple different ruins right around uh, Kakariko, and there's five of them. And we need to check out what each of them are, like in particular. Okay. Oh, no, no. All right, up in here. Yeah, so these are the other ruins here. Like these, these are the ring ruins. Whoa. Isn't it amazing? Uh, if the ruins fell here, then they must have come from someplace in the sky, right? Sky, Skyland Specialist works at the huge ring ruin in the northwest side of the village. The Skylands are those things floating in the sky, right? All right, how do we even get to places that are so high up? Um, with Ascend. Okay. Um, all right, so if we go look at these ruins, Oh, whoa. We see this. But I can't read this. I don't know what it says. Okay. The stone slab of the Southern Ring Ruins. Some translation notes. All right. Who protect of Hyrule from the Demon King together? King, they were known as sages. What I take from this is that uh, it's about a facet of Hyrule as it was in those days. I guess if uh how to fill the gap it would be there were those known as sages who protected the kingdom of hyrule from the demon king interesting that's the first translation of the ring ruins i wonder what the ring ruins are and why zelda doesn't or why ganondorf doesn't want people uh researching them very interesting very very interesting all right let's check out the more of the ring ruins here Okay. Oh, chat. Um, fun fact, by the way, that I wanted to bring up. Um, we hit uh, 300 channel members uh, yesterday on the channel. Um, so thank you for that, for 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 being uh, channel members. That's pretty neat. Appreciate it. Kind of cool of you guys. Yeah, we got 300. Not too bad. All right. Uh, the second ring ruins should be up this way. Oh, there's the uh, the giant gloom over here. So bees. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's see. What do I want to use here for weapons? Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's check out some more ring runs over here. Oh, you know what? I'm smart. I can use a send. So yeah, thank you guys for the 300 channel members. Whoa. They captured some gloom in here to research? That's kind of cool. Oh, this is where the... Great fairy was in Breath of the Wild. Oh my God! What happened? Jeez! All right, we gotta check that out after the the, the ring, the the ring ruins. Ah, uh, yeah. After we check out the ring ruins, we are definitely going down into that uh, that gloom, for sure. All right, here's another uh, excerpt. Uh, some translation notes. Um, uh, those who held powers such as wind, flame, water, lightning. 
and light and time amplified them with secret stones. They used the stones to attain great might to accomplish their goals. Okay. All right. So um, basically, like, here's all of the six ages of um, water, fire, uh, lightning, and wind, light and time. Um, that's basically what that's saying. Okay. Let's uh, see some more ring ruins around maybe here. Oh, come on. Come on. Haven't you heard? Uh, I can't get you through because of Princess Ella's orders. That sucks. Um, that, that's actually ass. Just because I want to see what's in there. Dude, come on, Callop. Come on, my guy. Are you... St oh. Stop. <sighs> uh, Vakatsi, thank you so much for the channel membership. Uh. And Roy Corvette, thank you so much for the channel membership as well. Thank you, guys. Okay, so I can't go to the right any longer or anymore. Interesting. Okay, but there's more ring ruins up here that we can check out. Okay. Okay, right, let's go this way. Yeah, up and around. Okay, so there's more ring ruins here that we can, like, check out. Um, and maybe there's some, like, lore with it as well. I mean, we know what the stages are now. I mean, we have been for a while. But interesting to know. Okay, come on. Really? Come on, really? Up here? Up here? Okay. Here we go. Yo! I love you, Hardy Truffle. Okay. Who doesn't? What is this? Uh, large ring rune research journal. There are five ruins around the research uh, the thing. Everyone has a stone slab with a zone isolate and everything. Okay. Good to know. I mean, we already did know this, but you know, let's get to the uppermost one. What? Like these ring ruins, I can't exactly decipher what they used to be. You know, there's the um, yeah. Can I like ascend through them. I don't. Uh, we can go around though. Like, this one's wild. This one's the most intact. Huh. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, that's crazy. Wait, there's like a weird... Um... What do I think it is? There's some uh, weird stuff up here. Yeah, some Zonai stuff. Speaking of Zonite. Okay. Let's do this. Ascend is super helpful. Oh, wow. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. All righty then. That's, I'm surprised I was able to go up. Uh, wow. Cool. Um, five ring ruins. I haven't found the slab for this one. Even if there is a slab. I don't know if there is. Yeah. See this? That's like, this is like Zonai type stuff. There we cool. There we, there we cool. Okay. Let me do, um, the down here, maybe? That the uh, inscription is. I don't know where the inscription. Is. I guess the inscription for this one was lost. Yeah, I totally can't see where this would be. Uh, unless it's like over here, maybe. I doubt. Okay. Let me, like, check this out. Let me see about all these ring ruins here. I'm assuming this is, like, one of the first things that most people discover in Tears of the Kingdom. I just, I'm discovering it much, much later. 
Um, so we actually do know like most of this information. It's very weird, but <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, so if I go here, you're not gonna like it, are you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's something in there. I wanna use like a send to get inside. You know what? Actually, yeah. Is there a way I can get behind him? No, but he still sees me. You know? Alright, well, there's another ruin right here, I think. Oh, hello. Oh, I've seen these things before. Yeah. Uh, Link, good of you to come. Too curious to stay away. Uh, where are you again? Uh, well, a droll sense of humor. It's Wordsworth, the ancient uh, Hyrulean scholar. You might not look at landing. Oh, that guy! Right. Right, the fine. Yeah, this thing. Oh. Picture of a stone tablet that fell at the sky. Look at landing. I managed to decipher the inscription on using my notes on ancient Hyrulean. Um, okay. Mm. Here's what it says. One's held an honor. As... One's held um, an honored, also hockey maid, uh, to King Raru and Queen Sonia. They're after to his sister in Princess Zelda. Okay. Her on... Here on this great uh, slab and of wall will end my time with the royal family. So my remembrance here is preserved for the sake of the uh, whoever hopes to read it. Mm. Or rest. Rest. Hopes to rest. Not much to go on, but you can clearly read the names of King Raru and Queen Sonia, the founders of Hyrule. The name Zelda is clearly legible elsewhere in the text. The author finishes by saying that she will write about the royal family's daily lives in 13 segments. Oh. Seems like the royal diary left behind uh, a chamberlain or someone of equivalent station. What that catches my attention is the third name mentioned Zelda. There's no record of anyone by that name in other texts we've unearthed so far. There's evidence that the name Zelda is much older than the princess. It dates all the way back to Hyrule's founding. And yeah, that is Zelda. Oh. Um... Okay. Mm. Do you notice the number 13 there? It means there are 12 more stone tablets to be found. Oh. That's an interesting uh, perspective on these. There's so much we can learn here uh, about everything else. Mm. 12 stones left. Fascinating. Oh. Do you happen to find more stone tablets on your travels? Get kind of visual evidence and show them to me. Make sure there's a nice reward oh. for you. Pretty much, Robbie showed me something back when he was researching the ring ruins. It's called a camera. Oh, right. Um, if only I had pictures of the stone tablets I'm reading. Okay, so take pictures of the stone tablets and then give it to him. Okay. Um, what Sledrick? Okay. Um, pretty cool. All right. So that's Kakariko. Let's go into the, the Gussie, uh, the, sorry. <laughs> Let's go into the, uh, gloom hole right here and see what's up in the depths of Kakariko village. Okay. Uh, let's go up and around. Yeah. Uh, I got a, um, I got a DM. <laughs> Hold up. Yeah, I got a, a message from uh, my friend Adam. And, uh, um, uh, no, actually, I can't repeat that on stream. Oh, uh, that's, that's too graphic. Um, uh, but then I sent him the hole and I was like, uh, it's a goosey. Um, and that's where that came from. So, yep, that's the story of this. We can move on now. Um, okay, let's go and. Uh, check out the hole. Yeah, here we go, guys. This is where the great fairy used to be. Let's uh, descend back in the depths. East Hill Chasm. Here we go. Ooh. That was actual like <laughs> that was crazy landing. Uh okay, do I see I see a light route down over there? It's pretty far though. Okay. Pretty pretty far, but I think we can do this.
All right, let's go. Yeah. Let's travel back through the depths. I swear to God, if there's like a Poe here that I'm missing too, I'm going to scream. Okay. We also, speaking of Poe's, need to get every single Poe that we see. Um, yeah. Um, also, by the way, chat, um, in case it's not obvious, uh, no spoilers or anything, no backseating. Um, that's, I don't want to know any answers to anything ever. Um, that's just like, um, you know, that's, that's, that's basically like what I, I just don't want anything uh, at all there. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, please, uh, if you feel so inclined to tell me what to do or how to solve a puzzle or a spoiler about the game, just smile, like put a smile in chat. Um, just so things are uh, just, you know, so it's like, it's, you know, Hey, I know something that you don't, um, just smile. Okay, let's uh let's go to this light route here. What the hell? Wait, is that? Oh my god, is that Goma? Oh, it totally is, isn't it? Oh my god, that's Goma. Oh, oh my god. Yo. And, oh, and, and then look, there's there's a uh, there's a statue here of Azora. Oh, marbled Goma! Oh my God, we're refighting the boss. That's insane. Okay, let's go. Nice, got him. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, I need to get back up. Okay. Down again. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Okay, perfect. All right, this is going well. Oh, I thought I got it in time. That's okay. Okay. Um, okay, I need to aim you again. Okay, take down the one. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to do this. Okay. Okay, make sure you take over. Nice! Okay, uh, bow broke. That's fine. Uh, let me use Unovo here. How? Oh, he just stepped over it? Oh, that's bull. That's such bull. Come on, Unovo. Come back. First off, let's do that. Um, actually, let me use you. No! Oh, you blocked it. That's fine. Okay, it's not doing any damage there. All right, I gotta wait for you, Nobo. Nice, got one. Got both. Okay, perfect. Marbled Goma. I'll use this. Okay. Axe broke. Um... Lock the saw blade. Nice! Yes! Okay, second phase. But he can't get... Can he get up to the... How is he gonna... Dear God. All right, got one down. Okay, perfect. Okay, gotta wait for you to know, Bogan. Okay. Uh, can I... Can you do that kindly? Nice. Okay, perfect. Spin to win. Okay, so it looks like double hits only work on the first try. Okay, so close. I missed. I missed. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. They got... Ooh, it wasn't ready yet. Okay, let me uh let me heal a little bit here. Okay. Get the back one. Nice. Okay, we got the back leg. That was completely unintentional, but we still managed. Okay, I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta run. Uh, come on, recall. 
Okay, where's Yunobo? Nice, got it again. Perfect, perfect. Okay, this should be able to kill him. Spin to win. Here we go. Right on the weapon destruction. Marble Doma down. Yes. Oh, and we got a chest from it. That's so cool. Oh. Oh, this is a we <gasps> A weapon. Okay. Soldier's broadsword. Let's take the soldier's broadsword and let's fuse with the marble doma leg. 50 attack power? Damn. Damn. That damage, though. That's insane. Okay, what's here? A huge crystallized charge. A hundred of them. Oh, we probably should have taken that. Shit, I did that again. Oh, if you guys remember when we did uh, um, Col Colgera, I did the exact same thing. Oh, it would have been so much better on Soldier's Claymore. <laughs> With durability up. Ah. Oh, well. I literally did the same thing. All right, if we find another boss in the depths, okay? You need to remind me, chat. You need to remind me. Oh, also, um, other news. Uh, we found the statues. Now, what's important about the statues is that it leads us to the Lanayru mining facility where Koga is at. So if we keep following those statues, we'll be able to face off against Koga. Which is uh, actually insane. Here we go. Uh, Takaruk Light Root. Ooh, that's a big area. That's a big area. Okay. Okay, let's, uh... Ooh, I mean, we could follow. Yeah, I think we do follow this, the, the statues. I think we do that. I think we follow the statues. Uh, and then maybe face off against Koga. Okay, we gotta go up this way at least though, you know? Yeah, speaking of which, there's some Yiga clan members up there. Okay, also we're looking for Pose. Like a lot of Pose, like a lot, a lot of Pose. Like we need more Pose than we've ever needed before in our entire lives. Like, we need so many goddamn poses, it's not even funny. I want to get the full depth armor because it looks so cool. Okay. Uh, statues. Oh, statues. Where art thou? Oh, statues. Uh, the last statue was, uh, here. So, the next one is probably up above. Like, around. Oh, no, it's over this way. Okay. We're, we're following the statues. That's what we're doing. To Lanayru, and then probably Master Koga. I'm so excited. Yep, leads this way. Last time we got kind of lost with it. <laughs> so, um, I'm kind of excited to not be so lost this time. Okay. Master Koga. That's that's the plan. That's what we're doing. All right. It's I you know, that's that's what's happening. I just can't lose the um the statues again. I've lost them before. All right, Riju, calm down. I've lost the statues before. I shall not lose them again. Hey, look at our gloom resistance. Wait, is that how that works? Like gloom resistant? Let's try it. Oh, whoa. That's so cool. Okay, so our, we're gloom resistant. 
You can see, like, our armor has taken, like, a hit of the gloom for us. That's actually really cool. That's really neat. That, the depth armor is actually, like, kind of sick then. Okay, I want to get that then. Wait, is this where the... This isn't where the statues are leaving, are they? I don't think it is. Yeah, the depth armor is pretty nice. You know? Okay. All right, let's go up in here. Uh, statues are statues. Where art that? Oh, statues. Uh, that's another spear. I feel as if I may have lost the line of statues. <laughs> I found one. <laughs> okay. All right. We're on track. I'm just an idiot. I'm blind. All right. Okay. I'm just blind. What can I say? Oh, you know what I should do? Um, while I do love the depths outfit, uh, the miner's outfit is actually like really nice for light. Like really nice for light. Okay, so the statues lead me this way, it looks like. Any handy light routes nearby? Uh, any light route? Uh, anyone want to help out with a little light route, you know? A little light route action? Yeah. That would be so kind of you. If there was. Okay. Uh, we also found a knight's broadsword here. Okay. That was Lamar. Here. Uh, and it is... Uh, long throw. Okay. I would rather have a nice one. Okay. I may have strayed from the path of the... The... Oh, this pose. I may have strayed from the path of the statues. I feel like I say this every five seconds and then I find it immediately afterwards. But still, hear me out. It's still a concern. And there's still that one. Like, I mean, how far is that from here? Eh, it's pretty far, actually. And out of the way. Okay. Oh, there's the statue as well. Okay. All right, we're going the right way. We're going the right way, guys. We are going the right way. As long as we follow the statues, we shall reach Valhalla. That's, that's, that's uh, correct, accurate. Uh, to the Lanayru mining facility we go. This way? Oh, that's water. I mean, I guess that makes sense, because, like, you know, we're probably aiming to be... We're kind of, like, in a little bit of the Zora's domain. Yeah, we're starting to, be, we're starting to get there. So... Back underground, uh, heading towards Koga. Finding more pose, doing more shit. What a beautiful game. What a fun game. I feel like I could play this for, and I have been, hours. <laughs> Too many hours is probably the actual amount. Um, I mean, hell, uh, I've played for like, what, almost 30 today? Not today, sorry, in total. Something like that, right? And I, I haven't even scratched the surface of uh, what what can be done here. I really haven't. Okay, up and around, up and around. Holy shit. I do want these pose though. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's infiltrate. Let me save first.
Yeah. Dude, I will uh I will also say um here that uh, I'll be streaming uh every single day until we finish. Um 9 a.m. Pacific time. By the way. Uh in case that is uh not obvious. Okay, here we go. It's like a maze inside. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. Interesting. All right, where's the guy? You know, like the guy. There's always one guy in here. Always one guy. Oh, uh, let me do. Okay, right. wait. I think I can do this. Okay, watch this. Yeah, so I can't get through here, but I can like go up here and then like I can climb this and then and then wait. No, no, I can do this. And then I shield jump over it. Like that, you know? Like I shield jump. Oh, oh, it's because okay. I'm sorry. There's there's it's the beam that's blocking me right now. Now I can do it. Okay. Okay. Now I now I can do it. There we go. I did it. <laughs> First try. Hello. What the hell? He's riding a minecart? What the fuck? What the hell? What the hell? Huh? Bro, this Jesus! There we go. Got him. <laughs> oh my god! They see me rolling. I hate it. Alright, let's open up. Alright, we got a schematic for something, right? Oh, first off, we got large crystallized charge. Okay. Check it off. Uh, Yiga schematic, but what did we get from this? The icebreaker. Huh. Okay. Sure. I thought it would be that minecart. That was pretty sick, but I guess not. All right. We got to get out of here somewhere. Or somehow. Okay. Like somehow. Oh, wait, wait. I know how to get out of here. I know how to get out of here. All right, chat. Say bye to the garland. I'm sorry. Actually, wait. No, I can just do this. Yeah, let's equip this. And then I'll fuse. There we go. Meow. Perfect. And you can't go out without some style. Okay, so the Zora um, guys are leading over here. Yeah. Looks like. Yep, Zora statue's right here. All right, let's continue on our way to Master Koga in the Lanayru Mines. This place is freaky, man. Oh, I think we make a turn actually here. Right? Uh, let's do adventure log. Uh, and then it is Master Koga. Yeah, where are you facing? No, you're, you're facing over here. Okay. This might be the quote-unquote proper way to go, I guess. Yeah. Yep, looks like it. And then you're facing this way. All right, I guess we just... I'm, I'm going to keep following the, uh, the stuff statues. I mean, it seems like they know where they're going. Or, or pointing. You know, one of those two. Okay. Yep, down here. Uh, which, where I see some pose over this way. Okay. Yeah, and a little building facility here, too. You know, I wish I knew where more of the light routes were. <laughs> Just because they're so helpful. 
and being able to see anything at all. Really? Uh, a Lazalpo's arm. Sure. Uh, I don't want it, though. I also don't want to fight these guys. I don't really care for them. Okay. I have now officially uh, lost the statues. I've lost the statues, chat. They are no longer here. I found the statues, chat. There's one right there. Oh, look, there's another right here. All right, we're real good. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Any light roots nearby? Oh, found one. Oh, oh just, I just clipped the edge of a... The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the edge of an edge. The edge of a rock. Oh, whoa, that was a huge area. Wow. Oh, wow. Dang. Yeah, this is a structure, all right. What the hell is that? Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that's a structure, all right. I wonder if we're going it led it, it led me over here then I just fell off this cliff why is it oh it's probably leading me like over around this way huh the light route right down here interesting okay come on come on give me interesting okay look hey a po nice uh do i see any statues around here i do not i don't see any statues and i think it, it's i think it's because of me can i use auto build in the air i cannot Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, wasn't the statue like leading me this way? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I am wrong about that. Let me travel back. Okay. And uh, I'm going to uh, splice here for the editors real quick. Uh, chat, say hi to the editors. All right, I'm going to start here. Head into Koga. See if I can uh, go up here. Hmm. I'm pretty sure the statues led us over here, but I feel a little lost. Feel a tiny bit lost here. Okay, what is this? A traveler's sword. <laughs> it's attack up plus eight. That's actually pretty sick. Uh, let's see. What do I want to use for my daily? You know what? Actually, let's use that traveler's blade, and we'll fuse it with. Um, a Lazalfo's Blackhorn, I think. Yeah. I think it'll be a nice fusion. 
41. Oh, that's disgusting. It's so good. Okay. Um, can I get up here somehow? Can I, like, use ascend on, like, this tree? Uh, maybe. Is it too high up? It is too high up. Oh, but if I, I can probably climb the tree, though. Yeah. Okay. I'm a little... I, w I would say I'm a little lost, only because, like, I can't climb as fast as I would like to. But, um... I am trying. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about the depths, I think, is, like, sometimes it's, like, kind of hard to get around. It's easier to get around in the overworld, especially since it's, like, all bright and light. But, like... Getting around in the depths is a little bit of a uh, chore, I would say. Like, there's not... There's just, like, a lot to do and a lot to explore and a lot to, like, keep going. But, like, you know. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, can I, I can ascend up here. It was right there. Yeah. The smallest location. There it is. <laughs> the smallest location. Okay, I'm pretty safe. I want to fall off. There it is. Okay. And uh, now that we're at the top, uh, la, la, la. Uh, da, da. oh, they're going, oh, it's this way. Oh, I see them. I see the statues. Yes. Onwards. Yes. Okay. I totally just did not see them before. We're good. Okay. Found the statues, guys. Uh, speaking of uh, which two, I think I found some more pose over here. I want to maybe nab. Oh, they're so far away, though. Okay. All right, I'll see pose. I'll grab pose when I see them. There we go. There we po. Ahaha. <laughs> that was I'm so sorry. I'm so I'm so sorry. I apologize. That was that was a lot. Only headshots. Okay. Nice. Uh, I wanted to face these black moblins specifically for their heads. Uh, because the black moblin horn is actually like a really good item uh, to nab. Oh, you still live? Why? <laughs> Why? Why are you alive? Just to suffer. Right. Uh, and then let's use this. Uh, this is my designated rock rock tool to get more zonite. Uh, Zonite's super useful, too. Um, it allows you to really use auto-build. And if I'm... It could be wrong. But I think it could actually be used to, uh, go into Z Zonite crystal charges, which can, uh, upgrade your battery capacity. So that's, like, really nice. So the more we get, uh, the better we'll be. The really nice resource to have. Nice. Alright, let's, uh... Let's go forward and head towards 
um, Lanayru. Yes. Kind of cool that we've uh, actually faced off against two different um, bosses. Like, we, we've had two boss rematches already. Um, and uh, they've already, the, they're the bosses that we've already faced. Um, we haven't found the queen. Um, I feel like it'll be a weird day once we find the queen Goma moss, uh, moth. Uh, underground. That'll be disgusting and uh, the thing of nightmares. Okay. Uh, and now we are back in the darkness. Uh, but I also don't have much in the way of like bright blooms anymore. So we're literally just going to have to go off of feel, I think, for some of this. Um, yeah. It's a little unfortunate. Ooh, the Rudo Canyon Mine. Okay. Okay, we found a mine here. That means it's we've got some population here. Right, let me do some. I also gotta see where this guy's facing. Uh forward. Okay, I see. I see, I see. This is the Rudo Canyon mine. Anything um, of interest? Maybe. Yeah, that's not worth it. <laughs> I'll just do this though, and I—I mean, I can do like this, you know, and that also helps. Large zone. Oh, that actually really helps. Oh my God, that's so much. Jesus. Nice. Okay. Large zoonite and everything. This it works out really well. Good mine. And then we'll go up here. I think that there should be like a zoonite chest with like all of the mines um, from what we've seen so far. So I want to. Ah, there it is. There it is. There's the chest. Here it is. All right. Give me something good. Oh, okay. More crystallized charges. That's uh, three more charges to our battery. So we got to do that before we torture more Koroks. That's not a joke. I'm very serious about that. I take that. I take my uh, devices very seriously. Okay, I'm an engineer. Okay. Uh, I guess we're almost here. Are we? Oh, yeah. We're almost here. We're almost at the Lanayru mine with Koga. Yeah. Should be right up this spot. Some more frogs. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> to myself as well, you know? Um, because sometimes you just got to reset. You know, you got to be like, okay, I was living for too long. You know, maybe the average gamer has died around this point. So then I want to, you know, keep this as an average playthrough. Anything else is like maybe too much. So I, I want to be relatable to you guys, you know? Okay, let's go back again. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the Tears of the Kingdom really pulled an Elden Ring when it comes to their map. They're like, yeah, by the way, we also have the sky and the depths. Uh, we kind of like it all right now. Uh, so, yeah. you know, take that. It's like, oh, oh, damn. They're like, they're really big digging it right now, you know, in open world games. Dude, there's so many games out there now that like don't, like don't need to be open world that like are open world. You feel me? Where it's just like, it's like, did this really like, I mean, it could, you could have told the story in the same like situation like with like just like if it was linear and so it's really nice to see like zelda or like nintendo and from software like really leaning into that of like no this is an open world game we're gonna make it an open world game okay all right nice here's the next statue uh with some pose okay So, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, too, is, like, this Tears of the Kingdom sets the precedent for open world games. I mean, Breath of the Wild did before, but 
here's the kingdom makes breath of the wild look like a demo um you know uh seriously so if any company nowadays wants to make an open world game bro they gotta they gotta step their game up they gotta step it up okay here we go uh these are the last what it looks like couple zora statues oh we got a grand po oh and here's the here's the Laneru mining facility I wonder if it has any connection to Skyward Sword. But Koga... Now, Koga should be here. <clears throat> okay, nice. No, it's all... It's all wet. It's... Oh, I guess it's because it's right below Zora's domain. That makes sense. Kawagong. Okay. okay. So there's some pose over there. Um, Can I like auto build a boat real quick? Do I have any boats saved? I don't. Oh, I do. A hovercraft saved. Okay. Uh, oh, our <laughs> I love how you can see our torture devices. Okay, great. Um, just ignore that for now. Uh, let's see. End of record. Okay. Hmm. I don't have any boats right now. Uh, I wonder if a hovercraft will do it, though. <laughs> That gonna float. <laughs> Guys, it worked. It it totally worked. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, you know float across here. I think that might be the best sort of plan currently as it stands. Uh, turns out the uh, hovercraft is just a submarine. Yeah. Cool. Okay, Lene Roof. All right, so this is where Koga said he would meet us. Or if we dared. Oh, there he is. The abandoned Lene Roof mine. Uh, any references to Skyward Sword is my question. So wasn't there a Grand Poe like right here? Or am I stupid? I, I saw, I, I, feel, I feel like I saw a Grand Poe. Oh, it's over there. Here we go. Hey, what's up, Koga? All right, what's up, Koga? How's it going? Uh, what am I doing wrong? Maybe my angle's off? No, that's still not working. Huh? Hello? Whoa, how long have you been there? Why, you little... Tried to catch me off guard, did you? You... Cowardly sneak! Like I said before, my plan has changed. We already mined up everything here uh, to mine. So what you saw was just a... You know... I was killing time! <laughs> okay. Uh, sh sure. Uh, so yeah, you, you get it. Anyways, I can't believe you followed me to another mine. Yeah, um, keep in mind, like, so. Okay. Dude, flaps. Um, dude, okay, sorry, sorry, anyways. So, Koga and his Yiga clan goons have mined up enough Zoanite to be able to uncover, um, the ultimate weapon, I think that is, for his master, who we still don't know who it is. In honor of our long way to reunion, in honor of our long way to reunion, I graciously allowed you to fight me one on one before. But right now, you're the last thing on my mind because the end is nigh. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we're doing we're doing this with boats. I got things to do, so let's make this real quick. Yiga Clan attack. Uh, okay. Uh, I have one heart. Okay. 
sir. So, how am I supposed to do this? Oh, I can do this. Oh, I missed. Okay, this could work though. Nice. And let me board your ship. Okay, I'm gonna use um my ultimate weapon here, the marble Goma hammer of 50 damage. Okay, that works. Can I control this? I totally can. I took a ship. Yarg, matey. Yarg. Okay. Okay. I got, I got Koga again. I, I need to go off to the side. Okay. Okay. So I got to just shoot Koga himself. Oh, this also works too. Nice. Okay. Okay, come on. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. Okay. Great. Where's he coming? Where's he next? He's over here. Okay. Okay, he has a... Uh, he's, he's being blocked. How do I... How do I get him then? You're being blocked. Okay. Nice! Got him right before he did it. Okay, perfect. I'm boarding your craft, sir! Oh, he's almost done. He's almost done. One more! Nice! We got him! Oh, what a fun fight. Uh, the steering wheel got wet, so my hand slipped. Uh, no matter. Uh, once again, you're too late. I've already dug up all the crystallized charges this place had to offer, and there's more. I just got word from my underlings that they've located the man himself. They found the Demon King. Oh, oh, you, oh, okay. Oh, so the guy you were talking about literally is Ganondorf. Oh, I thought it was someone else. Oh. Just one more step. One teeny little step into the Yiga clan's long-standing desire comes to fruition. Mm. We have more than enough crystallized charges now. There's only one more abandoned mine to ransack. Mm. Hear me now, Link. It's time to start the final excavation. The northwestern abandoned mine awaits. That's where I'll use those charges to activate our open... Uh, that's where I'll use those charges to activate our ultimate weapon. Offer it to the Demon King and bring the world to its end. Our next encounter will be our last. So you're still uncovering the ultimate weapon. Um, uh, but I'm, you know, I, I'm a little confused here. The, uh, the Demon King's already uh, alive. Uh, like, Claim It Again is already... <laughs> sorry, not Claim It Again. Sorry. Um, like, the Demon King, uh, Ga Ganondorf, is already, like, alive uh, right now. Um, do you know that? <laughs> I just want to make sure you're aware of that. All right, so he's at the Northwestern Mine next. Thanks for eliminating intruders. We're listening closely. Um, is the abandoned Hebra Mine next? Okay. Uh, the path stretching from Hyrule Ridge was previously used is no longer a viable route. Uh, I recall uh, that somewhere uh, connects directly to the abandoned mine. There's one other thing you need to resume your journey. Uh, my associate over there is Schema Stones. Okay, maybe I won't ask for it. Okay, so uh, Koga is now... Yeah, yeah, you can see on the map. Koga is now in the Northwest uh, uh, Hebra Mines, which I think we go next, honestly. Um, I'm curious to see what this is about. Ooh, a huge crystallized charge as well. We've got to upgrade our, uh, our stuff, too. Okay. And then you, a Schema Stone.
Okay. Welcome. This was once a busy refinery, uh, mining equipment. Uh, there's a scheme of stone you don't have. Okay. So what is this vehicle that you have given me? A bolt boat. Okay, cool. Um, and then prepare the parts with the auto build so we can build it if we want. Okay. Well, the scheme of stone is provide useful to you. Uh, let's check out a bolt boat. Sure. Uh, okay. So what does this do? Oh, it's just, it's just a, a regular boat, but like with, oh, oh, they, that can electrocute things. Okay. Nice. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Interesting. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, and then, uh, you crystal refinery, right? Auto build is awesome. Forge construct, I process zonite into other materials. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Um, all right. So we can, uh, get crystallized charges and stuff, uh, for zonites. Yeah. How many do you require? I will take them all, actually. That's not that much zone. Wait, I only have... Oh, large zonite required. Yeah, I'll take them all. Sure. Um, and then crystallized charges. I wonder, can I take all of these? Yeah. Sure. There's a lot of energy. So I have now uh, 540. That's insane. Okay. So that's the abandoned linear mine. Uh, there's some more pose here that I wanted to get real fast. Um, because I want to get the depth armor. Don't forget about that. Um, so some more pose. Uh, let me grab... Oh wait, uh, where's my emergency rocket? There it is. Okay. Um, yeah, they're right here. Perfect. Because uh, each one of these is 20. And uh, I want to be able to buy other things. Uh, yeah, there's another uh, Poe over here. That's that's like the, one of the main things. It's like I haven't discovered how much I want Poe's until now. I think I like skipped some over at uh, the other mining facilities. So we might have to like backtrack a little bit here too. You know? All right, let's go up. Okay, so Grand Poe, and then there's, I think, some other Poe's over this way. So in case you're curious what, we, what we're what we going to be doing right now um, is we're going to get a memory, I think, honestly. And then we're going to go do some more Koga stuff. And then the Zora, maybe? Um, I think, afterwards. Um, I want to do a bunch of stuff before Zora. That's the main thing here. Um, okay. Let me... Where is... Where's, Rocket. Right. Okay. There we go. Let's go up in this way. I'm, I'm doing it in such a way, like all the memories and everything. I'm doing it in such a way where it's like all even throughout the playthrough, you know? Oh, these guys suck. Uh, where it's like we have a, 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 a certain amount of memories per day and then also like a decent chunk of like Oh, I don't think I've had many octopus. Like a decent chunk of memories per day, and then also like sufficient like main like main story progress, right? Uh, that's the that's the actual like main goal. Oh, I'm getting some crackles. Um, okay, one a shekel window. Let me save real quick. All right, I'm gonna restart uh, so my capture card real fast. Now is the actual perfect time. While I'm doing that, it takes like two seconds. Uh, but now is the perfect time uh, for you to subscribe. Uh, I've been streaming for about four and a half hours. Um, and uh, if you guys uh, like the Tears of the Kingdom content, you want to watch more, or you just want to make a big number go bigger, uh, then subscribe. Uh, super easy to do. It's the red button down below. It's free. You can change your mind later. Um, I want to say... Um, oh, only X percentage of you guys watch my videos, but it's actually a lot. There's, there's actually a lot of you guys that watch my videos who are subscribed. So thank you for that. I'm glad you enjoy them. Um, but just, yeah, you know, um, if you haven't already, just check to see if it is um, there. It's free. 
Uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, the Wordsmith, thanks for the subscription. Uh, Oscar Patelli, Scott C, Chris uh, Leggett, uh, Crosby Keller, um, uh, Chidi Plays, uh, thanks, uh, thanks for the subscriptions. Uh, appreciate it a lot. Okay, here we go. Let's open this too. Uh, more pu oh, crystallized charges? I'll take it. Yes. Uh, I'm starting to understand the actual importance of batteries now. There we go. You know? Um, okay. Some mighty bananas. Because it was a Yiga. So, up here. Uh, but yeah, make bigger number go bigger. You know how it is. Um, it's uh, it's all that. So, I, I just want to say also, um, once again, thank you so much for the subscriptions. Okay. Let's check this out. Okay. So, this is a giant circle chasm or whatever. Um... Now, we were instructed to go to the abandoned uh, Hebra mine over in the top left corner. Um, first off, though, I think before we do that, uh, we have, an, uh, I think, a memory to watch. I think we go watch the memory. I think we go watch the memory. Um. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, I think I want to get batteries. I think I want to get batteries. That's the uh, yeah, that's the that's the main thing here. Um, and so batteries are available right here. Cool. Uh, and then and then I get memories. Battery and the memory, you know. Yeah, crazy, dude. We've we've gotten so many, so many subscribers today. So many subscribers yesterday. We've gotten twenty thousand in the past five days. Yeah, nuts, dude. Actually, nuts. Thank you guys. Okay. Uh, hello. I would like some more battery stuff. A crystal refinery. Uh, crystallized charges and produce anywhere else. Get to producing. Um, to produce five energy wells, 500 crystal charges. Ooh, dude. We have four full batteries now. That's huge. Here we go. Got five energy wells. Damn. Look at that. Uh, looks like we can only... Oh, looks like we're halfway with our... Halfway full of energy. Uh, considering the battery pack uh, on the side, uh, there seems to be eight charges, and we have four right now. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Uh, let's do some uh, memory stuff now, I think. Yeah, let's go do the memories. Uh, wow, I'm glad you guys are watching. I'm glad this is so cool. <laughs> That's so neat, dude. Particularly, I'm really glad I streamed on YouTube uh, for my first playthrough. Um, so, like, all the... Uh, particularly because, like, all of the live streams are super accessible now. You, you can literally just go to the live tab and just see all of them. Um, so, it's, like, super... It's super nice for you guys to, like, you know, see and, like witness and stuff, you know? Uh, all right. Let's go... Yeah, get this next memory. That's the next memory, I'm pretty sure. I want to double check. And then I guess we go to the Hebra Abandoned Mine. That's uh, the next goal, I believe. Uh, we might want to fill up a little bit more of the map, too. I know a lot of today is exploration and everything, but, I mean, hell, I, that's kind of what we need to do. I want to make sure that when I finish the game, I like finish the game, you know? It's like, yeah, this was a good complete playthrough of a lot of the aspects around the world. Okay. Uh, and then this. Oh, it's a shrine quest, isn't it? Oh, wait, this is the shrine quest for the um, for the typhoon. Oh my god. How neat is that? Yep. 
How neat is that? Okay, actually, I'll take this. It's a nice shrine here in the Typhoon. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad we got this. How many shrines have we completed? It's been a decent amount. There we go. We'll see on the uh, the loading screen here how many it's been. Nice shrine quest. Okay. Um, it looks like we've completed uh 44 wait plus 26 how many 44 plus 26 yeah wait uh how many did we do chat wait was it 44 plus 26 is it 60 so that's not 60 it's 70 a mod mighty zonite sword i will definitely take that uh, I think over the Traveler's Day more. Yeah. Uh, do I have anything to add to this for materials-wise? Um, no, not currently. I need to kill a Captain Construct uh, later. Oh, it's 26 Light Roots. That's what it is. Okay. Thank you, guys. All right. So it is... Uh... I have one Light Lives thing here. Right, right. Okay. Well, we'll see. So, so it's, it's 40... Five shrines now completed. So it goes shrines. Wait, we'll see it in a second. So it goes uh, light blessings, shrines, light roots, Koroks, rupees. Okay. Just a lot. Oh, and uh, here's another bubble gem. Oh, he's a sniper. Let's go. He's too good at the game. All right, where's my bubble gem? Nice. All right, uh, and then I actually do need to teleport back here. <laughs> and now we're gonna get the memory. All right, sidetrack. I'm getting sidetracked again. There's so many things. I'm, I keep getting sidetracked. Uh, he's cracked, dude. Uh, I wonder what, dude, I, I wonder what DLC for the game's gonna look like too. Maybe, maybe the DLC will cover the Sheikah stuff. That's what I, I'll, I'll hope. Because um, it seems like right now there's no Sheikah stuff involved in the game. Which is a little, you know, weird, but sure. All right. Here we go. Um, I actually want to probably go here still and then go from here to the, the memory. Right? Is this the... This is the next one, right? I want to double check. So I'm not doing them out of order. Um, it goes the com. Wait, I think I am doing them out of order. Oh, I totally am. This is not where I'm supposed to be. Okay. Sorry, the next memory is actually here. Uh, I I'm glad I checked. The comma. Okay. Yeah, so I want to go this way. Yeah, there's the comma. Okay. Yeah, way over here. Okay, so let's do this memory next i th i believe uh i like that idea do this memory next all right might take us a little bit to go but... okay uh, i've also learned uh pretty quickly that if you do if you do that where like you do the two lin stuff um and he like blows you across uh and then you unequip your paraglider and then re-equip it it actually um uh, it makes you go a little bit farther.
It's kind of nice, actually. Also, there's normally a Lionel down there in Breath of the Wild. I haven't seen a single Lionel this entire playthrough. And it's like, I wouldn't even say concerning, but like, I'm just so... I'm wondering about it, you know? Like, where are all the Lionel? All right, here's the uh, here's the next memory here uh, that we have to uncover. I wonder if you can see it from above. I think you can, right? Like that's what we found out for the last one. You can actually see the glowing part that you know is the tier. Yeah, from above, you can see it. So it'd be right here. There, there we go, dude. Awesome. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's do the next memory. I want to triple check that this is the right memory, by the way. Yes, it is. Okay. Here we go. So this is, this memory happens right after Ganondorf got his powers and killed Sonya. King Raru, we just received word that the last free village in the Gerudo Desert has fallen. No. <sighs> this is the sages. At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. Oh, God. Raru. The Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. Mm. But you are not alone. You got all of us. You have the Gerudo, <laughs> Goron, Zora, and Rito <laughs> leaders, as well as Zelda. And of course... You can count on me. Yeah, he's still grieving, Sonya. Oh, he hears something. Oh, there's something I'd like to show you all. Oh, this is this is the Temple of Time. This is the door to the Temple of Time. No, wait, this is the Forgotten Temple. So I this is the Forgotten Temple. Stones. Hmm. Stand with me. I need all your aid. He's giving the secret stones to everyone. To all of the sages. This is where they got them. Made just for them. Damn. Yep. Okay, we haven't seen the Zora one yet. Right on the arm. Ooh, that's badass. That's where they got all their secret stones. And now they're going to go off and fight Ganondorf. <sighs> That's pretty sick. I really like that Ruta mask. From the, the Zora. 
Damn. Okay. That was the next memory. Um, I think after this memory, um, well, uh, we have, uh, we have two memories left. Um, there's one that is right next to Lake Hylia, right over here. Uh, and then the last one is up here, um, next to the Lost Woods. So I think the way, cause I think there was some minor spoilers there of like, we haven't seen the Zora yet. Uh, so we might, I think the pacing of it, uh, for each memory is like, we probably should have done Zora first and then the comma memory. Um, so that's like a thing. What I think we do next is the Zora and then we do the next two memories and then whatever comes after that, you know? Um, so yeah. Um, I think that's, uh, probably, I think that's probably that, you know, no spoilers though. Please, please do not tell me things. I don't want to know. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But before we do that, um, and I know we really want to go here to the Zora's domain. I want to, I feel like once we beat this next one, like, like it ramps up like to the end where it's like, now you got to go to the end. There's a lot happening. Right. Um, so I, I want to do some stuff first and like really like complete this game and like figure out like, and find all of the things that like we really want to see. That's like important to me. Right. I want to be able to, um, view a lot of the stuff that, I mean, we've seen Kakariko village. That's kind of crazy. We saw Hateno, which is overrun by fashionistas and mayoral campaigns and politics. Um, Laneru was pretty cool. Um, we saw Lurland Village, which was attacked by pirates. Now, there's a couple things that we still need to uh, see. Obviously, Zora's Domain, right? But then I also want to see um, uh, Ocala Citadel. I want to see um, the Ocala Tech Lab. Uh, I also want to see, obviously, the, the darkness uh, area right here. I forget what it's called. It's not Lomai Labyrinth. It's something near. Um, and then also uh, the Lost Woods. Uh, those are, like, all things that I really, really want to do. Uh, however, I also want to um, fight Koga in the depths here. And I think that's what we do next. I think we go to the Koga in the depths first. Typhlo Ruins. That's what they're called. Thank you, guys. Oh, and also Terrytown. I want to see Terrytown. I totally forgot about that. Um, all right. I actually like really quick want to get, I know this is like a little out of the way, um, but I want to get a captain's. Oh, you know what? I can't get back up. I just did that. Okay. never mind. <laughs> that was stupid. I might as well get the captain stuff now. Um, I want to get a, uh, captain's horn, uh, for my weapons in a second, uh, a captain construct three horn. Um, because I have a, a, a pretty nice weapon to go with it. And I just want to, um, start it off right. Here we go. There's the captain. I am the captain now. All that stuff. You know, I've got this blade here. Okay. All right. And then one more hit and I should die. Exactly. Yep. That, that, that's, yep. Got it. That's exactly what I called, did I not, you know? Hell yeah. That's what I that's what I said. Okay. But oh no no no. Uh all right, let's do this. I will swap to you because I don't want this weapon in my inventory anymore. Um it is an eyesore to say the least. <laughs> Damn. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Nice. Like the bow, and then also I want the Captain Construct Three Horn. Nice. Okay, that's all I wanted. Now we leave. Now we leave. Language? Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> I curse all the time. Hey, only my mother can, uh, can, uh, uh, can say that. And, um, 
And she swears like a sailor sometimes. All right, here we go. Oh, I, I cooked food. Whoopsies. That works. All right. All right, we need to do the labyrinth soon, but I actually want to get the um, Hebra Tower specifically. Uh, I want to get the tower over here. Also, um, there should be a... Oh, look at that, dude. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to get the tower over here. Yeah, the, the fact that this was what we had to do to climb the Rito was amazing. I loved that so much. Man, that was nice. Nice. Yeah, because we haven't actually gotten the, um, the Hebrew Tower stuff. All right, we're also looking for the hole that leads directly to the Hebra um, uh, abandoned mine. That's the other thing we really need to do. Or really want to do. Right, there's some... Yeah, I, I'm not the biggest fan of like the Hebrew Mountains. Uh, snowy areas in Breath of the Wild were like the bane of my existence. Uh, not going to lie. But uh, uh, we can learn to deal with it, you know? There's the bowling area. Oh, no, this is the uh, Selmy's Ski Slope or whatever. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We got we got like another arena over there for the constructs. All right, there's a lot to do over here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Where's the... Do you guys see any uh, holes? I haven't seen any holes here. I guess we'll find it, like, on the map, but... Okay. All right. Just all the way to the tower. All the way. Almost running out of stamina, actually. Uh, do I have any stamina food left? Nope, that's the last of it. All right. Over here. And then... Yep. Only took some damage. Nito! Oh my god, I almost made it through. That sucks. <laughs> That could work though, right? Wait, how's this gonna work? How did I? Okay, this isn't this isn't fun. Okay, all right, I'm inside of the the thorns. All right, we're good. Okay, let me try this again. Don't shoot me off the side. It's fine. I can now just get up and move, right? Oh, easy. I, look, guys, I did it. <laughs> All right, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. All right, let's get the uh, next tower here before we get to Koga. Finish off the Koga Koga quest line. Whoa! Look at that sunset. Look at that sunset, man. And that's the upper left part of the map. Oh, there's no... Huh? There's no gloom holes? At all? Oh, cool. Uh, you can see the dungeon, too, in the sky. That's really neat. Um, that's interesting. That there's a hole that leads directly to... Master Koga. What? Oh, 
There's literally no holes in Hebra. I mean, the closest one's over here. So maybe that's it. No, but there's this huge valley that probably like stops that. What? Huh. Are these holes? They might be. Maybe it's like over here, like underneath this, like overhang. Huh. Huh. I am thoroughly stumped on this one. All right, let's go down to this hole because that seems like the, um, uh, best viable option. Stretch. Oh, big stretch. Five hour streams. Dude, I've been, I've been doing eight to 10 hour streams for the past five days. That's crazy. It's naughty, dude. Um, I, I have been, uh, still, uh, I've been eating, uh, okay. It's very, very okay. Um, uh, but I've been still working out and everything. Um, sleeping also very okay. Um, but, you know, all that. Let's see. All right, we already did this little challenge thing. That was pretty cool. Uh, way back in the beginning. I'm so glad we did the uh, memories in order, too. It's like a nice little touch to the playthrough. Oh, is there a shrine we haven't gotten here yet? I guess not. I have to go look at it. I feel like uh, for the next like couple months, I will be discovering new, uh, more and more things about this game that it, uh, I just totally haven't. It'll be crazy. I'm glad they did this the Skyward Sword stuff right here. <laughs> it's really cool how they're like I wouldn't say they took it from Skyward Sword, but they really adapted it into something even better, you know. Uh Runicate Shrine. They, they, like they were like literally, let's take Breath of the Wild, Skyward Sword, and then like create a whole new game underneath, and then that's the entire map. Good luck. I mean, that's the best part of Skyward Sword was like flying around. I wish Oh my god, if you could have like a like um I know you can build with things and everything, but imagine if you had like a uh what were they called? They weren't like talon wings or whatever. Sky wings. I wish you could have a sky wing um in Breath of the Wild. That'd be really or here's the kingdom, that'd be really cool. Built to carry. Um okay. Built to carry. So let's go up here, I guess. Loft wing. Loft wing, not sky wing. Loft wings. Okay. So, um, uh, all right. Can I ultra hand this across? I totally can't. Um... I feel like there's some fuckery I can do here. I'm real like A1 like odd shit. You feel me? Huh. What if I just put it like right here? I want to start rolling off. Yo. Oh. Thanks for food, Abley. 
this hot. Thank you. Cat, I went to the soup store and they had soup. I hate that meme. It's, it's such a weird meme. I don't understand that meme. I don't I don't get it. You soup. All right, here we go. Um, I can't time bomb this or anything, but I wanted to like slightly just to reach. I want to cheese this, I think. Okay. I can like ascend up here. Like if I need to. Okay. Do I solve this the regular way or the fun way? No way! Oh my god! There's no way that actually worked. What? <laughs> I can't believe it. That's that's crazy. Easiest shrine I've ever done in my entire life. I can't believe that worked. What? <laughs> All right. Sounds good. That's like a speed run strat right there. The soup is hot. The soup is very hot. Oh, I feel it. Oh, it's going down. Uh. All right, I'm okay. I think Abby's trying to kill me so then I can. So then. So then she's. She's not be my manager anymore for these streams. It's a chat. It's an assassination attempt. Okay. There's a hole right here. It's the closest hole that we have to Hebra. But it might just be the key to going to the Hebra abandoned mines. Okay. Onwards! Hyrule Ridge Chasm. Okay. Whoa, it's a little bit lit up already. I love that. I do. I love that sound. Real. Seems good. Uh, not a huge find in the light route, um, but we'll take it. We'll take it for now. Let's see. There's a uh, there's a lot of pose this way. Is this where we want to be? It is sort of. Uh, I do want to get these pose. There's just a lot of them, and I um, I the more I can get, the better right now. <laughs> Uh, I think we're going to have to... We, I think we have a, uh, a a debt of a couple hundred Poes coming up. Because um, we need to find the location of one of the Poes. Uh, like the Poe givers or whatever they're called. And then I think pay 200 for um, the mask that we want to grab. So uh, that's the unfortunate part here. Uh, yeah. All right. So we want to go up here to Master Koga of the Yiga Clan. Um, if we find any statues, we need to... All right. Wow. Okay. That fa I found them. Hey, uh, Chad, I found the statues. We did it. Hell yeah. Let's go. We did it. We found the statues. Uh, you know what? Actually, before we continue... That's going to be a little weird. Before we continue, I want to... 
go back to here look at landing and find that next post statue so it can maybe be like totally Oh, leg spike. Okay. All right, chat. Hip. Happens sometimes. Okay. A little delayed. All right. We're good to go, guys. Don't panic. Just uh, if you uh, see uh, if you see this and you hear this, type refresh in chat then everyone knows to refresh their page in case okay uh i will offer a oh, brethren location um yes okay so where is uh your brethren wow it's actually not even close to where i want to be wow okay. uh, is there another one uh yeah oh there's another one too Oh, that one's close though. Nice. Right. Are is do you have another you have another okay. Wow, there's actually more and more. That's crazy. Um, okay. So how close is this one? Huh. Actually not bad. Chad, should we get this guy? I feel like we should. I feel like we should. Let's let's grab like the location at least. We don't have enough pose, but all right. So we are looking to go. Um want to put here purple oh speaking of pose there's some over here oh there's one up there all right i'm literally in this for the pose right now all right nice Okay, he's doing like a 15 point turn right now. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. Nice. We beat the hot out. That was pretty fast. It's really funny how they do all these vehicles, though. I really like that. Oh, we've already done this hideout? Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right, then. A grand po right here this guy's life is more th worth more than everyone else's uh and then we want to go this way this guy and then this guy gives me five more <laughs> you see i'm now all i'm like po pilled now you know <laughs> that's like that's what i am currently just more, more, more pose. More, 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 more. Give me more. Okay. There we go. Oh. Shit. There's another. Okay. I'll mark that for later. If we need to come back to it. You know what? No, I'm going to, rather than do this, I shall just be a gamer and put on my death's armor and then we can just walk. Okay, never mind. Our death's armor was already <laughs> destroyed. Wait, is it like single use or something? No, oh, it gains, it gains over time. That's what it is. Okay. 
that's where we just came from and this is where we are going we go around because we need to go what yeah we go this way right yeah okay oh, i was getting turned around a little bit there Propose. Okay. Uh, this is just Traveler's Spear. I wonder, like, I can't wait to start breaking this game. Like, like really breaking the game. On, like, finding out, like, all of the locations of, like, really awesome things, you know? So I can just be like, all right, I know exactly where I'm going for each playthrough. I know what I'm doing, you know? Yeah. That was not the throw I wanted to throw. But we'll take it. Ooh we go we got something special here we got some stuff two more light roots down here plus a full facility that we were previously unaware of i will take that don't mind if i do oh there's a structure right here yeah And a waterfall that we hear. Yeah. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh my God. It's a tree. It's a gloom tree. I didn't know they had gloom trees down here. That is ridiculous. That is insane. That is actually insane. Oh my God. Okay. Another tree here. I flurry rushed the tree. What is that? What the hell is that? I was just here for a Poe, but my God. Ooh, big location. Okay. What are these ruins here? Yeah, what the hell? Construct factory. Oh, this is where they make all the constructs? What? Huh, it's missing one, two, three, four, five pieces here. I wonder. It's missing five pieces. Whoa. Uh, can I ascend up here? We're building Exodia. You know it. This is where they made all the constructs. Um, the zone I made all the constructs. Speaking of constructs, there's a couple over here. Hello. Oh, you're an easy construct. Oh, you know what? We never did, actually. Um, I need to uh, grab materials by attack power and then this. Hold right here and then put this um, with the sword. L down, fuse, mighty zone, sword, 45. And then let me ascend, maybe? Oh. I'm gonna send up here. Oh, more pose. Nice. I will always take that. Uh, plus, we haven't actually found the. Oh, yeah. Actually, he's down there. The bargainer statue. Right. What the... Okay. 
Why is there a giant bone here? <laughs> That's my other question. Another grand bone. Oh, a lot of bows over here, actually. Like a lot of bows. Damn. Damn! What is this place? Possible cobbler. Oh. There's another Poe over here, though. Yeah, all right. I mean, I'll take it. It's like free money, basically. Um, Another guy over there. Yeah, Boss Bacoblin. Oh, coming up. Okay, coming up and around. Oh, wait, what the... Is that the oh? <laughs> um, I want to get the light route, I think, over here, though, first. Before we continue on, we're discovering this new place. The construct? Yeah, factory? Kind of nutty. Um, oh, I didn't, I didn't do all of this up here. Or Poe's! <laughs> uh, the amount of time I'm saying Poe today is actually, like, in, it's ridiculous. It's maybe too much. Okay. Seems like we've gotten most of the stuff. Um, let me go up a little bit farther. I love the sound. It's so cool. Okay. Actually, I think there's more on top. I think we more, more we explore here, the better. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of really cool, actually. Oh, and there's a chest and a uh, stewardess. Uh, uh, a mighty zonite shield huge i will drop this in favor for that hello uh welcome to the construct factory i cannot remember how long it's been since i've welcomed any visitors yeah yes parts delivered here from the depots are assembled into crafter constructs the finished products are produced here shipped to Dragonhead island oh my task here is to confirm receipt of the parts shipped from the depots. I then oversee the task of ensuring they're correctly assembled. Nearly all work processes have been suspended as it is my duties. The issue seems to be that no parts are being sent from the depths. I'm on standby here to take receipt of them in the event that shipping resumes. Oh. So it looks like we're missing four parts of the construct down below. We need to find those. Okay. And I, I think they're probably like around here somewhere. Uh, we'll have to figure that out. Find them. Whoa. Great. That's, I'm so glad we came here. There's so much money. So many, so many, so many stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Look at this bone, dude. And that too. Okay, let's get this light route over here, and then we'll get the and then we'll get the Poe stuff. I think. Oh. Yeah, lovely that this is covered in gloom. Great for us. Can we just keep going forward, and we can get up. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 
the ooey schwach light root. Nice. Classic. Whoa. Whoa, dude. Okay. Maybe there are, are... Yeah. Maybe the construct uh facility Maybe maybe we do have to find uh the pieces of the construct here. Whoa, what's this over this? Oh my god, there's so many things. There's so many things. What's this? There's another light route down over there. How far is that? Um, actually not too far. Um, we should probably get that too. Oh, really? Come on. Come on! All right, we'll take that. Hey, right, more Aracuda eyeballs, uh, the better, you know? Uh, because that's what we use to defeat Gleox. Yeah, what is this right here? blown away by this game i'm blown away i i will say that now and i will say it ever this game just has so much where i'm just like all right what's that what's this what's that what's this what's that what's over here how can i do this what does this mean what's down there constantly second video coming anytime soon i yeah it is uh be patient be patient <laughs> all right um we uh we're, we're going as fast as we can. All right, it takes a while to edit. Um, and my editors are working as hard as they can too. I got the best team on YouTube. Right leg deep. Oh, whoa. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we do have to deliver all the stuff to the construct factory. Oh, we've definitely gotten a little sidetracked here. Okay, it said no. Why? <laughs> Why no? <laughs> huh. It's because like power isn't being delivered. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let me go over here. Okay, we might have to come back here. Yeah, I think we might have to come back here just because this is a lot for me to parse right now. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll have to figure it out. Yeah, all right. Okay, let's go to the Poe then over here. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think we do that. I think let's go to the Poe. Or the, the Poe constructor or whatever. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this seems like a different depot than right over here. Uh, oh god, there's the cobbles. Yeah, it seems like another depot. All right, I don't want to fight the book commons right now, so I'll just run. But the post statue is this up here. Oh my. Can I even ascend this? I don't think I can. No. All right, we're climbing. We're climbing, boys. Thank you for that. Okay. okay. No, that's so cool. Do it again. Do it again. I dare you. Yo, what's up, Linkus? How's it going? Hi, Linkus. Um, I am... Wait, let me show you my progression. This is what I got so far. This is also what I got so far. And then that's what I also got. I'm I'm doing things. Things. Okay. Go up this way. Uh okay, let's I think the Mr. Poe guy is over here. Should be over this way at least. Doing so much stuff and things. How you doing? Sam's almost too big, I feel overwhelmed. I know. I'm like how do I play all of this? <laughs> like, how do I... Is, is that, like, possible for me to do? Like, can I... You know, I'm getting sidetracked so often. I'm like, okay, I want to get more of the depth armor. So let me go do this. And then I'm while doing the depth armor, I find this whole construct factory. And I'm like, oh my god! And there's so much! And I'm like, I can't do all of this. What the hell? The wellspring of courage with the giant Poe statue. Please, dude. Yeah, what does 100% speedrun look at this game? That's that's the, that's the what I'm curious about. Like, how many days is going to that take? It's gonna be like a 90 hour speedrun. Okay, and then where's your face? Over here. Okay, nice. Hello. You who stand before me make an offering. Offer pose to me. Okay. But I've seen your brethren, though. You've encountered my brethren. Stay a moment. Okay. Um, Combine our power to create the dark hood. Okay, I don't want the dark hood. Um, I actually want more depth armor. So, I actually uh, don't want to talk to you right now. Uh, as much as that is, uh, as cool as you seem to be, um, that is not indeed what I want. So. Okay. Here. Oh. Um, all right. There's another light route this way, but I don't know if I can grab that. Um, yeah. All right. Then the other, uh, we already got this uh, bargainer statue. There's one up here, which I'm definitely not getting. <laughs> um, I mean, I can ask for another chat. I think I should do that. I think I do that, actually. I think I ask for another. All right, um, just because I, oh, dude, I want more depth armor. They look so cool. I just want to know what this, the the helmet looks like, and then we go to Koga, and then we do Zora. But first, 
let me introduce you to my manager, Abby. Uh, she's uh, she's gonna take over for a little bit while I go to the bathroom. Um, so BRB guys, um, say hi. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta pass it. We gotta, we gotta pass it off like they do in the game. No, you, that's not how you do that. No, you, here, here, here. Do the, do the, do the, do the wait. Do, do, I thought you were going to start Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. No, you started. I thought he was going to start Okay. All right. Chat, I want to ask you guys a question. If you could be any mob enemy in Tears of the Kingdom that we've seen so far, who would you be? And maybe why. And if your answer is good, I'll read it out loud. Pick an enemy. I think I personally would be probably... I don't know, actually. That we've seen. You could... I mean, yeah. I, I, I know the game already, so... But don't spoil it for Eric. The hands. Yeah. That's valid. Construct. I feel like I might be construct. That's true. I do be constructing things. Oh, no, you're right. I would be one of those frogs. One of the frogs that he keeps finding. The things that have the gems in them. The bubble. Yeah, the bubble frogs. That's me. Bubble frog for real. For real. Slimes are the goat. That's fair. Hydras. <laughs> the hands, because they're creepy. <laughs> if you had to be something, you'd be the hands. I don't know what that says about you. The Gleok, the Gleok is pretty cool. Eric tried to fight it and then got his ass kicked. But we'll see. Maybe he'll beat it next time. The trees, you can be tall. Valid. Also probably would be Eric's answer. Um, Koroks. Technically not a mob, but I feel you. Gibdo. I'd be the Gibdo, the, the Queen Gibdo. Giant moth. That feels definitely like something I would be. I would be Drug Lord Yanovo. <laughs> FBI, this one right here. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Close it out. We got him. Caught 4K. Impa, not a mob. Not an enemy. <laughs> Father Ganondorf. There. Actually. Uh, also, thank you guys so much for uh, all the subs and the donos. Uh, Eric has been trying to read them when he can, but I have been reading all of them since I've been in chat. Um, thanks for those. That is really appreciated. It helps pay my salary. And, uh, I'd be working 24-7-365, so I appreciate it. Uh, Queen Givdo because it can fly and it's a moth. Valid. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit like a moth, I guess, to my computer screen. Bacoblin. Nice, nice. Lionel. Yeah, he keeps saying he hasn't seen any Lionels. I do think they are in the game. Um, because I know more about this game than Eric. I am protecting him from spoilers. And so if I see spoilers in chat, I will come after you. Eric's in the bathroom. He left me here to babysit. He doesn't trust you guys to be on your own yet, so I have to sit here. <laughs> but yeah, Eric and I were making jokes about the uh, the the wave thing that they do to like give when the uh, the sages or the new sages like give you their powers. They do like a little like a wave. They're like, here you go. It's so goofy. I love that they added that in. Or Yonobo does the fist the fist bump. That's pretty sick. I love that. Play for him. Where are we right now? Are we in the depths? Circle. Don't be mad at me. Oh, we're not even in the depths anymore. Where the heck are we? Okay, Link, this outfit needs to stop. In every cutscene, goofy ass looking motherfucking outfit. Just the, the, the bug looking. I mean, I did want to be a moth like five seconds ago. So that is very fair. But Chat, I looked away for like three seconds. Where are we? Hyrule Guessers in chat, where are we? Tell us where we are. Change it. Language, English, thank you for asking. We're at an outpost, valid. Change the dri lookout landing. Okay, sick. So this is Tears of the Kingdom, looks pretty good. I'm seeing some people. I'm seeing some things. I actually don't want to touch anything because he's. I, I don't think he'd get mad, but I think he'd be like, what did you do? What is that? What is that thing over there? <laughs> what is that? The thing rolling around in the background? What is that? 
Is that, is that, <laughs> I thought it was Unova for a second. Anyway, I'm excited. You guys are excited for him to see the rest of us? It is a Goron? Bro, looks like a tumbleweed. Change to the Abby drip. If I had to pick an outfit in this game, I would, actually, I'd probably still wear the moth one. I think it's funny. But I did uh, see a spoiler of some other armor that I hope he picks up later. No spoilers, though. Let him experience the game. He's probably going to get, like, a really good experience because he hasn't been spoiled yet. So keep it that way. Thanks. I started playing. Oh, I didn't. Really? No, I didn't get very far. I got scared. <laughs> what do you mean you got scared? I got scared. Look! Look! There's a little He's girl rolling, kid. rolling around at the speed <laughs> of sound. <laughs> Bye, Chad. Fun. Uh, no, uh, actually, I'll take some more water. All right. Whew. All right, here we go. Um, let's go and uh, talk to the post up. Uh, how many posts do we have, actually? We have 251. Okay, we can chat. We can we can lose like a hundred pose for another location. All right, please be close. Please be close. Please be close. Please be close. Oh. I do have another location that's even closer. Oh oh, now we know all of the locations. So there's one up here, and there's one over here. Thank you. Shoot, I wasn't planning on going these places yet. Chat, do we, do we like, do we try? Oh, but it looks like those are important places too. There's the ones at the springs and stuff. I feel like, I feel like that one's, yeah, this is the, um, Forgotten Temple one. And then this is the spring of, Courage? Power? One of the springs. I think it's power. I think it was the spring of power. Um, so. Mm, we could also just do Koga. I feel like we do Koga. I feel like we finish off Koga. Okay. Yeah, so Koga's over here. We need to follow the statues, which are right here. Yep. All right. That's what we're doing. We're following the statues to Koga. Uh, to go to the North uh, West Hebra Mine. Uh, so then we can um, uh, figure out uh, Koga's plans once and for all and maybe foil them from something, something with um, uh, the Demon King uh, Ganon. That's basically what we're doing. Like, 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 he's like, so Koga's basically like, uh, I'm, I'm going to Malice Henox, or sorry, uh, it's not Malice Henox, it's a Gloom Henox. Uh, oh boy, here we go. Can I just can I just mark you first? Nice, got him. Okay. Um, and now we begin our struggle. Uh, wait. Let's do this. Oh, that was that was even. Oh, you have um. Oh, you have stuff protecting you. Okay, I need to fire fruit your legs both of them okay. nice i wonder what a blue hinox um weapon looks like too okay good so far oh oh this oh this damage this damage it's insane it's insane it's insane oh and we beat him nice 
Okay, that was too easy. It was too easy, dude. It was too easy. A blue Hinox Horn. Okay, it's 19 attack power. It's actually not as powerful as I thought it was going to be. Um, but we did get another bow. And I will take this instead of the Gerudo one. Uh, Knight's Broadsword with critical hit. I will also take that. Okay. And then um, uh, Knight's Halberd, actually. I will take that over. Yeah, with durability up. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Literally. Okay. Um, I want this. Okay, we don't have any more Bright Blooms. That kind of sucks. Uh, but I guess let's keep following the, uh, the statues. To Koga. So Koga is uh, basically in... Trying to be in cahoots with um, Ganon, uh, with the Demon King, uh, sort of uh, pulling out like, hey, you know, uh, the Demon King, he's a, uh, he's a little, you know, he's he's my master. I serve the Demon King and all that jazz, you know. Um, and uh, uh, he he's got like the ultimate weapon or something yes. nearby. Like he's like, I have forged the ultimate weapon with all these crystallized charges and such. Um, and so, I mean, we'll find out what this ultimate weapon uh, happens to be. Uh, no idea so far. But... Whoa. Oh, there's a lot of pose over here. Oh, whoa. What the hell? Where are we going? We're going a little far farther down. Okay. Uh, Striker, thank you so much for the gifted membership, by the way. Thank you. All right, so we can go through here. Uh, I need more weapons <laughs> that are good. I think I, uh, I think I just do those later. We just go down here, I guess. Oh, whoa. Okay, there's a lot. There's a lot happening right here. There's a statue as well, and it's faced this way. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Maybe we should do a construct enemy right now. Maybe we do that. Oh, that's going to be so cool. Okay. Yep, let's do this guy. I think we can manage it. Hello. It's a Flux Construct 3. Save the game first. <laughs> Make sure you save before you do anything. All right. Okay. Okay, you swapped them. Love that for you. Swap them again. Okay, keep destroying them. Okay. Got him. Nice. Uh, I'm going to use um, this, the Goma Hammer. Because it does so much damage. Okay, nice. Oh, I missed. It's right there. Nice, got him. Destroy. Easy. Okay, easy. So much damage. Oh, so close. He's almost, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Okay, how did I get up here last time? Um, I used uh, recall, I think, right? It was a recall. Yep, just to get up. Oh, and he's dead. Let's go. Yes. You love to see it. You love to see it. Rockets, some uh, charges. Awesome. You know, I, I did do the uh, Captain Reaper here, but I think I want to actually destroy this. Um, it's built, it's still unused. And then fuse it with the Flux Construct 3 core for a 52 damage weapon. Wow. Now that was worth it. That was definitely worth it. Actually crazy. Actually crazy, dude. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, Derek, uh, thank you so much for the uh, channel membership. I appreciate that as well. While I do want to get the uh, pose over here, 
it, the, the amount of worth it right now is currently next to zero. Um, just, just because we're not going to get to the pose uh, too soon. Alrighty, already, already. Let's go up here. Oh, and there's a light route down here, too. Oh, no, that's not a light route. Alright, that's just another encampment. Alright, we're still following this. Um, and we're actually kind of we're actually really close to the uh mining facility, it looks like. We're na uh, narrowing it down. I think we still go up this way. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see all those pose? I think that's where we're supposed to go. Okay, this could be it. This is probably where Koga is. And we're going to see his ultimate weapon that he's going to give the Demon King. It's uh this way, maybe? Um, I don't know where the statues are. Oh, my God. I'm blind. <laughs> Where are the statues? Literally. Literally right in front of me. Uh, there's a light route here, too. Actually, I do want to get the light route. Uh, might as well while we're here. All right, we're going to have to do some climbing, but... Kawumoro! Oh, wow. That's a lot. Okay. That's a lot. Dude, our map of the depths is getting so much more complete now. Now, keep in mind, it's not a, it's not a lot complete. Okay. There's a lot we still haven't uncovered, but it's getting, it's getting there. It do be getting there. All right. I need to get back up. And the best way to do that, that I've learned. <laughs> the best way. Is the rocket. Okay, great. Um, so this is leading here and then up this way. Okay. Wanna get back on track. Oh, uh, and then just just because I for my own quality of life, I need to take this rocket. Okay. And then uh reattach it to the shield. So then I don't have to like so then I can just like use that at any time that I want to. Ooh, is this what I think it is? Oh, perfect. Soldier's Claymore is actually goaded. Um, or is it? It has critical hit. Ooh. Mm. I. Ah, it has more durability too. I'm gonna take the right nice halberd over it though. I think it's a it's a weird decision, but I want a spear. I don't think I have many spears right now. You know what? No, let's do this. No, 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 no. Materials. Let's 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 build some stuff. Okay. I'm I'm tired of being a broke ass bitch. Uh, when it comes to materials, let's do this. Okay, black moblin horn. I'll do this. I'll I fuse it with the nice halberd. Okay, cool. Now we have a 30 weapon, and now I can do that. Um. Now I'm gonna have this other nice halberd and um, uh, do another black moblin horn. So we have the same exact weapon twice. Okay, nice. Times 30 each. Perfect. All right, now to the mining facility. Uh, Grand pose. Where's the mining facility? The dead end? That's strange. There's definitely should be something up ahead. What's the matter? Uh, investigating this place too? Uh, uh. Oh, see how the stone statue has fallen into the wall? These statues are typically set in rows uh, until they stop in an old mine. This chain of statues ends here. It looks all over, but there's no sight mm. of an old mine. Could it be inside this wall? <laughs> well, I found you here, so at least the statues led me to a hero. Uh -huh. Oh my god! <laughs> how are you? How are you a Yiga clan member? I mean, that makes sense. You're close. 
But damn, I, that actually caught me off guard. <laughs> okay. Well, we now know that it's... Okay, well then above? How? What the... Huh? How did we get inside then? That's so weird. Oh my god, I think I figured it out. Oh my god, I think I know. Wait, wait. There were there were ice pools in the uh um there were there were ice pools uh in Rito Village. And if you break one of the ice pools, maybe it leads down into the ground below that I can like fall into. Like that might be it. Okay. So I Yes, 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 yes. Yes. I think I found this. Okay. So I'm gonna go through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This way. Okay. And then go right above that quest marker, I think. Or is there maybe like a well here? It's one of the one of the two. One of the two. Where's two Lin when you need them? Oh. Huh. There's a chest right here, actually. <laughs> cool. Didn't even see that. Uh, 50 rupees. Free. Flying around. I'll take that any day of the week. Oh, wait. But they were frozen. Wait. Are they not frozen anymore? Okay. Wait. This isn't... This actually isn't, like, boating well. There's no more frozen lakes. Okay. Because they're all unfrozen and they're not leading towards uh, a certain doom. What? Okay, then, it, like, because, like, Koga also said there's a direct way down to the mining facility. Which means that there, there's quite literally a direct way. So there's something we can find here that like leads right down to it. Um, I wish there was like a descend ability. <laughs> that would be nice. You know, there's ascend. Yeah, where's, where's our descend stuff? Like a cave, like on the side of one of these things, you know? Maybe this thing. No, I don't know, man. I just wasted a rocket, too. <laughs> Do I have any more, actually? I think that was my last rocket. No, I have three more. Hmm. I think maybe it could be up this way. We'll try. We'll try. Dude, I am at a loss uh, as to where these things could be. I mean, yeah. Should be somewhere around here. Hmm. I'll figure it out. Koga, oh Koga, where are you? Uh, oh Koga. Maybe there's something in the middle of the entire village, like like the the mount, like the perch for Valmetto. That could be it. I mean, that definitely could be it. I don't think it is. 
It doesn't hurt to, to try. Okay, speaking of which. God. Okay. Okay, well, this is definitely not what I was looking for. Uh-huh. The Korok? The dollar. Okay. What? Uh, oh my god, it's totally a Korok, isn't it? Oh, mother. It's 100% a Korok. Right? Oh, no, you have to put it the right way, uh, which is this way. Come on. Oh, oh geez. There we go, this way. Okay. Uh, Cool, cool Korok puzzle. Uh, not what I'm looking for, though. Not what I'm looking for, though. How many rockets? I keep asking that question. It's the same thing. It's number. It's only one rocket. Um, cubes. All right, I don't think this is going to make me uh, go too high. I'm going to have to build a... Uh... Yeah. I'm going to build an air balloon here. Right. Let's do it. Uh, can I actually, like, move this now? Now it's in connect. Okay, no, I can't. That would have been so helpful, actually, though. But, you know, uh, cool. Uh, cool beans. Didn't need that platform uh, or anything. Let's take this out. Let's take out of... Um, what? Let's take this out. Let's take out this. Uh, and then what? what's something I can, like, stand on? Oh, let's, let's start that with now. All right. Okay. Is there something like I could, I mean, I... This is going to be so stupid. I could take out this. And then use this as a... Uh, oh, can I not attach it up here? Flame emitter. Okay, sorry. I do that, and then take the flame emitter here. <laughs> okay, it's too heavy. Um, wait, shit, that's not what I want to do. Hmm. Do I have a flying machine here somewhere? I have a glider. I could do it. Glider could work. All right, yeah, let's do this. Let's do glider. I 
here we go. Watch this, guys. Watch this. No, I put the, I put the control, 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 control. I am upside down. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that worked out really well. That worked out great. <laughs> oh, my streamer, am I right? All right, there's some crackles here. Uh, let me uh, restart the capture card real fast. Uh, chat, while I'm restarting the capture card, um, subscribe. Uh, I've wow, oh my god, six hours. Um, subscribe to the stream. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, it's free to do so. And uh, I mean, if you want, if you like the Tears of the Kingdom content, you want to be notified of when the edited video goes live. Um, then, uh, let's do it. Uh, then, then subscribe. Go for it. That should be out, uh, tonight, actually. Um, for the next part of the playthrough. Okay, watch this, guys. Control, control. There it is. I, I got it. 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 We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everything's good. Let's go, dude. Okay, I need to go up. Up, up, up. 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 Pull up. Okay. And then I have materials here. Up more. Okay. You're perfect. What 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 what's happening? Why is, why is, why is it glowing green? Oh, it just disappears. Oh, cool. Good to know that that can happen. Never knew that would, that would happen, but sure. Okay, we made it, but this is not where this is not where Koga is. God damn it! All right, I'm gonna splice here for the editors, and then uh, continue on. All right. All right. Is this a is this a Korok? Yeah, it totally is. Get out of the editors, chat. Oh, you know, I could have done this and then ascended. Hmm. Dude, I can't find this when place. The glow of the blood stained moon shines upon the land. That's not Zelda. Slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Okay. Um, now where the hell is this? <laughs> Okay, chat, yes or no? Give me a yes or no. Okay, 
I just, that's all I'm asking. Is the um is is the gloom hole or is it to get to the depths here? Am I on? Am I at the place where to get to the depths? So like this, this like right here. This is right. Okay, so it's somewhere in Rito Village. A uh, chat. Okay, so I'm gonna ask this. It's somewhere in Rito Village. Yes or no? Like right here. Like right in here. This this island right here. Yeah, okay. See a lot of yeses, okay. No, it's not? Okay, I don't understand. Okay. What happened to no backseating? I'm literally asking for your help. <laughs> There's a difference of me asking versus um, me pondering and also like it's like giving an unsolicited advice versus giving advice, you know? Big difference there. Okay. Oh, an opal. Nice. Thank you guys for answering yes or no and nothing else. I appreciate it. Um, thank you guys. I don't want to know where it is. I just want to find it out for myself. Um, so thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Let's see. Ah, oh, the soundtrack is so beautiful. Hmm. They. Oh, what about this? Is the bridges out? Huh. Um. Where the hell is the It's right above, right? So like we were here. It's like inside of this area right here like inside of this pillar is what we're kind of like looking at. And where the hell is it? Yeah, I have no idea, dude. I can't even find it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no. Okay, let me let me let me think here. I need to find like a spot to go down. So it should be like around. I don't know, even here. Can I fix this by the way? No, you can't. Okay. Um Yeah, let me try to find this. I know it's like it's probably obvious to a lot of you guys, right? But it's not obvious to me. Um, because I haven't played this part yet. Um So I gotta I gotta figure this out. I gotta I gotta I gotta really get this. Okay, so this is the area where Koga is, right? Um which leads me to believe that it's on like one of these three islands. Can I like recall something? Oh, there's a chest up here, though. Nice. Oh, no, no. Okay. Can't recall anything doesn't look like nearby. This reminds me of the uh, when I watched uh, grass grow and uh, paint dry for 10 hours. Because I put this music on in the background. It was the Rito Village music for 10 hours straight. Hmm. I feel like I'm already too far. Like, I feel like it would be right here. Dude, I am so lost here. I'm so lost. Will this do anything? You know, like Lucky Clover Gazette. Yeah, that's that's where we're at right now, you know? Um Go down here. Nope. Dude, I, I've never been so stuck on a puzzle. Like, literally, I've never been so stuck on a puzzle. How the hell? I want to I wanna figure this out, by the way, by myself. I don't, I don't want any help. I want to figure this out. Hmm. I went to the depths here. And when I was at the depths, right? Oh, it was right here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. My last location was right here. No. Okay. Sorry, there's a spider there. Okay. So if my last location was over here. That means that the. Yeah, like Clover Gazette. Like, I couldn't continue past here. So, it's literally, like, right here is the area. So, 
there like a recall thing I can do here? And like descend? Dude. Hmm. Has something to do with this this thing, right? You know? Hmm. Like this this spot right here. Has something to do with this right here. That's what I'm thinking. Nothing to recall though. Is there a way to get down? Dude, I am missing something here. I feel like it's either this one or this one. <sighs> Dude, I'm going to lose my mind. Okay. Let me go up and around over here. Is there like some sort of cave? I have, but like I circled the entire thing though. There's no cave here. It's all water. Hmm. Yeah, I'm picking up a lot of pine cones at least. Dude, I wish I could solve this. I feel bad. All right, well, might as well search now, like around. Yeah, I was like, this is like an indent, you know? But there's no cave here. Literally, like there's no cave. Okay, so I've ruled out this island. So it's not the it's not the third island, it's like the first island, I think. Damn, yeah, dude. I feel so dumb. Okay. I don't want to go through the, the thing there. Dude, maybe there's like a... Oh, maybe the main island? I don't fucking know. Oh my god, is it right there? Oh my god, is it right there? Oh, that might be it. That might be it. Oh, God, that is so much searching so much my brain. Oh. There it is. There it is. The malice goo. Rito Village Chasm. Right on the bottom. And the abandoned Hebrew mine. We found it, guys. We found it. And with the abandoned Hebrew mine. Uh, with the. Wow, it's, it's weird here. 
with the abandoned humor mine is Toga. Sick tag, light root. Yep, there it is. Yep, the secret Hebra abandoned mine. Oh, let me eat something. Oh, here it is. Whoa, dude. So what's this uh, secret sort of thing you got planned for us, Koga? What's what's your um? What's this grandiose plan you got? That's the that's the question. Pop pose here. <laughs> Grabbing them all. Your the ultimate weapon <laughs> is is uh for. Yeah, uh, like the ultimate weapon and everything, like for for the Demon King. W what happens to be this ultimate weapon? Uh, let's see. Let's find out. I don't know. It's Koga. We shall see. Mm. I've been waiting for you. It is done. We have enough crystallized charges at last. And now, our gift to the Demon King. A weapon beyond compare. What is this thing? We'll be reborn! What is, dude, what did you make here? Today, we'll go down in infamy. As the day of our ultimate weapon's resurrection. And the day the world faced its end. Behold, this feat of engineering. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, whoa. The unstoppable Zonai construct. Okay, wait, that's cool. I thought it was going to be like a golf cart or something, you know? Like, literally just like, I thought it was going to be like a scooter. And uh, like maybe some like Heelys and be like, yay, we got it. This thing is so cool. Count your blessings, Link. Your death will prove the Yiga Clan's might. I'll go take my rightful place in the darkness below the castle where the Demon King now dwells. Yes, where all the ends, where the ends of all things will begin. In the deepest, re in the deepest reaches of the depths, far beneath Hyrule Castle. Okay. Now, come and get me. This time, I'll bury you. Oh, oh, it's, 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 okay, he's riding it. Uh, okay, you're blocking. Okay. How do I do this? Okay, so I can hit the construct. Nice. I hit the construct. And then I hit Koga? Oh, and then Koga, okay. Totally. Nice. Okay, so you hit the construct a whole bunch of times and Koga comes out. Okay. And then you have to hit Koga's. Oh, or, or Koga hits the uh, wall. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oops. I don't know why I apologize to Koga. Okay, here we go. That works. That works. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Nice. Oh my god, that was so much damage. Okay, perfect. And we got a flurry rush. Perfect. I don't think I need more. Into the wall. Nice. And he's back out. Okay, nice. Got him, got him. Oh, he's blocked now. It's fine. Right into the edge. Nice! Got him again. So much damage. So much damage. Perfect. This is crazy. This is insane. 
Oh, he actually hit me. This is the first time he hit me this entire battle. He, that's the second time he hit me this entire battle. Uh, okay, let me heal. And he killed me. Oh, wow. Oh my God. I can't believe I died. Here we go. All right, Master Koga again, but for the first time. Oh, I got a dodge the attack. That's how we do it. Okay. Nice. Oh, that was great. That was great. Okay. No, stop hitting me. Perfect. Actually, crazy boss fight, though. So much damage, dude. Okay. Uh, and then let me swap over. Okay. Nice. All right, that's a good amount of damage. All right, second phase. Perfect. So much damage. So much damage. All right, should be able to hit him again. Okay, nice. Dodge and hit him into the wall. And now he's back out. All right, almost broken. Here we go. Just gotta dodge it. Okay, and then I actually don't have another... Uh, you know what? I'll use the blade here. Oh, perfect. Oh, shit, 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 shit. That's not what I want to use. I want to use this. I missed. Okay, that's fine. Right there. Right there. Okay. Almost dead. One more hit and we got him. Yes. Oh, my beautiful weapon. All my work destroyed. You little twerp. I was this close to destroying the world with the Demon King. I think I, I think he's going to, I think kind of like he's going to do that himself. I don't think he needs you. Yeah, I'm just going to let the stand do you. <laughs> what? Okay. Time to bust out my serious moves. A brand new technique I came up with in the deepest depths of the darkest depths. It will destroy you. What's your what's your move here? Oh my god. It, it's, it's a nuke. It's a nuke. My unstoppable Koga rocket. It's literally a nuke. Okay. This is the end. No! Fly! Koga rock! Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that's supposed to happen! <laughs> How dare you, Link? I'll have my revenge! <laughs> Team Rocket's blasting off again! <laughs> that's too good. Oh, that's too good. Oh, Master Koga of the Yiga Clan complete. We did it! We defeated Master Koga and in the most hilarious way possible.
Uh, okay, thank you for driving out the Trespasser. I watched your battle closely. Um, it's unlikely he'll appear in another abandoned mine. His manner of departure attests to that. Mines similar to this one can be found under thriving surface settlements under places of distinction. Uh, there appears to be some connection between surface and the depths. Very curious. Perhaps you find this eagling intriguing. It may be a good idea for you to explore this connection. Uh, there was one other thing before you resume your journey. Do we get the rocket? Uh, scheme of stones. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, so what do we get from this? A full battery charge and a diamond. Yes, I will take that for sure. <laughs> great, great, great rewards. Um, let's see. There's some pose stuff up here. Uh, and then you give me a scheme of stones. Let me do that too. I love Koga. He's so funny. It's it's very nice to have a comedic uh, uh, boss in a full game of seriousness, you know? Um, all right. So scheme of stone. What vehicle are you going to give me here? A rocket platform. Oh. Interesting. Um, I don't know about that. I, I might uh, rocket platform. I just, I mean, I think just using a rocket regularly is probably fine, you know? This is the rocket platform. Let's check it out. Start. Right. So uh, if we do this, then we're good, right? Oh. Nero. Oh, oh, oh. There's another platform over there. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh, damn it. I, I was enticed by the, the Poe. Uh, yeah, what's what's up here, though? Uh, you know what? Why? Wait, do we even have any? Do I even have any rockets right now? Uh, I ran out of rockets. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. But now... Wait, wait, wait. I, I don't even... Like, I can just auto-build um, the rocket platform. Like, it doesn't even need to... I can just go up anytime I want. Oh, that's actually super nice. Okay. And then we go right here to this chest. What's in this chest? A large... Ah, okay, cool, cool. Dude, we're getting so much battery stuff. That's awesome. That's really great, actually. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I was like, we since we have the auto build, like, we can just build it again. Forge Construct, Zonite... Okay. Let's see. Do we want any? Uh, we can use these, actually. Yeah. All right. Gate two. Okay. Uh, for large zoanite, and then for this, I don't want to use all. So each one get. Wait. Actually, if I use all of them, it's ninety. Excuse me, thirty. That's not worth it. Not worth it. Um. Okay. So now, wow, we've been all over today. Jeez. Uh, let's go back to the sky. And upgrade our battery yet again. Okay. Um, oh, wait. There was also the... Um, uh, there, oh, there's so many things here. Uh, th dude, there's so many things that we have to, like, discover. All right, let's upgrade our uh, chest. Hello. How's it going? Uh, crystal refinery. Charges and energy, energy wells. Okay, get producing. All right, so I can do two more energy wells. So now I have five batteries. Damn, well, four and a half batteries. Okay. Energy well too. Yeah, look at that. Woo! Goddamn. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, we haven't... Okay, so what else can we discover here? We haven't done the labyrinths. I mean, we could go... Let's see. We did the Koga stuff. Um, oh, there is... There is the the spark mocked on the old map. Let's do that. Let's let's uh let's get the uh, treasure map real quick. Yeah, let's get the treasure map. All right. Uh chat by the way, no amount of coercing me to do something will make me want to do it. <laughs> And just FYI, <laughs> I'm a very stubborn person. Um, but I also really just want to, like, uh, play the game that I want to play it uh, and go to the places that I want to. So, um, not taking too many suggestions at this time, if any at all. Uh, okay. The link is looking this way, so I, it's up and around over here, it looks like. So I think, yeah. Okay. So if we go, let me actually just mark it with like a, a pin here. So then I can like, oh, I have all of my pins marked. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. Uh, that's lovely. Don't need that. Um, I will maybe need those pins later. I have too many pins. I quite literally have too many. Um, I, for some reason I'm using these, I never use them in Breath of the Wild, but I'm using them so much more in Tears of the Kingdom, just because they're so useful. Like, there's so many things that I can do with them. I don't know why, you know? Have you done that much in four days? Because I've streamed, like, 35 hours of this. No. Okay, it's, uh... How many, how many hours have I played Tears? Let me check. Um, Let me go to the live tab on YouTube. And then check it out. Okay, so... Uh, 10 hours plus seven and a half. So 17 and a half hours plus, uh, nine, uh, which is 27 hours, uh, plus eight, 35 hours, uh, plus the six and a half right now. So 41 and a half hours of Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, let's go up and around here. Uh, so yeah, I played uh, 41 and a half hours. So that's why I have this much uh, completed of the game already. <laughs> okay, let's get these pose. Um, and it's still very surface level. There's so much more that I have to like discover, you know? More than one week of a full-time job. Uh, yeah, I mean, I work about 17 hour days recently for this um because you know i i stream for about eight to ten and then i um do work for the next like six to seven uh and um yeah um normally i run like 60 to 80 hour weeks and I, i've never really worked 40 hours um it's always been more so um the thing is is like yeah it's also funny too because every now and then i'll get someone coming in chat being like um when are you getting a real job and i'm like what <laughs> i'm like what huh i don't understand the question here um so what do you mean by work i mean it's not just stream i don't just play video games um uh, like my job makes uh about like like streaming streaming like makes up about 30 to 40 percent of all like my hours that i like work with you know um everything else is like um some weird business stuff of like oh we have to do this with the business account for the credit card that we do this um i have six employees that work for me full time um youtube is its full other job besides streaming because you have to do thumbnails work on videos come up with uh concepts make those concepts a reality to happen um you know it's like a full thing i, I like you, you guys like the merch that we're doing that's also another thing um there's some events you guys like point crow party that takes several months to complete 
There's another event happening in June that we're like kind of like on time crunch for right now. So yeah. So it's it's a lot. Um so um yeah. I try my I do my best. I like I, I do it because I love it, you know? Um uh, but it's it's so easily diminished to you just play video games, you know. Uh, okay. Let's see, down there is about where the treasure chest is, or the treasure map. Do you ever get burnt out? Constantly, yeah. Um, the I'm I mean like you know. I always get burnt out. Uh, this is like, I shouldn't get burnt out as much as I do. Um, but I, uh, I don't know. Um, I love what I do and I work, you know, extremely hard. Um, I, I'm actively working on, um, I'll put it like this. The internet has ruined my brain. Um, uh, it's content brain rot is a thing, but, uh, I, uh, I don't know. I, I, for the past couple of months, I've been working really hard on uh, separating uh, the whole work thing from my personal life. So uh, I'm really, uh, I'm really focusing on making sure I don't get burnt out. Nice. Oh, there's like a mining facility right next to here, which I think is the where the treasure chest leads to. Yeah. Okay. So the treasure chest is like right over here. Oh, is this where it led to? The Corvash Canyon Mine? I feel like... Is this it? What's this going to give me? Trousers of the Hero. <laughs> okay, go off. Yeah, go off. I think. Link. Sure. Nice. Hey, he's got fashion. That's right. Or if he doesn't have fashion, he's... He's got something. Uh, all right, let's let's smash this. Get some uh, large zonite and everything, so we can get um, more of our batteries. Oh, it's pretty deep over here too. Anyways, that's um yeah. I mean, I, I've I've gone on over it uh, like a. Uh, a ton in the past uh specifically with like my twitch chat and stuff but uh yeah that's uh content creation is a lot more work than you think it is um it is not a job that you go into just because you like video games it's a job you go into because you like making numbers go bigger um you gotta really like how you know let me put it like this you gotta really love streaming to make it a job like like you like there's some people I know that are like, yeah, no, I, th I think, I think, uh, I like playing video games. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, uh, streaming could be my thing. No, <laughs> it's like, um, you gotta, there's, you gotta be like addicted to it. It's, it's not, it's not enough. I don't think to like, you gotta find something there. You gotta really like it. Um, to, to say the least, I'm not saying that, you know, everyone who's ever become a content creator has that like mindset but it's more like that's a common theme i see among like my content creator friends um so okay let's check out um uh i want to finish up some of these uh pings that i have here i think this is a shrine that i want to dab so Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think there's like, that's really, uh, I, I don't know. Um, content creation is hard. Uh, you gotta, you gotta deal with a bunch of stuff too. Like, um, no matter what you do, someone's going to hate you just because they want to hate you and they'll make it very well known, uh, that they hate you. You'll get death threats. That happens. Um, some of them you have to take seriously. Some other ones you're like, all right, like get off your gamepad, kid. Um, You'll get um, a lot of uh, people who like what you do, which is uh, amazing. But then you feel um, some imposter syndrome about it of like, why me, right? Like there's a lot, like it's it like it's mentally taxing. And I think it's more mentally taxing than a lot of people give it like credit for, um, you know? 
Um, like, uh, you know, it's it's difficult. Uh, the content creation job has only been around for like 10 years, right? So no one really knows like long-term effects of, um, of something like this. Unless, I mean, there's celebrities, which are a um, thing to go with of like, okay, here. But internet celebrities are like micro celebrities that are more accessible than that of like Blake Lively, for example, or Taylor Swift. Um, so it's like very interesting phenomena here. Um, parasocial relationships is a huge one, right? Uh, that y you got to deal with of like, hey, we know each other through the screen, but I'm not your friend. Like, I don't, I don't know who you are. Never met you before. Don't, your, don't even know your name. It was very interesting to like think of, you know? Um, so it's very, it's very strange. I think about it often. Um, cause I mean, obviously it's my job. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. There's, there's just like a lot to it. And, uh, uh, I, I don't know. I just find it interesting to talk about. It's also like extremely, like, I would say physically taxing too. I wouldn't say like, um, ooh, Kunda Sarge from. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like, like, oh, I gotta like, you know, wow, playing on my controller, like really worked out my thumbs. It's like, no, I'm sitting at my desk for several hours a day staring at a screen just sitting down uh and so i gotta like you know in order to, to counteract that i gotta i gotta work out i gotta physically do something uh I, it's rare for me to see the sun some days bridging the sands Ooh. whoa this one's huge dude wow um but yeah uh what i'm trying to get i, I think here is like it's physically taxing it's mentally fucked um and it's not it's not it's not easy uh, it's actually uh, relatively difficult uh, for what it's worth, you know? Um, and I think uh, uh, I think it's so easy to, to tell, like, a content creator, um, you play video games for a living. Why do you, like, why why do you care? Why, why does your opinion matter, et cetera? Um, it's, it's, or it's like, or it's like, yeah, just uh, a bunch of stuff like that. Um, but um, I, all of my, all of the people that work in content creation that I know are the hardest working people I've ever met in my entire life. <laughs> like they, like you really like how many people are how many people can go live right now and, and play games hey, everyone how many people can like um upload a youtube video everyone right it's so easy to do right but like how do you stand out that's the hard thing why you know anyways i know i'm ranting and i'm probably putting some of you guys off but um i just i think it's i think it's interesting to talk about um so all right, so bridging the gap. Let's see. This. Um, give me more of these things. Okay. Okay, let's make some bridges, boys. It's <laughs> gonna be the shittiest bridge you've ever seen in your life. Are there gonna appear more? Is it just like all of this? There we go. Interesting about how behind the scenes. Yeah, I don't know. I might keep my Eric Marina channel uh, to be like behind the scenes stuff, but I don't know how interesting it is. You know, I don't. I don't know how interesting uh, me being like, here's all of the stuff that I gotta deal with. You know, for my job because you probably don't know about it. It's a very strange gig. How am I supposed to get over? Oh, I see. I see. I see. Um, I got to grab some more here. Come on. Attach. Nice. Got it. Okay. I need a third. I need a third here. Come on. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, attach. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, where's the third one? Huh? Is this supposed to be a third here? Maybe not. Okay. Uh, all right. So let me build this here. And then go. Okay. Here. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I can do. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I can. I can. I can do this now. That kind of works, I think. Okay. I mean, you. If you have enough. Stamina, I feel like you could probably just run through. 
Oh, you can just jump through, I think. Nice. Okay. Just murk you real quick. Okay. I don't know. And if you guys are ever, like, wondering, like, why I'm so, like, gung-ho about, like, hey, no spoilers, or hey, don't say this, or hey, you know, like, um, all that. Um, it's because I, I really care about, like, my community and audience and viewers of, like, being, like, well presented forward. Like, I, I don't ever want, like, someone to be like, ew, oh, it's a Point Crow viewer, you know? Like, it's like, oh, God. Yeah, sure, you know, go, whatever, right? Like, I, I, I always want, like, if someone's like, oh, I watched Point Crow, then I want the, per the reaction to be like, yo, really? Oh, you do? Like, I want it to be, like, something, like, positive, right? Uh, it's not just like spoilers, but it'd be like, uh, like things like yeah, trans rights, you know, hell yeah. Um, like stuff like that, where it's like, like you're accepting of like everyone. Um, and, uh, and you recognize like, oh, hey, you know, like, let me step back. I'm being like a little parasocial here. Like, I, you know, I, I understand like where he's coming from. We, we got, we got some like different stuff, you know, um, stuff like that. Right. Okay. So let me press. All right. So this shoots me off. So I need to get to, to complete the shrine here. Whoa, okay. Uh, oh, come on. To complete the shrine, I need to grab that uh that small ball, right? Uh yeah, okay. So I guess we just like use this. Oh, we'll see this. Uh but yeah, um I just wanna that's like why I'm so like passionate about what I say here. And like, you know, why if like, you're like, ah, oh, Eric's being annoying, you know? Like, why is he, why is he mentioning this thing again? Um, you know, it's, it's cause, it's cause I care, you know? Um, all that. Um, I want to have like a, a nice audience that can just like literally, cause you know, I mean, come on, let's be real. We're all here for fun, right? <laughs> like we're all here to like play video games, chill, relax and forget about like the rest of our days, right? Uh. So, oh, you know what? I probably have to attach something to the sled. Ooh, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it is. So I want, I want everyone to like enjoy it. Uh, don't want any gatekeeping or anything, you know? <laughs> no fun allowed here. Oh, oh, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> no, yeah, dude. If I'm here to shit post, dude. Same. You see my Twitter? Okay. Uh, le okay. So I need to take these sleds and like, can I take both sleds? And it, this is going to sound so stupid. Can I like a frame this shit? Like, like take a sled and like attach it to another sled. No, this is going to be so stupid and I'm going to love it. Okay. Okay. Two sleds together. Okay. And then I'm going to take this, um, uh, and attach it. Yeah. To one of these doesn't matter. Uh, and then I'm going to take the other one. Oh, shoot. I'm in the sand. Okay. And then I'm going to attach this. Jeez. Yeah, there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so then can I drive one of these? Will this work? No, it's too heavy. Maybe in front. This is so dumb, it might just work. Okay. I think it's too heavy. So I think I just need one of them. Okay. If it's too heavy, I just need one of them. Let's do this. And then control. Okay. All right. That works. It's slow. But it, but it works. I'm also being dragged to one side. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. I have a better idea. Okay, what if I put it on top? 
No, not to one side, though. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. No, I need to make it even. So, like, right here. Nice. Okay. Okay. So, perfect. So, it's like, it's a little roof. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. Okay, I control this one, though. We're going! Oh, we're first person as well! Nero! <laughs> Look, we're first person! Oh, this is great. Oh my god, wait, I'm so dumb. I could have used a send. Oh my god. I could have used a send. And then control and then go up. But the, no, no. Okay, fine, fine. We'll do it the normal way. I thought I was, I was like going to use a ramp and everything. I was like, this is the way to go. Um. Okay. Dude, imagine if I did the ramp though. That would be sick. Oh, it's sick. Here we go. And let's go here and go. There we go. Goodbye forever. I'll miss you guys. Goodbye ramp. Oh, that's why we use the ramp. Oh, it's to get back. Oh, it's to get back up. Oh, I understand now. I get it. I miss it. Is this streaming on YouTube or Twitch? What website are you on right now? I just... Do you know what website you're on? <laughs> dude, dude. Just asking. I'm just asking. I'm literally just asking. And then is there another I can grab? Not right now. Okay. Nice. Okay. And then we grab. Oh. Then we grab this. And we can go. Easy. Yeah, guys, welcome to MySpace. It's like Facebook, but like, it's not predatory. Yo, we got it. Let's go. Light of blessing. Okay. Uh, let's see. I feel like I should do some Sky Island stuff, too. I haven't done much of that.
Let's see. All right, so I did that. Um, I'm trying to also get rid of a lot of my pings here. <laughs> or my pins. Uh, okay. And this is a, a light root. That's also a light root. I don't need these right now. Light roots. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. So... I think let's go to the sky and I want to discover some of this stuff. Um, like for example, Satori. Oh my God. We haven't been to Satori mountain. We haven't been to Satori mountain at all. Um, yeah, let's check out Satori. I think we do that. So Tori Mountain, in case you don't know, is um, a mountain that has every... Uh, in Breath of the Wild, it had basically every single item in the game. Um, as well as fairies and a diamond and hearty food and an apple orchard. And it like was the most ridiculously overpowered place in the entire game. So I'm curious if Satori is similarly overpowered... Um, Oh, this oh, might as well grab some rockets while we're here. Similarly over... I, I'm wondering if Satori Mountain is similarly overpowered in Tears of the Kingdom. That's that's uh, a genuine curiosity here. Yeah, here we go. Nice. <laughs> All right, missed. Whoopsies. Okay. I'm covering the past in tears again. You didn't even watch one memory. Um, I have actually watched the memory today. <laughs> You're just objectively wrong, but I appreciate how confident you were. <laughs> One of these days, I wish to be as confident as you. Okay. Not a lot, though. True. True. Not a lot. That 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 is accurate. We have not um, done a lot um, in the in the way of like memories and stuff. Uh, we have done a lot in the way of exploration, at least, because I got distracted. So the current uh, uh, where we stand. Um, where we stand in all of this is uh, we currently have this much of the map unlocked of the overworld this much of the depths unlocked uh, sky is uh, kind of barren right now honestly uh, we haven't done too much with the sky um, we've also uncovered uh, 9 of the 11 memories and then also 3 of the 4 regional phenomena so we're getting to the end um, so I want to explore a tad more um uh on the things that we have not seen yet on like you know um like areas that uh i have not like sort of gone to um just because i really i really want to um i don't know i i, I want to i want to explore all the places in breath of the wild that were like highlights and interesting places because they've really done a lot here uh with it all I'm getting a lot of rockets right now. Um, so we're we're nailing we're, we're sorry nailing narrowing in on the end. I I'm thinking that there might be like two more streams left of Tears of the Kingdom. Oh no, two or three, two or three more streams left of Tears of the Kingdom is uh my little mindset behind that. I think of how much I think is left. Uh, right. So Satori is this way. Um, yeah, right there. Okay, I want to check that out. That's gonna be hard to get to, actually. I feel like, um, so yeah, uh, but yeah, no spoilers. Obviously, I want to figure things out for myself. Um, so far, I've not been spoiled for the game, which is awesome. Uh, I haven't even been spoiled for minor stuff, which I am actually s surprised about. I thought I would um, have at least a minor spoiler here or there. 
Uh, but I haven't whatsoever. So shout outs to my moderators. Shout outs to uh, um, uh, you guys as well. Okay, so I want to get over there. Um, you know what? Honestly, like I, I we haven't done this too much, but I think I need, want to build a contraption to get over there. Um, are there any things to ultra hand with for a platform? There are not. Uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, I mean, I guess we could do this. If we wanted to, we could. Yeah. The boring way, but we could auto-build our flying machine. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm a little nervous about this one. Okay. No, 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 no. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's over here. God damn it. God sh shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. Let me auto build again. But this time, actually make it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get it under control, Link. Yes. We've done it. I pull up. I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up. Wait, this isn't Satori. Yeah, no, that's Satori. Yeah. Am I even gaining height? Uh, barely. Just barely. I feel as if there is a better way to do this. Watch this. This is going to be sick. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. It's literally going to be amazing. Okay. And then I'm going to use fuse on the shield. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know if I'm going to make it, guys. I, I, I don't think I will. Shoot. Okay. I totally didn't make it. Okay, let me try again. Something else. Let me try again. Okay, I want to make it to the Satori Mountain mountain. Are there any contraptions I can build around here? No, nothing buildable here yet. From what I know, what I see. Okay. Uh, do I have a moving platform somewhere? Okay. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I swear to God. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Okay. Let me try something here. I have some ideas. I think they're dumb. But let me try some ideas. Okay. You go right here. Oh, right over here will be perfect, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This would be great. Great, great, like, taking off point right here. All right. Anything I can do? Can I, like, grab this? No. Hmm. I think I can grab from here. So I'll have to use everything from my uh, inventory. All right, let's check this out. Let's make some, let's make some weird devices here. Um, definitely need, like, two of these, probably. Steering. Wait, can I just do that? I'm I'm serious. Wait, can I just literally just like make this? Like this. And it 
attach it to a steering stick. And then, and then, and then literally do this. Does that work? <laughs> there's no, yeah, I was like, there's no way that actually works. There's like zero way. Okay, wait, wait, hear me out though. Wait, actually though, hear me out. I, 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 okay, what if I do it like this? I didn't mean that. That's not what I meant to do. That's not, that's not what I meant. Not. Okay. What if I do this? Put that. Take this here. Attach these. I have to attach it to one. So let me do like this, like a hover bike. All right, let's try this. Stop! Straight. Go straight. Fine. We'll, 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 we'll just do this. Okay. I think this works. I, th I think this will work. What the hell? Huh? Calm down, calm down. I'm gonna eat an uncrustable out of um out of spite. Okay. Let's try this again. Try this one more time. I have a better idea, guys. I have a better idea. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. these to the side like diagonally this is going to take up so much battery consumption though oh but if it takes up enough battery consumption oh my god i have a better idea too okay okay then i put this uh it needs to be facing uh just forward Okay, great. Okay. If it takes up enough battery consumption, though. I only have three batteries. That's probably fine. Let's see. Let's see what the damage is. All right. This could work. This could work. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. This, this could work. This could genuinely work. Okay. So let's take three, and then we have to balance these batteries um, around the actual device. I can fit them attached to the main controller right there. Yeah. And uh, we want it to be leaning slightly back anyways because we want to go higher. Uh, fine. Attaching to a fan doesn't seem great for structurally. Like, structurally. But, like, it'll be, like, okay, I think. Take these batteries out. We'll do it like that. Okay. Here we go. Okay. 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 It works. It, it actually works really well. I'm I'm surprised how well this. 
Oh, that's one battery gone already. <laughs> one battery is already depleted. Okay, two batteries already depleted. Jeez. Wow, that was um fast, to say the least. Um, That's all right, though. Totally cool. That's so much battery depletion. That's fine. We're just... No, it's going well. And I like, okay. I was like trying to regain some. That wasn't worth it. That wasn't worth it. I was trying to regain some of my batteries. Okay. We can make it as long as we go up more, I think. We try to go up even more. Okay. And then, and then this could work. This could work. It's so stupid. It might just work. Okay. So far, so good. We're almost to the top of Satori Mountain. Almost there. Wait, <gasps> right, then we fall off. Okay. Uh, we get to Lin. Enter we go. Okay. Okay, and then we have three stamina wheels. Okay. Three stamina wheels. Okay, and then I go to R, so I, I regain some stuff. Okay. Don't use stamina. Okay. Uh, I have like two bars of stamina left. The trick. Okay, R. West Hyrule Sky Archipelago. And wait for it. We made it. Yes. <laughs> we traveled a great distance and it only took all of our batteries and also all of our charges and all of our stamina, but we did it. All for a construct. I hope this is good. All righty, my guy. Flex construct three. All right, we'll take it. Okay, that's great. Okay, um, I want to hit you with this flex for reaper. Let me do this, actually. Uh, where's my barbarian armor? Oh, that was, like, literally half health. Okay. That was also, like, half my health. All of my health, actually. Cool, it's cool, it's cool. Got it. Nice. Oh, really? Why is it up here? Really? Okay, that's fine. Oh, it's going to a second phase. Okay. Uh, recall. I don't need to heal. Nice. Oh, that was so soon. So smooth. Easy. Quarter heart level. Oh. <laughs> Could imagine if that landed on me. Oh my dear God, that was close. All right, let's uh, add this to. Uh, ooh. Oh, no. I don't have anything to add it to. Oh. We got another sage's will. Um, I can upgrade these at a goddess statue. Nice. All right. 
I think I'll add it to the soldier's claymore, I think. I don't like that, though. Yeah. 48, that's crazy. Wow, okay. All right, let's heal now. Um, Yeah, we're actually already at Satori. Uh, but I don't want to go to Satori from here. I think I want to go from it from here, actually. Like, I want to use my horse. Let's uh, eat some food. Oh, it's an, uh, that works. Hey, regret. Um, wait, can we? Yeah, we can do this. Let's go, regret. Here we go. Uh, also, uh, subscribe, chat. If you have not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? What's going on? Uh, subscribe. Uh, make big number go bigger. You know how it goes. You know how it is. Um. All that stuff you can always subscribe later uh or sorry you can always unsubscribe later um if you want to um we're trying to get the edited video out of the uh next uh the past couple streams um uh tonight so uh check it out you know? um all right let's go to satori mountain see what's up at satori so uh, also, yeah, um, I appreciate it. Uh, Bees Nuts, what a name. Thanks for the subscription. Dragon Slayer, <laughs> a little bit of a cooler name. Thanks for the subscription as well. Yeah. <clears throat> Same thing with uh, Jonathan Cameron, huh. Ethan uh, Sinoki, uh, Blackberry Honey, yeah. and uh, Jonathan. Yeah. Oh my God, if I see another core. Let's see, what can we do here? Are there any resources around you right now? Where do you need to go? My friend and I got separated. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool, no, 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 it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's cool. Um, it's all cool, it's all cool. Um, let's see, let's see. Just need to take care of something real quick. Flame emitter, there it is. Right about there. Okay, cool. Um, no, you'll you'll get to your friend, Mr. Korok. Yeah, no, you you'll do it. Good luck. Uh they grew up so fast. Oh, oh! Okay, hear me out. <laughs> what if I do that again? But it's the opposite way.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Like this. Then I do like this. Put this on top. That, okay. And then um, maybe like one, two. Oh. works. As long as they're as long as they're like generally pointed down, I feel like it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um bye Korok. <laughs> Hope you find your friend. Hope you find your friend. Uh, I'm so proud of him. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at him go. He's getting burned alive up there. That's crazy. That's crazy. And I guess he's just going to stay like that, you know? I guess he's going to stay like that until uh, the... The battery uh, wears out. So he's just kind of up there now. Yep. All right. Like, that, that's his life now, forever. He's just going to be up there, being burned to death. God. It's so maj It's so beautiful, dude. It's just so beautiful. Some some things, you know, some things give you, bring tears to your eyes, like the sunsets, you know, or, um, or like a nice day at the beach. Um, a first kiss, but, but this, this makes me ball like a baby. God, it's amazing. It's amazing the things you can do. All right, let's go to Satori Mountain. Dude, bro, he's still going. Dude, he's still going. How long is he going to be lasting up there? Holy. Dude, is he going to... Is he going to fall anytime soon? Oh, wow. All right. I guess we actually should leave. Like, he's not... He's literally not going to fall anytime soon. Like, genuinely. Wow. All right. Like, he, he'll just stay there, I guess. Being literally burned alive. Just in the distance. For us to always remember him. Uh, better days, you know? <laughs> Wait. The bat. Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, he didn't even land in the water. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, uh, yeah. All righty. Damn. Jesus. Man's, man's didn't even have a chance. Mans didn't even have a chance. All right. Satori Mountain it is. Well, let's go. Um, Let's see. Uh, oh, I want to see. Uh, so Zelda's horse uh, in Breath of the Wild is right about here. But you can find Zelda's horse. I wonder if it's still here. Uh, and I wonder if there's anything special at the uh, little... Uh, they're not ruins, but um, uh, it's like a little uh, center meeting place over here by Satori. It's really nice, actually. Okay. I don't see any horses around here. Uh, sand and park ruins is what this is, though. 
Ready? Wow. Yaha! No, okay. For the shot, though. Oh, whoopsies. Here we go. Huh. Yeah, okay. Interesting. So Zelda's horse isn't here. It does look like, though, Satori Mountain is totally... Oh, yeah. Let's get that shrine. Totally willing and able uh, for everything else. All right. I wonder if they've uh, kept uh, kept it similar. It's Why is it raining so much? Watch this. It's going to be so cool. Meow. <laughs> Um, uh, sorry, I closed my eyes for a second. My bad, you know? My bad. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. It's all fine. Literally all fine. Yeah, I felt that pain, personally. Like, deep, deep down. Alright, let's get up, let's get up the shrine. Uh, I want to discover more of... Satori Mountain. See, see, like, what's up with Satori specifically? Like, there's a lot that can, uh, uh, that it holds. I mean, is the apple orchard still there? Um, or is the durian farm still there? Uh, or can you get every single mushroom in the entire world still at Satori? Like, that's, there's a lot of stuff here that I'm curious about. Uh, yeah. Dude, this throw back to speedrunner versus hunter where you like satori mountain is like where you had to go oh my god i missed those videos dude i miss doing those i might just hit up trade just to do one like literally without streaming it <laughs> okay Ooh, korok yeah ha speaking of which yeah ha Nice. Okay, so the apple orchard should still be... It still is here! Yay! And the shrine's here as well. Yes! The Sanpin Shrine. I, I actually really can't wait for uh, Trey to play uh, this game. Like, I really can't. Like That's going to be really fun to see. Um... I mean, he really loves Ocarina of Time, so... And there's a lot of connections to Ocarina of Time. Missing pathways. Okay. Um, wow, there's a missing pathway. Let's ascend. Um, okay. Let's ascend again. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, we can't just ascend this one. Uh, we have to... Get this. Oh, uh, what? Huh? We have to... Actually, I lied. We have to get this. There we go. We got it. Easy. All right. Wait, then how the... What? What? How am I supposed to get this chest? Like, this shit. Oh, oh, I put this down and I, I jumped down. Oh, I see how you do it. Okay. Um, yeah. So we go over here and then. Uh, I can't wait to uh, play like Hyrule GeoGuessr with Tears of the Kingdom. That'll be fun. Yeah, so you go up here and then you like do this. Okay. One second. Well, that's how you do it, right? Oh, wait, no, that's not how you do it. All right, I want to do this. Uh, and then go through the actual, yeah, cube here. Yep. And now we got it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll take five arrows. Hey, you can never have enough. Uh, we use so many. I have 52. Jeez. 
I feel like I've used over like 2,000 this play. There's so many times where you shoot arrows in this game. They're so helpful. Okay. Nice. And next then is this. So I'm wondering, can I put this up here and then ascend through it? And is that what I'm supposed to do? Maybe is the answer. All right, we'll figure this out. Let's try this. What? I can't ascend through that? Or not? What? What? Why can't I ascend? What the hell? Um, can I even get this? Wait, I can't. Did I just soft lock the shrine? Did I just soft lock the, the shrine? Are you kidding? Wait, I can recall it maybe. Yeah. Well, I can definitely ascend up here. I think there's another block up here, right? No? All right, let me try. Oh, I, I don't know. Why can I? Why does this matter? Can I place this on? I might be able to place this like on one of these. Me's the. Let me put it over here. Okay. This might work. So let me put it over there. Let me ascend. Right. Okay. And then. Let me take this. And. It will be able to, like, balance it on, like, one of these things. There's no way this way. Yeah. Oh. Oh, but. Uh, I'm okay. I, I think I get this. Um, I I can ascend on these small like things, right? If I use this, go here, and then ascend onto um this platform, right? And then go down, take this, jump onto this platform, and then descend on these tiny ass. No. Maybe I can ascend here. Okay, that's that's the answer. Okay, I can ascend there. All right, that's uh, okay. We found it. Nice. All right, nice. There we go. I got it. Awesome. All right, cool solution. I'll take it. Oh, it's getting crackly. Um, all right, chat. Uh, subscribe while I fix my capture card. I just gotta restart the software real, real fast. Uh, subscribe, all that stuff. Also, uh, no backseating, so don't tell me how to solve shrines or anything. Um, it's not fun if I just read chat, solve the shrine, and be like, all right, next one. You know, let me struggle a little bit because then you get some uh weird fun shrines, um, like uh, um, the one that I posted on Twitter recently. Just, uh, just put a little smile in chat. Okay. Cool. All right, let's check out more Satori Mountain. Um, more Satori Mountain. Oh, it's a crow. Yo! There can only be one. <laughs>
All right, a lot of apples here. Oh my God! Why would you? Okay, really? Oh uh, wait, I can hit, I can hit these with all blunt objects, and it would still like. No, it wouldn't. Okay, that's fine. Right, I want apples. There's a lot of um. Oh, it's. I think this is the laggy spot that I found in the game. Oh my god, the frames, dude. Uh, I want all these apples because it is a uh, food, and who doesn't love food? Especially when you. Well. I mean, it's weird because I've never taken damage in this game, so I don't know why I'm collecting so much food. But, you know. Okay. And then over here. Oh, an apple. Ah, oh, so many. So many. I don't know why there's a tree enemies. It boggles my mind. I don't understand it. I don't pretend to understand it. I don't think I ever will. guys at least we can like just like one shot it you know oh a rugged rhino beetle uh cool all right that's a lot of apples how many apples 85 do you think that's enough do you think that's enough guys that might be enough all right let's check out more of uh, uh satori uh, Wookie, thank you so much for the channel membership. You're welcome. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, whoops. Um, let's use this. Okay. Oh, and we got a mighty mushroom skewer for helping him. Cool. Um, presently hunting bubble frogs. Um, which cave? Okay. Cool. Uh, nothing. Thank you so much for the, uh, two month membership. Welcome back to the murder. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Yeah. There used to be like durians and stuff up here too. I'm wondering if they still remain. Um, that's a uh, main question here. I wonder if they've changed. Yo, oh, oh, speaking of, okay, well, there's a cave right here where the durians used to be. Um, I will actually do this because I need the I need the um, bright bloom seed stuff. Hello. Oh, you're leading me through here. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, it's a maze. Oh my god, it's a maze. It's totally a maze. God damn it. I should have followed him. I should have followed him more closely. Shoot. Uh, but I stopped. I stopped in. Uh, uh, Smell the roses. Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Nice. And then let me do this. Hello, goodbye. Really? Okay. And you're dead. Let's go. Oh yeah. Right, not too bad. Um, hey, I'm kind of glad we came here though, because there's a lot of treasures to be had. Okay. Dude, I'm getting so sidetracked. <laughs> I'm getting so sidetracked, dude. Like, way more than normal. Oh, my God. Oh, a night shield. Uh, I'm, well, I'm kind of glad I'm getting sidetracked then. Um, a night shield is so much better than a spike boko shield. What about this one? Yep. What's even your main objective? I mean, eventually we're going to go to... Um, um, eventually we're going to go to Azora... But for now, I want to check out um, and see what Satori Mountain kind of like looks like. If there's anything special. 
Oh, I'll just drop down here. Okay. Oh, wait, can I turn up my sensitivity for this? Oh, hi. Yeah. Oh, you're over here. Um. Oh, this guy's over here. Okay, we, wait, we're literally following the rabbits. Oh my God. I'm late, I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. There's so many of these guys. Hello? Okay. Yeah, okay, this is a weird spot. Or bright bloom seeds, nice. Let me see it, let me see it. But they all just came out of these areas. What is this? Should I ascend here? Oh, whoa. This is the... This is the roots of the... The uh, cherry blossom tree. Yeah, where the Lord of the Mountain used to be. Hello? What beautiful scenery. What beautiful scenery. One second. Let me get all the carrots around first. Okay. Yeah, what beautiful scenery. Oh, you're that traveler from the other day. Did you come see a cherry blossom tree? Mm. Is there anything more relaxing than watching cherry blossom trees? I haven't seen a Satori anywhere, um, but these beautiful trees have made the trip worth it all the same. Oh. Strange fruit loving creature called a Satori can be found near cherry blossom trees. Right. This is the one. Interesting. Fruit can like coax it out of hiding. Okay. Dude, that's so badass. That looks so good. Okay. Yeah, okay, so this is uh, Satori Mountain for now. Um, I haven't found anything like too interesting. Whatever that cave was, was definitely the thing of interest, but I haven't like really found like what like makes it tick yet. Oh, oh my God, I wonder if they, okay, yeah. Yeah, first off, they did bring back um, having like every single thing ever on this uh, mountain, which is awesome. Um, but the other thing is like, Okay, there's some moblins and stuff there, but oh, endure carrots. Mind if I do? Okay, and then I'm wondering too, there if you go to specifically this one area on the mountain, there is a diamond underneath a rock, and I'm wondering if that's the same, if they kept that. Oh, they didn't. The diamond isn't there, but they kept the rock there as a, as a fuck you. So that's great. <laughs> but, but they, uh, you know, they kept it as a fuck you. Nice. Oh, there's a shrine there that I, okay. Oh, it's like a shrine quest, I think. All right. <laughs> Yeah, let's go over this way. Oh. Anything else around Satori? It's just like literally, we're literally just exploring right now. I want to see if there's like more. Okay. All right. I, you know what? I got to play with Octobloons later, I feel like. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So this place is relatively unchanged. I don't think there's anything like super important. There's not normally something super important at this side of the map. It's really just always um Oh, fleet lo 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 fleet lotus seeds is actually a huge one though. Oh my god, there's so many. Yeah, okay. If you don't know what fleet lotus seeds are, they are um one of the best items in the game in my opinion. Uh, cause you cook five of them, you get like, um, 10 minutes of, uh, times three tax, uh, sorry, times three speed up. Um, and it's just so good. 
It's just, yeah, it's just amazing. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, not too much different, I guess. Uh, I guess there wasn't much uh, to add to this part of the map. So. Okay. All right, I'm glad I explored it, though. Yeah, glad I explored it. What's actually, what's over here? I don't think I've ever explored this part. Yeah, like down over here. It's like all water until it's not. There's like a spot that clears up. All right, first off, let's like save this guy real quick. We'll be a benevolent uh, god in his life. Rain down from the heavens. You're welcome. Give me my, give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Oh, you know, I'll take that. Sure. Coffee. There's a cave near here. The uh, should I search somewhere? Okay. There's a cave nearby. I think I know the cave is probably in here. Ah, uh, yes. There's a cave over this way. Tamiyo River Downstream Cave. Cool. You missed. Nice. Oh my God, we like three shot you. That's crazy. Nito! Oh, big cave, though. Actually, big cave. Okay. What else is here? What the hell? What the hell is this? I was just thinking around. What the hell is this? Also, these guys. I still have no idea how to beat them. Oh, God. Up, 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 up. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I can change my... Okay. Okay, you can't climb this, right? 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 Okay, you can't. You can't. Okay, what if I throw... Can I... Th wait, if I throw a bright bloom seed, does that work? Yeah. On you? I don't know why it would. Okay. What if I throw... Oh, what are those dazzling ones? Yeah, dazzle fruits. Does that do damage? Oh, it does! Oh my god, it like one-shots them. Or no, it doesn't. It, it, it stuns them. How the hell? I mean, this works. They have so much health. Um, What about... Uh, what about a bomb flower? That works pretty well. Dude, these things are insane. I got one. Got one down. Got two down. Come here, come here. Okay, got three down. Okay, four. Last one. Come here. Nice. Oh my god. Phantom Ganon? What? Huh? Where? Ban huh? 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 Phantom Ganon's here? I'm sorry. What the hell did we just find? Um, okay. This is the best I got right now. I beg your pardon? Okay, he does... Okay, he does definitely gloom damage. That's not great. What? 
Why is this here? Oh my god, he does so much damage. Um, I can't keep doing this. Uh, I need to flame Gliok this, I think. Yes. Um. Yeah. This. Uh, I'll do this. <laughs> so much damage done. Uh. Let me do attack up. I think. Yeah. Okay, I'm down with Gloom here. It's fine. Ooh, it's so much damage. Okay, okay. Couple more hits. Yes! Yes! Phantom Ganon defeated. Dark clumps. We got it. The Demon King's bow. The higher your maximum amount of hearts, the more attack power increases. That's insane. And then we also got the Gloom Sword. Oh my god, it's the best sword I've ever seen. It's 41 damage. Its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. Oh! Wait. What? End the li it, it's said to end the life of any... It's The Slender Sword has an ominous presence. It is said to end the life of anyone it touches. Its gloom will its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. What the hell? It, this was like sub this was a random cave that I found. What? And also, why is it raining inside of the cave? Like, what's going on? Why? Why? What? It's we're inside of a cave. Okay. What was this? Phantom Ganon? I can't believe we just found that, dude. I just can't believe I can't believe we just found that. That was only um just insanely terrifying. Okay, can I like get up here? Why is it raining? Like legitimately. We can stop this. When in doubt, you know. Okay. What's here? Oh, I was supposed to go from the other way? Okay. We got the Phantom Armor! Arguably one of the best items in any Zelda game. This is crazy. Oh, because there's Phantom Ganon. Oh, yes. It's like a free amount of attack up and a bunch of armor. This was DLC armor in the past. Wait, if this was DLC armor, does that mean we can get Majora's Mask through legitimate means? That's That has insane... Implications. Also, does that mean the Switch shirt still exists? I'm just, you know, like... <laughs> like, that also implies that the Switch shirt's here. So. Wow. I, I can't believe we just did that, dude. Phantom Ganon was here? What the hell? What the like? What the actual hell did, did, did just happen? I'm 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 like I'm shocked. I'm actually shocked. Phantom Ganon. Oh, we gotta explore more, dude. Like I, I feel like if Phantom Ganon is just hiding somewhere, like I like what 
like what else is hiding? You know? The gloom sword. Has gloom toll. Wow. Okay, in case you guys are wondering where I am, I'm I, I went through this cave. Phantom Ganon? Wait, does that mean like okay, for the next like couple like piece because fan the phantom armor, there's three pieces to the phantom armor. I'm wondering if that like means that you fight Phantom Ganon for all of the three other pieces too. I would assume that's right. That's crazy. That's really cool. There it is. Got a lot of, uh, stocked back up on bright blue seeds. Nice. Okay, wow. I'm glad we went to Satori Mountain. That was crazy. That's actually nuts. Um, I'm wondering now, like, if there's... Oh, what else should we check out here? Um, I didn't see much of Elden. Let me go up here. I didn't really check out much of Elden here. Um, let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's check out over here, I think. No, this is just the canyon, but there's no, like... Hmm. I mean, there might be, like, a cave in the canyon. That's kind of crazy, you know? Um, all right. Wow. Damn. Okay. Uh, let's go back to, uh, Lookout Landing for now. Right, I want to check out Terrytown, Zora's Domain. I want to check out uh, the Tech Lab, Labyrinths. Um, I want to finish the Poe quest. Is that it? Oh, and then uh, Lost Woods and Zyphlo Ruins. Um, that's like for sure. And then I want to finish the... We have oh, actually a lot to finish here. All right, um, but I'm going to call it for today's stream just because my neck is a little bit hurting. Um, it's starting to get a little bit sore. I don't know if you've seen me like do this for the past like couple, like hour or two. Um, and uh, I want to make sure that I physically am well. Um, I mean, I've been sitting in a chair for about eight hours. I've been stretching and everything still. But um, yeah, I'm going to end off here. Uh, subscribe. If you have not subscribed already, uh, I would look out for a video either tonight or tomorrow uh, of the playthrough if you want to keep up with it. And, um, yeah, um, I'll be live again tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, we're going to go live again. I think we might have like two or two, two ish more streams of tears of the kingdom, my casual playthrough. So that'll be fun. All right. Uh, bye guys.